Hello, jewelry makers. Happy 14th birthday. I remember the first day um, I was a little bit younger, not as old looking, and lots of things have gone on since then. But you've stuck with us. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible 14 years. Here's to many more. We've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks, not week, two weeks. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Happy birthday. Hi, jewelry maker. Happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains and make sure you save me some cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday jewelry maker. <laughs> Welcome jewelry makers. Look who's here. Hello. It's lovely Carol. And we've got Bella, haven't we, as we've well? We've got Bella. She's having a rest. Oh, bless her having a rest. <laughs> she has a lot of attention when she comes here, doesn't she? She's a very busy girl. Very yes. busy. All the fusses. <laughs> she is in demand. Do you know, once upon a time, back, I'm going back about four or five years, we had another resident dog. Oh. And who was also a Labrador. Do you remember? Chrissy. That was, that was uh, Marie's dog. And we did a vote once, I don't know why, most popular <laughs> member of staff. Oh dear. <laughs> Have a guess who won. Of course it was Chrissy. Of course. And she was a deserved winner as well. <laughs> did she get a certificate? Um, I hope she did. I hope she got a trophy full of treats, kib Aww, kibble or something yes, like that. Snaps. Oh, it's lovely to see it's you. It's lovely to be here. Bless you. And we've got the most amazing, amazing Tuesday show. It's busy, busy, isn't it? We've, if you're wondering why we're kind of squashed into a corner, <laughs> that's because the studio is somewhat full. Somewhat full. Because we are launching today at Jewelry Maker the most amazing storage it's dreamy can you imagine you can't not be organized with that can you i just keep thinking of all the things i've put in there the possibilities yes exactly. and of course i mean yes this is jewelry maker but it can be used across multiple different crafts in actual fact this has been on our other channels our sister channels um very popular on hobby maker very popular on sewing street um but basically yes you can customize it to your craft and it all folds down and away it's and down, tucks away. Yeah. Super clever. How amazing. So it's not always out, if that makes sense. It becomes an elegant piece of furniture. Yes. And all your mess is tucked behind. I like that. I do. Because, you know, you know, when you, when you, are you, I, I always call it, are you a surface tidier <laughs> or are you a deep tidier? Because I am very much a surface tidier. <laughs> Me too. Fling it in a cupboard and it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shut the door and it's all good. And yeah. Then, yeah, 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 it's fine. I've got very, very messy cupboards. Yeah, me too. But nobody ever needs to know. No. Well, I, well frankly, I think if people come around to my house and start going in my cupboards, then, yeah, then they, they deserve what they get. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this Jewelry Makers is happening today at 9 and 10. In the 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock hour, um, two hours, we've got a very special guest. We've got Joe joining us to talk us through really, well, well talk us through the product, but obviously also how it manifested, because that's a story in itself. Um, but lovely Carol, you've got some amazing projects today I've as well. I've had some pretty things, yes. We've got the sweetest little charms for everybody's um, astrological signs. Uh, and then we have got lots and lots and lots of birthstones, microfaceted birthstones, absolutely a oodles. There's a, yeah. That's a metre long length of all your birthstones. I just split them all up into tiny little boxes. Oh, oh. Amazing. So I was thinking about this last night when I was prepping, because obviously I did a little bit of research on the uh, on your star signs. Yes. But we've also got then in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got your um, initials. <laughs> and using your your astrological sign say with your star sign or your family members or your yeah. friends or pets whatever it might be you could put together like this beautiful significant necklace or bracelet couldn't you yeah and it's so personalized isn't it if you're yeah. gifting or yeah absolutely lovely and so many possibilities oh i love it absolutely love it so um here are your initials now we don't have every letter of the alphabet in case you're you're thinking that jewelry maker have forgotten how to say our abcs <laughs> um so um 
Um, hopefully this covers your letter um, initial or your family members, whichever it might be. Um, and they're beautiful because they kind of float as well if you were to put them on a chain or whatever it is. So those are coming up as well, jewellery makers. The zodiac signs are in mother of pearl. I mean, can you like get your head around the fact they're carved out of mother of pearl? And they're so sweet. Mm. They're absolutely adorable. And I'm going to show you later on how to add a birthstone to one. Ah, oh, so not only could you put your astrological sign, you can put your initial yep. and your birthstone. And your birthstone. Oh, I love this. It's going super personalised. Love it, love it, love <laughs> it. And it's a huge trend at the moment yeah, as well. absolutely. Which we'll discuss. So here are, here's a photograph of all the star signs. Um, so you can choose yours if you wish or your partner's. You can use, um, do you know what? Do you know what? I don't know my husband's star sign. I don't know my other half's star sign. Are we in trouble, do you think? Maybe. Maybe. Do you check it? See, now I'm a I did, Virgo. I did bring a list. Did you bring a, I list? a list? Oh, right. Well, there we go. You helped me out there. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, Tom's a Gemini. Tom's a Gemini. So there we go. So I could put mine in Tom's. Um, very good at communication, apparently. Oh. I'm not, I'm not sure he is good at communication. <laughs> Who's a famous Gemini? Prince. Prince the singer, Prince. The Prince. The prince, not our princes. No. <laughs> prince the singer. Prince, the, I know. Prince, just prince. Just. <laughs> the artist formerly known as Prince. That one. Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know who you mean. Um, that's very random that you come out with just. That was just, an odd one, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> but just, oh, do you want to know a famous Gemini? <laughs> Give us a famous Taurus. Famous Taurus, please. Oh, you actually just knew that Prince was a famous Gemini, right? Okay. Were you a Prince fan or something? <laughs> that is an odd piece of knowledge. <laughs> You've seen him live. Oh, I bet he's good live. Oh, I bet. Adele oh, is a Taurus. Adele. And The Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> David Beckham is a Taurus. <laughs> and George Clooney. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> There you go. So if you don't want to wear it for your other halves, then you can wear it for George Clooney. You could. There you go. You Send wear, it to George you Clooney. You might be a fan of The Rock. <laughs> wear it because it's his star sign. Whatever you wish. As always, we want to hear from you lovely jewellery makers. So do drop us a message. Um, well and truly in the midst of our birthday fun and it has been such fun yes I've been watching there's been so many bargains so many bargains oh. absolutely and we've got big balloons just to make Elle's day <laughs> because as if do you know in the meeting pre-birthday it was like right Elle we've got we've got games and everything and we sat down and Chloe did actually say sorry Elle you've got the balloons <laughs> I, I, I'm quite anxious around balloons they make me a bit nervous I think it's because you don't know when they're going to pop I just find them really odd. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, I do. Really? I do think balloons are just really odd. Like they are little big bags, bags of air. Bags of air. Yeah. yeah. I find it even more <laughs> peculiar when they're personally blown balloons. <laughs> I think you've thought about this too much. I, I think I probably <laughs> have, you're right. Um, so um, pop the balloon and there's going to be some discount codes Yay! in those balloons as well. So I might get Dan to pop those balloons if that's all right, Dan. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll do one very soon. Um, right, we're going to race through because we've got a thousand of those amazing star signs. Oh, so, brilliant. Um, check out the menu for what's coming up today, jewellery makers. So eight o'clock is all about your beautiful zodiac star pendants or charms whichever way you want to look at them um, you can shop ahead on those of course and guarantee your star sign nine o'clock and ten o'clock is always all about storage for crafts i'm very excited about this because i aspire to be this organized do you know what i mean i would love to be this organized yeah all my crafting things are just in piles on Same. surfaces and you lose stuff don't you yeah so, at least it's like a cleansing activity, I think, actually, sort of setting your... I could spend days just labelling and putting everything in tidy places. And it folds up, but it basically looks like a wardrobe. It's amazing. So clever. So, so clever. So we'll see that at 9 o'clock. Um, 11 o'clock is all about your beautiful initial pendants, jewellery makers. So um, if you want to team that with your zodiac sign, you can. If you just want to wear the single initial, you can do that too. And then 12 o'clock, Carol, is all about your amazing masterclass with that incredible meter-long length strand of birthstones. It's fabulous, isn't it? And so sparkly. Lots of sparkle. You, you got spoilt there with 
and some lovely I, gems, I did didn't bit. you? Yeah, I've got all sorts, rubies, sapphires, Ooh, you name it. All in one project, <laughs> which of course comes with a tutorial as well. Definitely. Now, um, we want to hear from you. Do text in, come and say hello to Carol and our fabulous crew. Um, and let's get cracking with our early bird deal, shall we? Are we ready, Roscoe? He's like, I'm born ready. Born <laughs> ready. He is born ready, you know. Are you going to be as mischievous today, do you reckon? Oh, Always. He's going to be naughty. He is naughty. Start with what, sorry? So, oh, yeah. Oh, no, I haven't. I did mention you yesterday, Dan, <laughs> on air. Dan, yesterday, you know, I said he's running the, the Birmingham Half Marathon. He's here and he's walking. He's wow. upright, which is more than I can say I would be doing. <laughs> and you did an incredible time. Come, 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 come and tell us. An amazing, amazing time as well, Dan, yeah. of what, just under two hours. Come, 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 come. <laughs> there he is. He ran the Birmingham Half Marathon yeah. yesterday. How many miles? Uh, 13. Yeah. 13 Are you in pain? Miles. Uh, yeah, my back hurts a little yeah. bit. I think I was kind of hunching for a oh. little bit. OK. Yeah. But yeah. under two hours? Yeah. That is amazing. And it was really hot as well. Something was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was so. really hot yesterday. Yeah. Fair play to you. I don't, yeah. I, I'd still be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> still be in hospital, yeah. me. My cousin's Luke and James did it as well. Luke and James, well, well done, Luke and James. Well, well done. done. London yeah. Marathon next. Yeah, maybe next year or the year after, maybe. As well. Amazing. Yeah. Yes. Check you out. Do you know what? Because are you a runner, Dan? Yeah, I'm a runner. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it a few years. You've been. But it's the first time I've done, I've never done like an event like that. Right, okay. Wow. So that was the first official event. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so watch this space, yeah. you never know. It's amazing. You've heard it, you, you met him here first. <laughs> he might be winning the London Marathon next. Maybe. That's a really good time though, isn't it? Yeah. What, two, what was it, it one was hour? 57. 57. Wow. Considering how high it was, it's pretty awesome. That's very good. You don't have to consider anything. Honestly, <laughs> no. I would literally still We'd be still doing be it. still be limping yeah. along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Elle. <laughs> you can do it. I can't, I can't. <laughs> um, right then, well done, Dan. That's impressive, that is. Um, how about some beautiful Sodalite lovely jewellery makers? Amazing saturation. Beautifully faceted, too. Ooh, Ooh twinkly. They are twinkly. Carol? Yes. It's a burnt! Ross likes to do those deals first thing in the morning, by the way. <laughs> burnt! <laughs> K2 Jasper, K2 Jasper. Where? Where? I don't see any. Genuinely, Ross, I cannot see K2 Jasper. Ross. No, I can't see the strands. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I can't remember the last time I saw K2 <laughs> Jasper either. No, 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 I haven't got it here. Oh, there you go, there you go. Um, I mean, it's very rare, K2 Jasper. The little blue um, splashes, if you like, are literally as you write. It's a burnt. No. It's a pound, yeah. Like, Ross likes these one pound deals first thing in the morning. An amethyst carved flower. I've got that, Ross. I can see that, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is very pretty. Is it drilled? Yeah, half drilled through the centre, look. That's going to make a very lovely ring. Lovely ring. Or if you've got multi bot you could get make earrings oh, out of these. Oh, yes. Because it's half drilled in the centre. So you can literally Little just... studs. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, gorgeous. Loving this. A 15 carat amethyst carved, hand carved into a beautiful flower. We've got lots of multi buyers on this. Here's a burned. <laughs> oh, yeah. how? Oh, I know. Oh, sold out. Well done, everyone. <coughs> well done. You've got one more one pound deal. Okay. What is it? What is it? 7.8 carats of Bronca Onyx. Oh my. Totally natural. Beautiful Bronca Onyx. It's a parcel. And you get the box. It's also, a pound. That's not possible. I know it's not possible. It's, ro it's a Ross thing. <laughs> the box costs more than a pound. The, true. <laughs> true story. True story. It's purely because of the birthday, says oh, Ross. Because genuinely, gift. this one in particular should not be a pound. No. That's natural onyx, which is a very rare thing. Oh my um, lots of you getting involved. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> just do this before Wayne rolls in. Oh, do you reckon, what's the betting? Do you reckon he's going to have a bit of a sore head today? I reckon Wayne might be a bit fragile because it he's on his way, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think he's he probably spent the afternoon in a pub yesterday, Wayne. Post bank holiday. Yeah, fragile he strikes me headache. as a bank holiday Monday <coughs> pub goer. Wayne Maybe. does. Yeah, I, I'm not judging. I'm just jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done, everybody. I'm not judging. I wish I could do bank, bank holiday pubs. Can't yeah. anymore. You've got two children running around. Um, FYI, we have got one of the Branca Onyx bangles at a birthday price point of forty nine ninety nine. Now, this launched at double that. Wow. So £99.99. pence. There are only five of them left, though, so you need to be quick if you want to check out, uh, check out, get hold of that, sorry. Um, it's 58 mil internal, 58 to 62, so it's one of the larger bangles. Um, if you want to get hold of this, um, 180 carats of natural bronca onyx. That it's is beautiful. beautiful. It is, isn't it? Oh. It looks so much better in real life as well. Just pure, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Beautiful, pure white colour. There's only five of these and it was launched at double that price tag. So Karen and Fife, if you want those two, I'll be checking it out, my lovely. Um, birthday deal for you this morning. Don't be shy. Do texting. Come and say hello to us all. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Shall we do some... Oh, yeah, Amazon night. A message from... Is that Joanne? Oh, Janine. Now I know why you call him Gorgeous Dan. There you oh, go. Oh, you've got a fan, oh, Dan. He is gorgeous. And Dan's got the most beautiful blue eyes as well. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of bit, bit of Leonardo DiCaprio. You're hearing this? Ooh. Oh, you're way more Take handsome it. than Leonardo DiCaprio. 100%. Uh, <laughs> Miss Janet saying, congratulations, Dan. Amazing achievement. Definitely. It is an achievement, bless you. you. I wouldn't be looking as good at, as you. <laughs> I don't know. I saw the photos that you uploaded to Instagram, and I was like, "How are you not even red in the cheeks? How you literally look like you're doing work? You look very cool and calm and collected." That's youthful. Yeah, yeah youth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Suja is saying uh, they speak the truth, can't lie to save their lives. Gemini. Oh. oh. That's worth. That's knowing. true. Tom can't <laughs> lie. That is very true. No, I like not that he tries because I can see right through him. Good. Yeah. Maybe it's because he's a Gemini. He is a Gemini, yeah. Mm. There you go, Suja. That is true. Um, <laughs> amazing. Well done, everybody. Right. Amazonite. Oh, keep the love coming in for our gorgeous Dan. What an achievement that was. It's unbelievable. Amazing. I wouldn't Absolutely. even attempt it. Nor me. I always watch, like, you know, when you watch the London Marathon and things like that. And think, yeah. Oh, I must, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. <laughs> I am not And then, I go, do that. then I go back to my tea and biscuits. <laughs> yeah. Thank you know, I can great, do that. It's great as an idea. I used to run. I used to run and swim. Did you? I used to love running. I used to love swimming, but kids came and I just don't, be, I can't be bothered now. I'm a terrible swimmer. <laughs> I sink. <laughs> I do. My brother, this is what's at golf. My brother, um, in his, he was in his forties when he did it, um, decided to go on this sort of fitness <laughs> regime and my, my brother has always been quite fit right but he did iron man now i never knew oh, what wow. iron man involved That's but it's a marathon mm -hmm. yeah a marathon is it cycling yeah, isn't it like 17 miles or something like that something insane and then swimming three something like that but you have to do it within a certain time oh my life. otherwise you don't qualify so he did it in 13 hours 13 hours of solid exercise solid exercise so i don't know which or no my brother did iron man so that's like what a marathon is it cycle 17 miles it is crazy and then you swim three that's brutal yeah so he's got he's got the iron man tattoo now and he wears that with pride well i would want everybody yeah. to know if i'd done yeah. that <laughs> fair play to him like he's always been my hero my brother Aww. but i was like you know what that's pretty amazing um 17 carats of beautiful amazon night not 34 pounds and 99 pence. I mean, oh, that's cool, isn't it? You could use, just literally lark's head, not through that. I really like that shape. A bit contemporary. Float it on a chain, all sorts of mm, things. Nice. Yeah. Oh, have it so it kind of slides. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Um, let's do your birthday deal. Oh. Keep those messages coming through. We love hearing from you. It's brand new. It's never been on your screens and it's 4 99 for you today. Wow. I know. Amazing. I like it kind of diamond shaped yes, as well. Yes, I do. I think it's really unusual. Because you could actually have one, the cords that way. Great if you, you macrame. Yeah. 
Um, 4 99 well done everybody. Have we got many of these available then, Roscoe? 30. Yeah, what about using this like a sliding, uh, like a slider? Yeah. You know, like a, like almost like a toggle? Yes. So if you have the tension right? Yes, you'd have to get some nice thick chemohemo or something. And yeah. Then, yeah. Actually have it as a as, as the sliding knot so, yeah. itself. I don't know. Lovely. Just thinking outside the box here. Morning to you, Dawn and es Essex and Angela and Susan and Lisa and Manchester and Carolyn. Uh, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Ah, oh, it's lovely to be with you this Tuesday morning. Do you think, do, am I going to jinx it if I say this? Do you think finally summer's arrived? Oh, I was hot. think that's brave. Uh, but it was hot last night, wasn't you're it? You're going to ruin it now. You were gonna, oh, sorry, yeah, those of you that are going to have a barbecue, I've just ruined it. Sorry. Sorry. Ross is saying, not going fast enough. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh, I think it is. I think summer's set in now, finally. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I hope so. <clears throat> I'm ready for the summer. I'd now. like a barbecue. Me too. Mm. I'd like a kitchen, to be honest, <laughs> but I'd like to be able to cook. You can cook in the garden if you I'm sick nice. of pot noodles. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of ordering in as well. I want to cook a proper meal. Oh. Um, not long. This weekend. Two ninety nine jewelry makers. That's brilliant. Amazing, isn't it? With a nice black cord, that would look Ooh, so chic. Oh yeah, love it, mm. love it. Um, we've got quantity, but they are absolutely flying out the door. Technically, I could have a barbecue, but I actually can't get to it at the moment. Still blocked it, boxed in. Oh, it's just building stuff around it it's just an absolute mess in my house at the burger moment burger and chips for you then burger and chips I, I kid you not it has been even my children have said mummy i don't want another mummy no more pizza i don't want another takeaway please can i have some vegetables <laughs> <laughs> they're actually sick of it now I'm like sorry kids i've got no hob so what do you want it's golden arches pizza or chinese that's right yeah basically Sweet we have sour everything yeah <laughs> i have taken them to restaurants to eat some vegetables before anyone tells me off scurvy <laughs> exactly <laughs> um yesterday we had your um queen conch bracelet didn't we today we have the same design but in the sakura i, I gave love this. these shapes so pretty aren't they they are yeah they're, and so smooth and shiny and lovely amazing and we have the sakura agate bangle now if you are if you're if, if you're reluctant to get a bangle maybe because i don't know you might have painful joints or you might find them harder to put on then this is literally on a stretchy bracelet so yep. you're not going to have any issues at all with this one you've got those same beautiful blossoms um and it's totally natural the darling of the agate world totally natural no enhanced one whatsoever and it's rare because see these lovely little flowers internal inclusions sakura agate is one of the only varieties of agates that forms in almost blossoms i suppose rather than the layers that we normally see within the agate family um i'm sorry to say this but not all agates are equal um because the dye variety whilst pretty they're not as rare as what you're seeing on your screens 250 carats we're at 149 pounds. You could de-strand this if you wanted to. Yes, and you could use them, but I don't think I would. No, I don't think I would. I think I'd wear it exactly as it mm. is. I love they're like little clouds. Little fluffy clouds. Yeah. Very pretty. <laughs> oh, do you know on Sunday, was it Sunday or was it Saturday? Anyway, well, on the weekend, <laughs> yeah, I was, we were driving to our friends for her little girl's party that was in, um, in their garden, thankfully, so thank goodness the weather got better. <laughs> and you know, when you look up into the sky, you think, look how pretty that sky Aww. is. Li proper little fluffy, fluffy, yeah. fluffy clouds. And my husband was saying to me, do you know how heavy a cloud is? It's like, well, not very, because they're fluff. I think they're water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's just fluff. It was like millions of tons. No, the average really? Cloud. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Wow. We're at 99.99. And we're not stopping there. Last six available. Now, that's not really a viable quantity for us jewellery makers. So, essentially, you're getting a clearance deal on one of our recent launches here. So, what? Ross. Wow. Are you sure we're meant to have done that? Shh, don't tell. Wayne's not here yet. That's true. <laughs> Is he here? Is Wayne here, Ross? <laughs> I'm loving that. <laughs> uh, I've, have you missed a digit, Ross? I think uh, one two nine is what I would have expected. Mm. I would never have guessed thirty quid. Would you? No, not at all. 
Elizabeth, Cheryl, Karen, Sue. I've got two left jewelry makers. Ooh. Heather, you're there as well. You've got to check them out. Oh, and Christine. It's getting tense. It is. And Gloucestershire, a maker. You're all there. I've only got one. I've got one left. Oh, and Lorraine. Oh, is it? I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Um, can you do that sound effect when Wayne does come <laughs> into the studio, please? <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that can be the signal for yeah. when Wayne steps into the gallery. Um, okay. The f oh, these are gorgeous. These are amazing. Have they got, got your attention this morning? I, I was eyeing these up earlier, yeah. yes. Do you know, you're not the only designer to have said that, Carol. It's that tealy, turquoisey colour. It just calls to me. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, and, and I agree. Do you know, controversial, but... I prefer Peacock Angelite to the original Angelite. Do you? Mm. But it's very rare and we have no more in our vault. We can't buy any more. I don't see it anywhere. No, no. I th I, well, that's true, actually. I think only here I've ever yeah. actually seen it. But in speaking to Wayne, <laughs> duh, 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 <laughs> um, he's saying, I can't get it. I can't get hold of it anymore. Wow. So this might well be. Maybe it's mined out. I don't know. I can't give uh, absolute certainty on that. But it is totally natural. And it's absolutely beautiful. I've only got five of these available jewelry makers. It's the, um, it's, it's what, sorry? Very limited hour, says Roscoe. It's the areas of translucency that I absolutely love about Peacock Angelite. So, yeah. And that's all natural colour. I've only got four within the vault. These are quite possibly the <coughs> biggest Peacock Angelite that we've actually had. Oh, ever, says Ross. Yeah, yeah. I've only got two. They are giant, aren't they? They're so pretty. We're going to match the launch price. And there's oh. lots of you getting involved this morning. We were only able to buy 30 of this strand. That's how difficult it is to wow. get hold of. Cheryl, well done. Karen, well done. I've got Mariska, Ken, Janet, Beverly, all there. Those are the names I can see. Mm -hmm. and we're on a bit of a go slow here in the studio. So not, not Carol and I, obviously, <laughs> just like a, just a, the IT side of things always works a little bit slower. Um, £69.99, yeah. jewellery makers. Keep those messages coming through. We love hearing from you. We do. Tell us what you're up to this weekend. Are you enjoying the sunshine? Are you enjoying the birthday celebrations as well? Did you get lots of bargains? Oh, loads of bargains. Oh. Loads and loads of bargains. And if you, like so many of us, maybe have got a working in um, organised chaos, yeah, <laughs> then we've got just the show for you today. Um, that's coming up at nine o'clock. Let's do what, sorry? Have we? Peacock Angel Light Rounds? No. No. That that looks like um that is Jade. That's definitely Jade. I don't have it, Roscoe. We'll use your lovely Adam's photo. There you go. Oh, those are There you very go. They've pretty. got mixed up they have because that's a variety of Jade that is. That's Guatemalan Jade by the looks. Uh, 99 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, Lauren's on it. Thanks, Lauren. No, we could stop here, couldn't we? Oh, it's so gorgeous, isn't oh, it? Oh, those are very lovely. Very pretty. <gasps> Full strand, 38 centimetre strand as well. They're beautiful. I would actually use those with, the, I think, the Guatemalan jade. How about with some oh, amazing yes, pearls? Oh, yes, please. It's a bit of you, that, Carol, that, isn't it? I would wear that all day. No, slabs, has got, slabs have gone. This is the only strand of Peacock Angelite that we've got in the vault. Oh. I know. How many? I just love that combination. Now, we started with 100. There's seven left. Oh, that's yeah. very exclusive. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and I can confirm we cannot get any more. No. We can't get any more. I'm not saying indefinitely, but we are trying, obviously, because I think many of us have the same feelings with Peacock Angelite that it's probably their favorite yeah um so we would love to be able to bring you a showcase of it but unfortunately wayne was saying nope haven't got any on order cheryl karen angela marishka christine and essex oh, you're flying. all there it is flying i've got oh they've gone well <laughs> done well done well done <coughs> so coming up at nine o'clock today um i'm going to be joined by the wonderful joe from storage for crafts um this is like genius quite literally genius 
Um, if you are, like I just said a few moments ago, maybe working in a certain amount of organized chaos, <laughs> um, then hopefully today we'll be able to change that. Check this out. Introducing Jo um, to the Jewel Maker Studio. She'll be here momentarily, momentarily, but in the meantime, watch this. Storage for Crafts came about because I was a messy crafter, essentially. I came into crafting by mistake. I went to a local craft show with my mum and my mother-in-law. They craft. They said, try making some Christmas cards. So I did. And then you buy loads of stuff. You lose the dining table. And before you know it, you've got more stuff than you know what to do with. My husband, Kevin, bless him at the time, was making furniture. So he made a little unit. That worked fine. But then I kept buying. So we expanded the range. And before you know it, I've got a craft room and we provide furniture for other people like me. Our storage is great for jewelry makers as well because we've got different size boxes. We've got boxes for your big pieces, so if tools will fit in there quite nicely. You can put our divider trays in the smaller boxes, so you've got um, up to 30 compartments in some of the boxes, so you can really separate out your beads and your findings. You've got um, lots of lighting in the units as well, so it gives you really good um, light to work, and it's a nice bright white as well. There's loads of opportunities for jewellery. I'm really looking forward to launching Storage Crafts on Jewellery Maker for their birthday show. Ah, it's exciting, it's isn't it? It's very exciting. She seems lovely too, doesn't she? Does she does seem adorable. And we yeah. were saying, as, you know, when you're listening to the story of how it all manifested, it's like, ah. Oh. Makes so much sense. Everybody can relate it? to it, yeah. don't they? Absolutely. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. You start with just a little and yeah. then it just it grows. grows. <laughs> it grows. Do you know, a confession. Oh. I can say this because I'm, Tom will be on the school run <laughs> right now. I've started putting some of my jewellery making stuff under the sofa. He's what? not found it. Is that because he doesn't hoover under the sofa? Yes. Yes. So okay, you're safe then. <laughs> <laughs> under the sofa. That's the thing you get. You have. You end up having jewelry maker paraphernalia in every single orifice of your I, house. I have got it absolutely everywhere. You can't move for little <laughs> bags of pretty things. <laughs> yes. Every orifice. Orifices. <laughs> Sorry. Um, coming up at nine o'clock, jewelry makers. Don't forget your early bird as well. All. I like, it's a good word, isn't it? Orifice. Is it orifice or orifices? Orifices is plural, isn't it? Must be. Yeah. Um, orifices, then, in That's my case. That's not how I expected my morning to go. <laughs> <laughs> morning, jewelry makers. Hi, everybody. We're talking about orifices. Um, <laughs> look at what's coming up as your early bird today. All about your beautiful star signs. They are carved quite literally in mother pearl. They are gorgeous and they have they are through drilled so you can string oh, on really? all sorts of things. Yeah. Wait, so they're carved into that shape and drilled? Yep. Oh, that's amazing. So shop ahead on these. Now we do have a thousand across oh, all of the star brilliant. signs. So think about between now and then maybe, um, have a little look at what your family members' uh, star signs are if you don't know off the top of your head. Maybe your friends I as might well. I have to get one for Bella's collar. Oh yeah, you've got to have Bella. Yeah. Bella's got to have one. I think yeah, the dogs all, all need one. Yeah. yeah, definitely your pets, your friends, because think how giftable these are they as are. well. And personalised, so they'll know you didn't just buy something and get it out of your drawer, it's specifically for them. Amazing! I am literally thinking about all my family members now, yeah. getting them the, the, all the star signs, and maybe with the initial that's coming up later on. Amazing, so do shop ahead on those, they're coming up about, well shortly, very shortly aren't they Roscoe? Very, very shortly. Okay. We'll talk about uh, um, <laughs> astrological jewellery because it is massive. You, you did get my uh, email, Ross, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so we'll be talking about your astrological jewellery too and the trend that it is. In the meantime, Roscoe, should we do some more early bird deals? Let's do those Let's pearls. Let's do those pearls. Which... Oh, Dan, you know what I'm going to ask for, don't you? <laughs> my favourite gold bus, please. Oh, yes. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me blankly then. No, I don't know what you're going to ask me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, because when I'm showing you pearls like this, they need to be on a bus rather than just thrown across uh, the back of my hand. So I'm oh. going to start. I know. Now we know that Carol, you are definitely a pearl lover. Is it your number one? Yes. 
I can see why. No. Oh. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're metallic. They're gorgeous. Natural. Wow. Look at those colours. Fireball pearls. I need. Yeah, they're unbelievable, they aren't are they? They are unbelievable. You get an abundance of nacre, and that abundance of nacre gives you that beautiful fireball tail, if you like, that adds just such striking interest to what would, you know, essentially, you know, we see round pills, don't we? Yeah. Um, but I love the ununiformity of a fireball pill. It's the colours on these. Yeah. I can see aubergines and pink overtones and all sorts. They're Amazing, dreamy. isn't it? Yeah, well, this oh. is the thing. Carol's highlighting something that's very important there with pills. Of course, you have your five virtues and you have colour, which you can dye a pill. However, these are not. So you have a natural body colour and then with fireballs or baroques in particular, um, because you've got that thicker nacre, you get more overtones and undertones. So those pistachio greens are not dyed. They're totally natural. Those um, deep, almost amethyst purples are not dyed. They are natural. The metallic colour is all down to the nacre itself. And luster, you've heard Charlie Barron say, you've heard um, many of us all, all reference um, the fact that luster is the most important of all the five virtues. Because yeah. you can have a big pearl, perfectly shaped pearl, you can have a natural pearl, you can have nacre thickness, but if it doesn't have luster, then it's not a nice pearl. Nope. Um, we're at £499. It is so difficult. I know I say it every time I bring pearls to air, but that is my job. Um, it's so <laughs> difficult for us to bring uh, to purchase pearls right now. In fact, we've been very open, transparent, and said, "Look, we can we can't get freshwater pearls. You know, China will not export them at the moment. So the days of us having pearl weekends or pearl hours and things Breaking like that. My heart. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry <laughs> because genuinely, we are historically at the most expensive time for buying pearls. Yes. Historically." We're at £299. And I was saying this yesterday, Carol. I remember, even when pearls were available, mm. if you like, here at Jewelry Maker, we used to bring much shorter strands yes, of pearls like this. Yes, 20 centimetres and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and they were that price. Yeah. Weren't they? I don't know how we're managing to do these prices at all. Nor me. Well, I do know. We bought them probably about three, four years ago. Oh, clever. Because we will spend millions on pills because it's a guarantee they yeah. pills are always one of our greatest success well, stories <laughs> yeah yeah so across the partnership we spend millions of pounds on pills so thank goodness that we did because yeah. otherwise we wouldn't be able to bring opportunities like this no. um roscoe how many have we got four oh. look at those pistachio colors that should be your price jewelry makers especially when you consider we used to bring you like 20 centimeter strands for not far off that price mm. They are totally natural, massive in their size, metallic as well. Remember from the harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will be metallic. That's ridiculous. <laughs> There's four available, four available opportunities. We could sell them individually for that price. I would certainly make with them individually and sell because the, each one is like a little story in its own way. It is, you're, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you know, when I was at Tucson two years ago, pre pearl mania, as I refer to it as, they were sold individually. They yeah. were in those little white pots that you saw the the onyx in. Yes. Um, sold individually, and they were at wholesale three figures. Yeah. You know, you're getting a full strand. I've got four available. Jenny in Bristol, you've got yours well done. You're not alone though, darling. We've got Ellen in Cumbria there as well um, with it in her basket. There's pe I can't see everybody's names. Um, so there's people there. Make sure you're checking out your basket. That is, is probably less than half price, and that would be amazing if it was double that price. Incredible because we can't source them. No. If this was being brought to air at four nine nine, that's still a steal of a deal. Yeah, absolutely. A steal of a deal. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, from those amazing pearls. <gasps> now these are oh, oh some of those. More are of a baroque huge. shape. Yeah. More of a baroque. They're fireball, but you also get some of the baroque shape with them as well. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? I can't believe the colours again. With this greeny yeah. ones and mauve and gold. All natural. Wow. You know, what a head turning piece. This is, I buy pearls now, not just because I love them, because they are absolute heirlooms for the future, aren't they? Yes. I mean, to be able to hand down pearls like this to Absolutely. future generations. 
I've got three available. And again, I'm not sitting here saying £1,999 isn't a considered amount of money. It is. But it's not really when we look at when we're talking about this. <laughs> Ross, I'll buy these. We c we'll have them. Thanks. There's three. <laughs> if they don't go, I'm going to get these. Because look at those colours. You've got almost gold, like 24 karat gold yeah, colour. They are absolutely reflective and beautiful. And then I love that smooth surface that you can see across. <gasps> So I love it. You've got ripple pearls, which have got more of a rippling on mm. the uh, on the surface of them, but these are quite smooth, and I think that's why I'm loving these so yeah, much. I don't. They are, they're just eye catching, aren't they? I think from across a room. Oh, Heather, you can take that last one. Nicolette and Jenny, you've got yours. Well done, Heather. If you check out, you've got the last one. If not, I'll get it. <laughs> I'll fight you. And Melanie's it. there too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Carol wants them too. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, oh, they've gone. Well done. Well done, well done, well you done. You will not regret those. No, they're amazing. They're gorgeous. I do have the rosebud pearls. These are one of the rarest varieties of pearls in the world. Um, effectively, they are a natural pearl, but they can't call them a natural pearl because they are formed as part of the culturing process. Let me just make sure they're lay. They're so pretty. They're lovely, aren't they? They're little, oh, little fluffy shapes. Like little clouds, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Rosebud pearls are also referred to as popcorn pearls. I can see why. Yeah, yeah. they've got little, like little gnarly, cute little bubbles little across bubbles the surface. Um, again, one of the rarest varieties of pearls in the world. We only got hold of it. I'm amazed we've still got it, to be honest. Um, the only reason, look at the, look how, how beautifully lustrous they are. They're almost like a metallic light luster. Yeah. Um, the only reason we have rosebud pearls is because of our sister channel's birthday. Oh, right. So uh, one of our amazing pearl suppliers agreed um, to bring rosebud pearls as part of the 19th birthday celebrations. And what they actually said was, these are normally sold individually. You might well have one of the only strands <gasps> um, in the industry, basically. Wow, they are exclusive. Yeah, it's very yeah. difficult to get hold of. Well, you've got to think about it. That's a lot of rosebud it is, pearls, isn't, isn't it? it? Um, we can't have many of these available, mm. Roscoe. Ten. I didn't think no. we'd have many. Again, if you are a pearl lover, like Carol and I definitely are, and you're looking for something um, just a bit special. Yes, yeah, I mean, something you haven't already got. Yeah, yeah, it's just different, just different. Yeah. Then rosebud pearls, 100% could fit that uh, um, description. The eight to nine millimeters, and you're getting a full 38 centimeter strand at 299 pounds. Oh my. No way near, says Roscoe. I've got 10 available for the ultimate pearl collector. Because, you know, let's not, not to belittle them in any way. We can all get hold of potato. Well, we can't all get hold of. But, <laughs> you know, you might, yeah, we could. You might have potato pearls. You might have round pearls. How many of us have actually got rosebud pearls? £49.19. That's ridiculous, That's an Ross. amazing price. seriously one of them should be that price yeah they're just so what, unusual yeah they are if you love luster which is really the it's ultimate kind of the key thing, isn't it's it? the key yeah. thing then definitely rosebuds are you are for you um but and I, I haven't got the time to do it right now but there was this chart that actually talks about the fact shows all the rarest pearls in yes. the world rosebuds are on that chart yes. itself i've only got 10 available opportunities though jewelry makers so make sure you're checking them out um, these will sell out. There's enough of you there, but you need to confirm. So I've got Maker, Wendy, Maker, Susan, Trina, Sally, Maker. Wendy wants eight. I don't blame her. Yeah, I don't blame you, Wendy. If you want that eight, I would definitely yes. check out soon rather than later because you are not alone. <laughs> um, you're not alone on the web, on the phone lines, on the app. Unbelievable. Again, it's that lovely silvery, bright metallic luster that really you can only get from a rosebud pearl. Um, and again, knowing that you own one of the world's rarest pearls mm. in the world. Um, I've, so, I've shown it before the chart that shows you like Bahrain pearls, all different, the, the turtleback pearls are on there. Rosebud pearls or popcorn pearls as they're sometimes referred to. Um, okay, that is the lowest price rosebud pearl. Not just, I, I think here at, at Jewelry Maker or Gemporia, probably ever. In the world, quite possibly. You don't and have to use them as a strand either, do you? You can split no. them up into earrings and all sorts. Well, that's what our supplier was saying. They're normally yeah. sold individually. Yeah, so yeah. 
just because we've brought them to you on a strand doesn't mean that you have to sell them that no, like that. I think I'd have earrings. Yeah, amazing. Josie, Wendy, you've done it. I've got loads of you with it in your basket. I'll leave that with you. We cannot go any lower. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, on to. What should we do? Should we do the zodiacs? Oh, shall we? Yes. So I had great fun last night reading about <laughs> zodiac jewellery because it is a huge, huge trend. Now we have a thousand of these, so it's a big quantity auction across all the zodiac signs, which are literally hand carved and I've just learned drilled as well. Yeah. So they can almost float um, in your jewellery designs. Hopefully you've done your homework, you know what star sign <laughs> you are and maybe your nearest and dearest as well. This is going to go crazy. Shop ahead on these, they're absolutely beautiful. One of the biggest and hottest trends in the jewellery world up next. <laughs> So astrology, if like me, and I am no Brian Cox, by the way, <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, when someone talks and they're that clever that, that you, you don't really, I can't, I can't follow him. I can't yeah. follow him. He's that clever. Yeah. He's, he's too, far too bright for me. And, um, but obviously he knows a thing or two about astrology. Does he? Is it, or is it just stars? I think Astronomy he is. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Told you, he's too clever for me. Brian Cox is crying into his cornflakes. <laughs> he's like, I don't do astrology. <laughs> right, we've got a thousand. So if you wonder what astrology dates, make a note of these if you wish. Your partner, your husbands, your your wives, your nearest, your dearest, your friends, your dog. cousins, your pets, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> your children. Um, write them down and then shop ahead. So here are the dates, jewelry makers, of all your astrology signs. Um, uh, they, they're already going, jewelry makers. I'm a Virgo. There you go. I'm an Aries. You're an Aries. What are you, Dan? I'm a cancer. You're a Cancer. What are you, Roscoe? You're a Pisces. What are you, Adam? You're a Libra. Gosh, we're all different. Yeah, that's not funny. Um, Lauren, what are you? I'm a Gemini. A Gemini. Another there you go. One. You're rubbish at lying, apparently. Yeah, just give it up. <laughs> oh, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So you can, you can obviously make, make a note. Like, I remember my mum's a, a Gemini. My husband's a Gemini. I'm just looking now to find out. Well, Willow's a Leo. There you go. Aww. So, uh, Tiggy, where's Tiggy? Where's November? November, November. Uh, Tiggy's a Scorpio. Oh, there you go. So we can make a note of all these and we can shop ahead. Yep. So let's talk about astrology because it's a huge influence to jewellery. Yep. Um, one that um, is very on trend at the moment. So here's a couple of headlines. Um, there's two actually. There's one in, written in 2021 and there's one a bit more recently. So from Rihanna to Haley, the rise of zodiac necklaces is written in the stars. Aww, I just like that. That is nice. Um, and then you've got a photograph coming up next of Rihanna herself. Famously a Pisces. Woo. There you go. Looking uber cool as always. Uber cool. Um, wearing her, and you can see that, by the way, that necklace is very expensive. You'll see that in a second. Uh, moving forward. And it says, what star sign are you? Um, has long been a common uh, parlance, but a rise in zodiac necklaces means there's no need to ask uh, whether the wearer is into astrology or not. Rihanna is rarely seen without her Pisces medallion, a blinktastic emblem dotted with diamonds, while the Duchess of Sussex uh, recently wore Logan um, Hollowell, Taurus and Gemini constellation neck charms in honour of Archie and Lilibet uh, during her 40th birthday broadcast. Hayley Bieber's Sagittarius um, comes in the form of an Anita Coe's diamond frame coin pendant, while proud Libra Bella Hadid uh, looks to affordable brand Mazza Boutique for sweet zodiac and birth year necklaces. Oh! 
Uh, celebrities aren't the only ones buying celestial keepsakes. The increased popularity of Zodiac jewellery goes hand in hand with the renaissance of personalised pieces as people seek out pieces which, uh, with which uh, they connect on a deeper level. Rather than a singular focus on aesthetic appeal, says Raymond, uh, an art historian and fine jewellery expert whose New York uh, specialises in bespoke uh, uh, sorry, ateliers specialise in bespoke pieces. Simultaneously, I feel there has been a movement towards identifying with one's astrological sign as a source of a divine comfort. Wearing one's sign in a form of jewellery is a way to keep this feeling close, which is what ultimately inspired me to create our Zodiac collection. And there's the one that you saw Rihanna wearing there. Cool! Let's call it 11. Oh, 11 grand for oh. that. I mean, it's lovely, <laughs> it don't get lovely. me wrong, but it's also 11 grand. I mean, that's a very nice car, isn't it? Just a bit. Um, that's your Pisces. There's Hayley uh, oh. Bieber wearing hers. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Layered yes. up with her chains. I love how she tries to casually style out a selfie. <laughs> um, <laughs> amazing. And <laughs> um, they go on to say for Raymond, Zodiac emblems have always been one of the most popular forms of jewelry because there are few forms of ancient spirituality that have endured the passage of time as astrology has. Thousands of years since its inception, we continue to be captured. Um, by our zodiac signs, even going as far as to map out our birth charts for a deeper insight into who we are as individuals. Her clients often combine multiple zodiacs on one piece to nod to those whom the wearer holds dear, That's very um, sweet. near and dear. It's lovely, isn't yeah, it? I like really that idea. Nice. And incorporate elements of flora and fauna to represent the delicate balance between the grounding presence of our planet and the otherworldliness of astrology. Wow. This was written recently, January 2024, and you can see the little charms there. Zodiac jewelry brands to make your star signs shine. And I like this little paragraph. They're just saying the Zodiac jewelry trend shows no sign of slowing down. And frankly, we're here for it. <laughs> uh, not only is it a luxe way of astrology enthusiasts um, to rep their rising moon and sun signs, uh, but Zodiac jewelry's rise in popularity means there are more options uh, than ever to choose from. Designers like Monica Rich Cossan and Erin Fader um, are incorporating astrological signs into dainty stackable necklaces, signet rings and statement pieces at both fine and fashion jewellery price points. So you can wear your sign on your sleeve no matter your budget. And let's just show you a few of those uh, sort of pieces that are around um, in style. There we go. You can see $350 for that beautiful bracelet. It's cool, isn't it? And again, something you can wear, put on and never take off. Yeah. Um, $350 for that one. I'm liking the backdrop, by the way, Roscoe. <laughs> have we got... We're, oh! Is that all we have? I, I must have missed off some price points. Anyway, <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, yeah, beautiful. So what's your star sign? Are you going to be wearing yours? Are you going to be wearing your nearest and dearest? Are you going to be wearing them on the neckline, on the wrist? They're so pretty. And do you know what? It was when you were just reading that, I was thinking actually you have a star sign and then don't you have like one rising as well? So do I think you? I'm Aries with Gemini rising. I don't understand. Yeah, I think it's exactly which date within the month you are and then you've got another one. Yeah, oh. I don't really understand it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. How do we know which one we're rising to? You have to look it up. Oh, what, the year we were born and everything? Righto. Um, now, we have a thousand. That's across all the star signs. That's approximately, so it sounds like loads. It's only about 80 of each. Yeah. So to guarantee yours, make sure, or your nearest and dearest, make sure you shop ahead. These are mother of pearl, carved, and they're drilled. So if you look at our lovely Carol's necklace that she's created, you can see the star sign is literally suspended. That's so pretty. It's floating. I decided it would sort of be an illusion type necklace and we could float them on there. Oh, amazing. I absolutely love that. And also consider jewelry makers, we've got the initials coming up. Yep. And you've got your birthstone, so you could really team these together if you wanted to. Um, okay, now, nowhere near your price point, jewellery makers. Already lots of you are shopping ahead because, you know, so I think we're going to shock you on this. Bearing in mind these are carved out of mother of pearl, which must be incredibly challenging. Yeah. And drilled. I don't know what they're going to do. Do you not? I'm intrigued. Okay, let's do a... Uh, 
Oh. I'm, I'm not going to show you. Oh. Because I want you to see the reaction on there. Okay. Let's just say $49.99 is nowhere near. We're at ten pounds, wow. nine pounds and ninety-nine pence for that level the of detail. Mother of pearl. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you've got if you if you've got yourself or thinking of starting a little business, yeah. to be able to do something as personal yeah. as, as star signs. And offer them to people, do some of each so they can just yeah. pick from the lot, yeah. So you could do just little bracelets, little necklaces yeah. like that, choose your star sign, you can have them little, literally signed, maybe put the astrology dates on there as well, because yeah. you mustn't assume everybody knows. Um, and then but, you can upsell as well, can't you? So, yeah. well actually, why don't you get one for your other half or your child? Why not get your birthday? Yeah. Why not get your initial? Yeah. There's a purple clock on your screen, oh. jewelry makers, which means one thing, doesn't it? We are going lower. Can you believe this? I'd be getting a few. I would. Stock up. Lovely gift. So I'm thinking, okay, so my yeah, my mum's a Gemini, so I could get that. My uh, my husband, as we've just covered, is a a Gemini as well, and you can get one for your children and your your best friends. Yes, definitely. So oh my goodness me and put them away for making christmas presents and birthday presents absolutely that's exactly what i'm thinking yeah. but if you're doing craft events how amazing would yeah. that be just you've have got... some of each available and people can pick yeah, yeah you've got an immediate immediate draw haven't you yep because whether you believe in astrology or not it has definitely stood the test of time hasn't it over, yeah over centuries people talk about it all the time and i love Re even if you you read your star sign don't you yeah you always do absolutely seven pounds and 99 pence only wow that is superb is it amazing absolutely can i borrow this mm. a second because i wondered why the team messaged me and said <laughs> Elle, what star sign are you i was like i'm a virgo oh look at that that's so beautiful it's pretty and again straight away you know what it is, don't you? Yes. And like you say, you can match it with the actual stones that go with that sign. Yeah. So you've put sapphire with this That's one. That's what's got sapphire. Oh, amazing. Yeah. So many of you getting involved, lovely jewellery makers. Essex has got five. Nicolette's multi-bought. Cheryl's multi-bought. Karen's multi-bought. When you think about what, sorry? £100 and I can have this. <laughs> what do you, do you know, though? It's sapphire and it's mother of pearl. That's actually not a bad price, it's is quite it? quite a lot of sapphires on yeah, there, Yeah, it's actually not a bad price at all. So many of you there, whether you're thinking about gifts, whether you're thinking about whether you're thinking about for your business, yeah, mother of pearl carving. Yeah, and the price of mother of pearl at the moment, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah. We had 80 of each. Can I tell you, the quantities are dropping significantly. Um, I'm going to guess Virgo will be one of the... Because there's lots of September babies, aren't there? Yeah. Lots of September babies. Certain months are always a bit busier than others. I don't know why. <laughs> um, Susan, well done. Caroline's multi bought as well. Josie's multi bought. Essex is multi bought. Uh, Karen's multi bought. Uh, loads of you basically multi buying. We had a thousand across all of the star signs. However, you've got to remember that's only about 80 of each. Um, so if you've got maybe a few people in one uh, particular astrology date, then don't leave it in your baskets. Now, we are not stopping there, jewellery makers. It's no absolutely way. incredible, this, isn't it? And I'm going to show everybody later how to add the stone to the charm oh, really? as well. So, yeah, if you want to do it the way I've done it, I will teach you how later oh, let me today. move this out. Sorry, Dan. There we go. Is that straight? There you go. Yeah, so this little stone that I've added to the charm I'm going to teach you how to do it and it's super easy actually wow I love that it's drilled through with the actual astrology sign as well yep. so you can create like a floating necklace yes you can I'm going to get it. some of these Roscoe you might get some too yeah because you can literally just put them on stretchy bracelets couldn't you if yeah, you wanted just some beads and some elastic so nice yeah so nice and they're definitely star signs you know sometimes you can look at them and it's a little bit questionable yeah no they're very clear aren't they yeah you definitely can see that these are star signs okay there are tons of you there jewelry makers can you believe we're at 7.99 per star sign i can't believe that clock <laughs> i know it's going lower again 
I think even though we had a thousand across all <gasps> the astrology dates, it's only 80 of each. I actually think this, these could sell out. They're wow. so beautiful. So again, you know, think about what are your parents? What are your children? What are your best friends? What are your pets? Whatever it might yeah, be. And like you say, if you've got a, a craft fair stall or something, get a bunch of them. Get a bunch of them, yeah, absolutely. One of each. Yeah. So what's Bella's star sign? I don't know, I'll have to look. Uh, she is a Gemini. She's a Gemini. She looks like a Gemini. <laughs> you think? Yeah. <laughs> she does look like a Gemini because she's just got such a sweet, perfect face. She's got a very, very sweet personality. Yeah. Are all Gemini sweet? I think so. That's the good. Geminis I know are very sweet Aww. anyway. Very kind-hearted, aren't they, Geminis? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not I'm not an expert on this at all. You see, my whole family pretty much are Aries. Are they? So we're a bit fiery. Fiery Aries, mm. right. <laughs> I don't know, like, the traits of each star sign. I know uh, Virgo are meant to be perfectionists. Ah. Which I kind of, yeah, maybe, but also not. <laughs> <laughs> in some walks of life, maybe. A text in, what's your yes, star sign us. and what's your defining astrology feature? Um, can you relate to it? Loads of you getting involved. Again, we've still got quantity and they are actually relatively even. Can I just say the one that looks the most limited is Capricorn. Mm, I didn't expect that. No. So that's, uh, there's lots of December babies then. Oh, Christmas babies. Aww. Lots of Christmas babies. Uh, Virgo. They're about even, to be fair, across all of the others. So maybe a lot of you are choosing um, to get all of the star signs um, because they'd be perfect on a craft fair, wouldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. And it's a talking point as well, isn't it? Because everybody knows their star sign. So yeah. when they come to your store and you can say, oh, what's your sign? And you've got an instant chat with them then. You could have like that backdrop that Ross has put on that PowerPoint, yes. couldn't you? You could do a little write-up on what each of each your... One's Personality personalities type. is about yeah. and you could almost have them include that in your little gift box couldn't you oh that would, and then people would buy those as gifts 100 percent um i bet they'd absolutely fly when you think about the prices that it can be elsewhere yes amazing definitely getting some of these roscoe 100 percent let's put a minute clock on your screens not to close we should be closing here <laughs> We are under strict instructions to close here. However, meh. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah, well, let's go lower. <laughs> let's do it. There's a lot of multi-buyers. Do you know, pretty much every single person is multi-bought, actually. It makes sense, though, doesn't it? Yeah. So you don't want to just do one for one person and everybody else feel left out. <laughs> no, exactly. I can see some of you getting um, all 12 of them. Is there 12? There is 12, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Um, all 12. <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> I know, so, uh, you know when you say something like that sounds really <laughs> stupid Al. But I was, <laughs> they might not be the same as the months of the year. Okay. Maybe, in my head. Um, so many of you are getting involved. I do appreciate that you might need to do a little bit of research on what star sign your nearest and dearest might be. However, remember you've only got until nine o'clock and these, uh, these uh, opportunities disappear. Who's bought one of each? Sandra's bought one of each, yeah. Well I can done, see Sandra. that. She's not alone. Good plan. She's not alone. Incredibly carved natural mother of pearl, 4.99 each. Wow. I, For mother I of pearl. did not expect that. I'm definitely buying some of these. Yeah, that's such a good price. Really mother good. Mother of pearl. Um, the scorpions are catching up by the way. In fact, oh. you have caught up oh, the yes. Capricorns. Um, Taurus have overtaken. Taurus, Taurus is very popular. Taken the lead. Taken the lead. Taurus, you are the most limited. Um, amazing. Virgo, not far behind there. Not far. In fact, you've caught up the Scorpions and the Capricorns. Isn't this a funny conversation? <laughs> It's like a competition. It's like a little race. It's like you like like doing horse racing, yeah. isn't it? And you've got the Virgo <laughs> coming up from behind, <laughs> catching up the Scorpions and the Tauruses. <laughs> and there's Leo coming in on the outside. <laughs> You might have found a new job there. And clearly, <laughs> amazing. And it's Leo who's coming up on the outside. <laughs> Oh my days. Uh, little things tickle my mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> so many of you getting involved. I'm loving these, Roscoe. Really, 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 really cool. 
And I do think, uh, you know, if you're thinking about craft events, I know not everybody does them. If you are thinking about that, that you have immediately got your business model, haven't you? You have. And do you know what else? People come to me when they want personalised necklaces and they often want the same necklace with their charm, their partner's charm, their kids' charms, all on one. Nice. Like a little family necklace. Oh, that's lovely. And you could just do that, couldn't you, and line them up? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So I need to get a Gemini, a Virgo. Yeah. Um, a November, 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 a Scorpio, Scorpio. and where's the July? A Leo. That's what I need to get for my family. Oh, just have That's them all, my, all, all the little charms yeah. together. But then also, what about like, say, my 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 brother's wife? Yeah, it'd be nice to put her family together as well, yes. wouldn't it? Yes, for her. Make to a wear. piece of jewellery. Oh, oh, that would be so lovely. What a gift so thought out and immediately yeah. you've got when they look at it like okay what's this and you can explain you've got the story behind it oh, i'm loving them i'm absolutely loving them they've gone crazy there's so many of you getting involved zara's got eight um uh, marion's got four he i mean there's literally fours threes twos we had a thousand across each of the astrology signs you're not ross what Okay, Dan, can you pass my phone? Because <laughs> I definitely want to get There's some of these. a bit of shopping to do. A Libra? Is that you, Adam? You're, you're a Libra. Do you want one, Adam, while I've got my phone? Yeah. I mean, they're so cool. I can't believe the price. I can't believe the clock. Unbelievable. Yeah, that on a stretchy bracelet. Especially if you've got some birthstones to go with, it would look so pretty. Well, we can, we can, if you haven't, we can sort that out we as well. Can. Thanks, Dan. I'm blatantly shopping on air with you now. <laughs> we I do tell. that. That's okay. I'm just hearing about my B and Q delivery that's turning up today. <laughs> don't we? Don't, don't care about that. We don't care about that. I want to get my astrology signs. How amazing are these? I don't no. know if I've ever seen them in Mother of Pearl anywhere. No. Because it's quite easy to do in precious metal, isn't it? Yeah. It's a mould, Yeah, I you suppose. can get those all over the place, but these are unusual. Yeah. So what did once did I say I needed? You said you needed a Scorpio. <laughs> I said I needed a Gemini. Add to basket. <laughs> um, I needed a... What is it? T oh, that's ridiculous. I will get some more. You're right. Wow. Where's the Virgo? Where's the Virgo? There you so go. So my brain's just saying, oh, what could I sell those on for? Is you <laughs> Not $2.99, would they? Definitely no. not. So is Tiggy a Taurus, did I say? Sorry, another famous Gemini. Why are we stuck on Geminis? Wayne? Wayne. Wayne, are you a Gemini? Yeah. <laughs> Wayne, these are so cool. We love them. Yeah, they're awesome. I'm literally shopping on air, Wayne. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look at them. I need Willow. Willow's a Leo. Aww. Leo, Leo. So cool. Um, we, we'll actually recap these. Does anybody else, while I'm at it, want one of these? <laughs> while I'm at it. How amazing are these? So many of you getting involved. I can't believe they're £2.99. That's just ridiculous. Right, a minute to close because we have got a lot to squeeze in today. We will recap them though, jewelry makers. Yes. So um, um, make sure you are checking out your baskets, much like myself. There you go. <laughs> um, and do not go anywhere. She's genuinely shopping. Genuinely, yeah. <laughs> I've got the buffer. I've got the old buffer of doom right here, spinny wheel, because I'm effectively in a tin can. Um, so check out your baskets, everybody. How awesome are they? Getting very excited about the astrology signs. Um, so much to bring you. We have got Storage for Crafts launching their amazing, amazing units after the break as well, which I'm very excited about. Um, I love how the, the story of it as well, how it actually uh, yeah. manifested. Um, but we've also got more for the wonderful Carol as well with your beautiful jewellery designs. We're You've got initials a, yeah. and birthstones. We're having a demo, yep. Amazing. Excited. So don't go anywhere, jewellery makers. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on your beautiful astrology signs. We're going to go straight to break um, and obviously launching Storage for Crafts with lovely Joe just after this. Don't go anywhere. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 14 years. 
of which I've been there 12. Um, it's been wonderful and you're a huge part of our lives. So thank you to everybody. Yeah, you no, know, yes, yes. Happy birthday, jewelry makers. You were grumpy, oh dear. Well, thank you, jewelry makers, for all your loyalty. You're an amazing. I love you. Yeah, we love you. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. We couldn't do it without you. Hello, everyone. It's Mark here and Thomas. You going to say something? No, you're going to think about it. We're both here today to wish Jewelry Maker the happiest of 14th birthdays. It's going to be an incredible fortnight. We've got an amazing lineup. And all I want to do is get the celebration started. Join us for two weeks of pure enchantment as we celebrate Jewelry Maker's 14th birthday in style. Indulge in the allure of our exquisite new gemstone launches Experience the brilliance of our esteemed guest designers and their unparalleled vision and expertise with exclusive masterclasses. And mark your calendars for a special occasion. On the 4th, we're extending our hours, giving you even more time to immerse yourself in the celebration. Embrace the magic and let your creativity sparkle as we toast to 14 years of elegance and innovation on Jewelry Maker. Hey lovely jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on May the 7th and because it's jewellery makers 14th birthday I've got lots of lovely birthday products to bring you. We've got micro faceted birthstones and they are gorgeous. Everything's on there, there's garnet, there's amethyst, there's peridot, there's sapphires, there's aquamarine, they are beautiful. I've been making these little earrings out of the amethyst and also this lovely bracelet and I've also made a pearl and garnet twinkly ring so I will be showing you those on the day and then also we have got little mother of pearl star sign charms how sweet are these I'll be showing you how to add a birthstone to those either for gifting or making for yourself so I will see you on the 7th for lots of birthday fun Make sure you join us this coming Wednesday on Jewelry Maker. It's still our 14th birthday and we've got the most amazing show for you. We've got a gemstone tumbler. We've got Dave joining us with the launch of the most insane cashmere aquamarine. And we've also got a brand new book launch. All of that and competitions and games throughout the show. We'll see you then. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish jewellery maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years. And I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that jewellery maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year and next year and many years after that um, and all the things that wonderful jewelry maker is going to bring us so thank you again and hope you have a very happy birthday happy 14th birthday jewelry maker <laughs> storage for crafts came about because i was a messy crafter essentially i came into crafting by mistake i went to a local craft show with my mum and my mother-in-law they craft, they said, try making some Christmas cards. So I did. And then you buy loads of stuff, you lose the dining table, and before you know it, you've got more stuff than you know what to do with. My husband, Kevin, blessed him at the time, was making furniture. So he made a little unit that worked fine, but then I kept buying. So we expanded the range, and before you know it, I've got a craft room, and we provide furniture for other people like me. Our storage is great for jewelry makers as well because we've got different size boxes. We've got boxes for your big pieces, so tools will fit in there quite nicely. 
You can put our divider trays in the smaller boxes. So you've got um, up to 30 compartments in some of the boxes. So you can really separate out your beads and your findings. You've got um, lots of lighting in the units as well. So it gives you really good um, light to work and it's a nice bright white as well. There's loads of opportunities for jewelry. I'm really looking forward to launching Storytel Crafts on Jewelry Maker for their birthday show. Welcome back, jewellery makers. This is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so delighted to welcome lovely Jo. Morning. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. Thank you. This is your first show. It is, yes. Um, you've obviously done shows on our sister channels before. I have, yes. Where I hear that this was a huge success. Yes, everyone loves this unit. I can see why. Mm. Um, so Jo, I mean, we saw just then how it all, 19 years you said to me a few moments ago. Yes, 19 been years we've been going, yeah. Amazing. Mm. Do you want to tell us a little bit more? I know we heard there how it sort of manifested, yep. but how, um, how it's all going. I mean, obviously you're branching out because it's not just jewelry makers this, it's great for all crafts, isn't it? This is it. And I think that's because I do do all crafts. You yeah. know, I did start with paper crafting yeah. and sewing with my mum and mother-in-law. But mm -hmm. then once we started going to the shows at the NEC and things like that, you wander around and buy things and you make friends with other exhibitors. Yeah. And two of my good friends through that are beaders. So right. they're like, give it a go. So you yeah. buy a few seed beads and some threads and needles. And then, yes. then it's like, where do I put all those? So I just yeah. adapted the furniture that Kevin had already made me and tweaked it and now I've got a beading unit. Wow, so it's like specifically for our jewellery makers effectively. Mm. Because this is something that we were discussing this morning, effectively, you know, when our passion of, of, of whatever craft it might be, it, mm -hmm. it can be quite messy, can't it? It can, very quickly as well. And yeah. you know, it doesn't matter what size workspace we have, we always end up working in a very small, area yeah. so to have everything that we need all our tools and accessories and bits and pieces organized but to hand mm. is crucial to be able to have more crafting time yeah absolutely and i guess also um, i've said this before being organized also enables your creativity as mm -hmm. well you know when you're constantly searching for certain items yep. maybe it can actually sort of slow the process down um, and ultimately we hear about, we talk about mojo, yeah. losing our mojo yeah. quite a lot. And I guess that's lack of organization sometimes. It is because sometimes, well, in the past, I've come back from shows and just put my stuff down in my craft room in the corner, yeah. but then I don't really know where it is. So when yeah. I want to use it, I've kind of forgotten what it was I bought and where yeah. I put it. Whereas if I am organized and I put it away, yeah. it's there and I can see it through the boxes because they're nice and transparent. So mm. if I've only got half an hour to finish making a bracelet, yeah. it's half an hour crafting. Yeah. It's not running around the house trying to find something and that's then true. thinking, I really can't be bothered to finish it now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you often put things away and it never sees the light of day exactly, ever again. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, again, there's the practicality side of things as well. It does mm. sort of encroach on our lives, our hobbies quite yep. a lot. It can be, as you said mm. in your VT, mm. you know, it starts on the dining table, then it's sort of areas of your living room or maybe the spare bedroom, yep. things like this. So actually for me, um, having it look tidy and presentable as well, when you're, mm. even when you're not crafting. Yeah. It helps a great deal. And I found through experience, it keeps the other half happy as well. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I haven't got beads everywhere and I'm not screaming at the cat because they've run across something or yeah. the, the dog hasn't jumped up and put his paws on my cards I'm making, that kind of thing. Yeah. And things last longer as well because yeah. it's tidy. You're not going to lose bits and pieces. You're not going to lose your favorite pliers and, mm. and scissors and that kind of thing. So ultimately, it's going to save you money because you're not buying. Yeah, that's very true. And mm. and and we deal with, as you know, Joe. We've we have amazing gemstones. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think also we've got as much a responsibility to look after those gemstones exactly. as well. Exactly. Yeah. So not just as I'm guilty of as mm. well, sort of just uh, um, having them sort of on the side where they get knocked, potentially damaged, yeah. or yeah, or little children go and have a little look at them and then you never see them again. So I think there's that aspect of it too. Yeah. Would you like to, to talk mm. us through this? amazing unit yeah would sure. you describe it as a unit i call it my craft room in a box or ah, my crafty tardis yeah. because it is crafty just TARDIS. huge yes um and there are so many different sizes of boxes in here so you can organize to the nth degree in here okay 
Um, let's start. Let's start over here. We'll start on the doors. Sure. Um, so in this section, you've got predominantly A4 boxes, but you can put all manner of things in here, and they take a good amount of weight as well. So you haven't got yeah, to worry solid. about um, the weight of your tools or your stones or anything like that. All the shelves are adjustable, so you can take these out and move them. Mm. So if you wanted to put bigger bits in here, you can. Okay. Um, this door has the extra sort of storage section. So you could put your um, reels of wire on here, reels of thread, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's great. Um, I have used this for that as well. Yeah. Equally, if you're not going to use this, just don't put the dowels in it and turn it over. Chains as well. You could suspend chains. You from could there. quite easily. Yeah, you could put your reels of chain on there. And we do quite a lot the smaller spools of sterling silver chain. Oh, so perfect. That would work. Yeah. yeah. So you could take a few dowels out as well. So if you've got some of the bigger spools, yeah, you're not constricted by size okay and then you have got three shelves on there so you could put spray cans on there if you use them that kind of thing um, mats would fit on there quite nicely and you've got a couple of hooks as well so yes. you could always put a little bit of ribbon on your favorite tools so you can hang them yes ready to use because I very rarely have this um, door set far back like that I usually pull it in closer so that when I'm sitting I can access everything, everything on that, that is on that door well. yes but also finished yep. pieces of jewelry you mm. could put on there couldn't you yeah be perfect for storing those because I have a horrible habit of getting chains tangled yes yeah me too <laughs> and I'm rubbish at untangling them yes okay yep. amazing I mean there's masses here there is there is an awful lot of boxes in this and all the boxes come with the unit as well so you right. haven't got to worry about getting those from somewhere else okay so it's about 50 boxes mm. and then you've got 12 trays as well wow um and i think last time i totaled it up there's about 350 liters of storage wow. in here yeah um with the boxes and then you've got spaces for machines books and yeah. that kind of thing as well yeah for example we had mm. the x tool on the other day perfect so yeah. you could easily sort of keep that in here as well couldn't we you could quite easily and in the center section here where you could put your tools we do have a cable outlet as well right so you could put um, an extension lead through and then attach it to the back which i do at home mm -hmm. and then everything is plugged in and ready to go so i'm not rummaging around looking for cables and things like that and yeah. workspace it is there and you can pull it forward and work away amazing right yes. okay so in the center section as well we do have some lighting yes <gasps> is that so you've got two lights in this unit right. so you've got one directly above where you're working and then Gosh, one the, oh yes at the back so you're not actually working in your shadow so yeah. and it's a nice white light so if you're color matching threads and beads and that kind of thing you're not going to get a distorted color no and it's really important to work in bright light mm. as well to protect your eyes as well I it suppose. is yes and the other good thing about this is it doesn't bleed into the room so if you do have this unit in the lounge yeah and everyone else is watching the telly or something like that or you get up early in the morning it doesn't make the rest of the room nice and bright so right. you, it just is illuminating where you're working sort of isolated so it is amazing yeah. yeah it's a lovely bright light yes it is and it doesn't get hot either okay so you're not going to get hot underneath it so the center section again you've got a selection of um a4 boxes mm -hmm. and then in the middle section we've got some slightly smaller longer boxes Oh gosh, they'd be perfect for strands. Perfect, absolutely perfect for that. And they're a good height as well, so you can also put spools in there as well yeah. if you wanted to. So you've got a selection and you've got a slightly narrower one as well. Right, okay. Just for a, a variation. Because oh, you that... never know what size box you need. I have great fun playing with boxes when we get them come in. Well, it's quite cleansing, isn't it? When mm. you're actually having a sort of sort out. And I'm just thinking is, about yeah. how much fun it's going to be to finally organise. Say right now you're watching thinking, oh, I'd love one of these. Mm -hmm. You know, to actually take it from all the various sort of orifices of, of our home yeah. that they tend to find their way into and actually have it all here. This is it. And I bet you find things that you'd forgotten about. Yeah. Beads you bought for a specific project that have just, you know been lost for a little while yeah exactly these shelves are, are adjustable as well so you could take those out if you wanted to okay. use the boxes elsewhere and then in the back of the desk we've got a selection of trays wow. i find these particularly useful for things i use all the time yeah so they tend to go in here so tools and my favorite spools and that kind of thing tend to go in here my mm -hmm. pens um depending on which um craft this is set up for 
depends yeah. what goes in there really um, I do also keep a few sort of memories and reminders stuck to the side. Yeah, oh, that's a nice Birthdays, idea. that kind of thing. Yeah. Because you have got enough space there to put a small magnetic sheet as well if you wanted to. Okay, So you don't yeah. lose any bits and pieces. Yeah. If you have got any of the bigger machines as well, you can take these out completely. Right, okay. So you could put a monitor in there if you wanted to. Oh, okay. A computer monitor. TV and your laptop and things like that. Yeah. Gosh, there is literally masses of space. There is so much space in here, yes. Wow. Yeah. Because we've probably not even covered half of it yet, have not we? Not quite, no. Not quite. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's you all right. You carry on. So let's lift the desk and then we can see what's underneath. Oh, and it just folds down? Yeah. You've just got a couple of little buttons on the end of the hinge. Locks up like so. Make sure they're always locked in when you put the desk up. Okay. And then in underneath, we've given you a couple more bigger boxes, um, yeah. which you can hang um, uh, files in. Oh. So you could put A4 hanging files in there if you wanted to, if you wanted to organize. Oh, like a filing system. Filing system, yep. Yeah, you can do that in there mm -hmm. or just use it for bigger pieces. Mm. They could go in there quite nicely. You have got a space down the side for mats if you wanted to. Oh yes, I can see. There's a gap just there. Yep. For things like your macrame boards and things like that. Yes, that's perfect for that. And then you have we have just left an open space. Yeah. Because you never know what size bits and pieces. Yeah. You're there's gonna always going to be something else. There is. So that is the centre unit. Wow. Okay. And then we have this side. This side. So Amazing. It just keeps going. It really does. <laughs> It is like a TARDIS, you it were right saying that. Yeah, so again, you've got more A4 boxes at the top. Mm -hmm. And then these are, if you want to think sizing, CD size, if you're trying to gauge okay. the size of these. Um, I find these good for overlocker cones, if you're trying to think of sizing. Yeah. Um, but bottles, I can actually keep my jewelry cleaning kit in one of those. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, yeah. And we've given you another desk. Right. Because you never have enough workspace. No. So you've essentially got an L-shaped desk when you're working. When it's out. Yeah, or potentially you can share the space with your children, grandchildren, that kind of thing. You could teach them nice macrame, um, you know, making friendship bracelets, that kind of thing with the kids. And they, it's a big, it's a big desk as it well. It is a big desk, yeah. And they do take a good amount of weight as well. Yeah. If you're using any machines, you don't get vibrations, that yeah. kind of thing. Okay. So it's nice and sturdy. And then underneath this one. Gosh, there's more. We've got more boxes. Just, it's how easy it all kind of concertinas together. Yeah, we've made it really easy because, you know, people have different dexterity yes. issues and things like that. So we've tried to make it accessible for yeah. everybody. And then underneath, we've got some 12 by 12 boxes. Yeah. Just because you never know what you're going to need. And then No, these are, it's a good selection of boxes and sizes and shapes. Yeah. And then a couple of almost shoebox size boxes. They are, yeah, yeah. So you, can so you could literally, I mean, if you've got many of our, our viewers, Joe, actually mm -hmm. have got multiple mediums that they do. So yes. not just in jewellery making, but mm. also across many different crafts. So you might be a sewer, for yep. example, you might also, as you just said, mm -hmm. you might make jewellery. So you could almost have little sections dedicated to each of those You could quite easily because hobbies. you could then incorporate all the different things mm. into all the different crafts that you do. Yeah. Whereas you might not have been able to before because you, you've not had it to hand, so you've not thought about it. Yeah. So if you're making a card, you could then sew some seed beads into it to highlight yeah, maybe at nice. Christmas, put some um, silver ones on there, yeah. that kind of thing, or into your sewing. Yeah. You know, suddenly you've got my, many more options. Well, yeah, it's going to expand your creativity, mm, isn't it? It is, so yeah. It's a mixed medium, I suppose. Okay, so, it's incredible it is. how just how much you get you get from it in terms of its space yeah how does it close down and what does it look like when it's closed down okay so we've put the desks away yeah uh, turn the light off okay and then we just bring the doors round. move that one out of the way so once it's all closed up, uh -huh. it's about three foot square when it's all closed up, six foot square when it's open. It and literally looks like a wardrobe. It is just a wardrobe in the corner. There you go. All done. All that space is yep. now basically wardrobe size. That's it, yep. Now, if you want the dimensions, if you're thinking about this as particular space in mm -hmm. your room, um, that you would like this to go, then here they are. So 189 centimetres high, 87 centimetres deep. So mm. it's not 
It's not intrusive, is it? It's not. So it would tuck away quite nicely in the room. Yeah. And no one is going to know what's in there. So if you share your craft space with your spare room, yes. they're just going to think it's your, you know, wardrobe. your wardrobe full of winter coats. Well, this is what I was exactly thinking, because we've got a little almost box room mm -hmm. that um, has got a spare bed in. Yeah. But I would love to be able to sort of have all my craft sort of out. Yeah. But the reality is currently anyway mm. you know it's going to be a bit of a mess when i have guests or you've got to tidy it away you have to tidy it away yeah whereas this it's literally just fold it all up just fold it up so if you haven't got guests coming you can just leave it all out. open and yeah. out and then you can craft whenever you want but yeah. then when your friends come over and they're staying you can just pop it all away oh it's absolutely amazing joe yeah. so incredible and 19 years because yep. you what you're the whole idea is something we all relate to, isn't it? It is, and it just started because Kevin, my husband, was frustrated that I'd made a mess. It <laughs> happens, just, doesn't it? It's it a story happen. I hear all the time, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. Like, and you said earlier on, it starts in the dining room, it doesn't does, it? It does, yeah, and then suddenly the whole house is your craft room, yeah. and you have to try and tidy up a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Now, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, do you deliver? We do, yes. Right. It does come flat-packed. Um, but we will come and assemble it for you. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. So with this one, we've included our white glove service. White glove service. Yes. So this, because that would be quite a daunting t uh, thought to me, actually having to build it. Yeah, I mean, when Kevin designed them, he has done it so that I can build them. Okay. Because I'm not very good with flat pack furniture. Okay. But these are very easy to do. And I have built one of these in the past. Okay. Um, but we will come and put it together for you. Right. There is a bit of a lead time on that. Okay. Um, and an area um, where we can't get Okay, to. so um, postcodes that you can't assemble to. Yeah. So... So it's basically from Glasgow and Edinburgh, if you draw a line. Yeah. North of there, we can't do. Okay. And we can't take the van over water. Yes. So... Okay, that makes sense. So that includes the Isle of Wight, Isle of Man. Yeah. Highlands and Islands and right. northern and southern islands. Okay, so if you do live within that region, yeah. you will actually come and set it up. Yeah, we'll come and build it for you. It takes the guys a couple of hours to build it. Wow, okay, so that's impressive. All we ask is that you've cleared the space yeah. where you want it to go and they've mm. got space to build it. Yeah. They'll unpack it all, build it. All the rubbish comes back to me as well because yeah. I will repack the boxes and everything into it and we use it as many times as we can before oh, wow. we recycle so that's good. So it's ethical yeah we don't use any polystyrene or anything like that either and then all you've got to do is fill your boxes and play and away you go and away you go yeah this is very 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 exciting now we do have a few messages for you joe okay, okay yeah um a few customers uh hi sue in edinburgh um that is an awesome bit of kit says <laughs> sue um what more could anyone want or need gorgeous oh, to thank you sue it does look beautiful it's a beautiful yeah. piece of furniture um we've got another message coming through from lovely patsy uh, morning al joe and all at jewelry maker morning, morning patsy darling welcome storage for crafts on jewelry maker a crafter's dream to be able to own any item from this company oh thank you that's very bless kind bless you she's a sweetheart is our yeah. patsy um hello to you Venetia, also in the West Midlands, saying good morning, Alan Joe. I bought a unit a couple of years ago, which oh. I use for my jewellery and beauty business. Can't imagine life without it. Oh, fabulous! There you Thank go. You. How yeah. amazing! And this is it. Does it? It's going to ultimately you want it to help your craft don't you you do because it can be quite stressful when you've got a piece in mind and you just can't find it yeah and then you lose time looking for it and then by the time you have found it the mojo is gone yeah. as well you're losing money especially with precious metals mm. or gemstones um got another one coming through from rachel hello to rachel hi joe can i please ask if the desk heights are suitable for wheelchair users they are. They're about 72 centimetres. Okay. Um, and the gap between their legs is for most standard uh, wheelchairs. So if you've got one of the bigger mechanical ones, yeah. it might not fit. But if you want to email me or send me a message on Facebook or social media, mm -hmm. I can measure the gap to your wheelchair measurements oh. and then you'll know. Perfect. Mm. There we go. So hopefully that answers your question for yep. you there, Joe. Um, and all these messages do text in if you've got any questions mm -hmm. for Joe. This is the first time that that, that storage for crafts have ever have, have ever been on Jewelry Makers. So um, we're gonna get ready to bring the graphics live mm -hmm. now. Um, a minute clock. This is quite limited. I'm hearing. How many do we have? 
10. 10, okay. 10 available opportunities. Now, they, there's also a choice of colour, I believe. There is. So this is the vanilla. Yeah, very nice. The two colours we have complement traditional and contemporary decor in the home okay and you can mix and match i do in my craft room yeah so we've got the vanilla and then the oak is oh lovely. this color if you can oh well, there's mine that's my <laughs> night's haze at very home very nice the oak. so this is yours that's setup. mine yeah look how organized it is that's why i took a picture because i had it tidy so that's for <laughs> prosperity i can tidy my my desk when i need to oh and that's in like a recess it is yeah yeah. Ah, so again, when you fold that all down, it literally looks like a wardrobe. It just looks like a wardrobe, yeah. And I think most, you know, many of us will say, oh, I've got a recess just like that. In our, exactly, in my house. yeah. And it just tucks away in there quite nicely. Usually behind the airing cupboard. Usually, yeah. <laughs> in a space we just usually dump stuff, isn't Don't it? exactly yeah. hide things away like your ironing board. Mm. Um, okay, so we have 10 available opportunities, jewelry makers. You can choose your colour. Um, we've got a message coming through from Caroline in the Channel Islands. Good morning, lovelies. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, lovely. Love the work storage unit. I understand you can't assemble in Jersey, but can you deliver to us? We can. If you drop me a message, we'll have to work out delivery. Right. Um, but we can, we do send them to Jersey. Oh, there you go. Yep. There you go. So that's fantastic, Caroline. Yeah. Because I know Caroline's a, um, you know, a, an amazing jewellery maker. Oh, fabulous. Another message from Lancashire. Hello to you. Hi, Joe. Is it easy to move when it's assembled, please? It is. It's all on wheels. So it, Well, it, it wasn't here this morning, was yeah. it, this? No, no, the wheeled in. And it is quite easy to move as long as it's not on really thick carpet. But okay. But not many crafters do have thick carpet no through experience and obviously once it's filled it is a little bit heavier so take that into account okay so it's yep. on wheels it's all on wheels oh, yeah. yeah yeah literally mm. shall i move it oh yeah it's really easy <laughs> to move yeah okay so there's only 10 available opportunities good luck everyone amazing it is a crafter's dream yes. and i love that you've come up with this idea mm. As if that was 19 years ago then. This is it, yeah. Just to keep me tidy. <laughs> <laughs> Has it worked? I would say yes. He might say no. Yes, look. <laughs> yeah, you see, I look took a how picture. Look organised That's that tidy. is. Yeah. Amazing. And, and, and like I said, it's not everywhere. Because I no. said before you arrived, Jo, I was saying, I've got jewellery maker stuff under my sofa now. Yeah. We, we put it everywhere where we, we craft, do. don't we? Oh, I know yeah. a space. That'll Tuck do. it yeah. under there. Exactly. Um, they are limited. So we've got five of each colour, is that right? That's right, yeah. But to be honest, like you said earlier on, I think they both match. Decors. They do, yes. And if any viewers have seen our stuff before and maybe have a smaller piece, yeah. the colours will match. So if you bought an oak piece 15 years ago, it'll be the same oak. If it's the oh, same okay. vanilla, it'll be the same. Okay, so that's fantastic. Mm. She would actually build. Um, okay, yeah. straight away we've got people showing interest in this. I think two of the units have already gone. Gosh. Um, I'm not surprised. Any questions that you have for Joe, do message into the studio. Um, anything re regarding your storage or craft. Now, mm -hmm. Gloucestershire and North Yorkshire taking the first two, one of each colour. Wow. Now, one of our competitors has the exact item on their website right now, I'm hearing. Uh-huh. Okay. Righto. And 3,311 pounds. Okay, I mean, that's an amazing price. It's, really? you know, it's an investment that is absolutely gonna pay you back a dividend, isn't it? It is, yeah. And when you think about what you spend on your jewelries, yes. making things and your gems alone. Yes. You need somewhere to keep it safe. You really do, because you know, we, you know, precious metal mm. is, is particularly now is very expensive. It is, yes, yeah. Gemstones, obviously, mm -hmm. um, and also I always think, you know, we've mentioned those, but you're, the pieces that you actually create. Well, this is it. They've got value as well. One hundred percent. Now, there's so many of you getting involved. We're at two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pounds, but you also, jewelry makers, have the option of your five-way split pay, you do. which is amazing, isn't it? So you can get hold of it. Oh gosh, look at the the call screens. There wow. are so many of you wanting this, and it is going to, I think, completely change a lot of our jewelry makers who work on mm. a daily basis change yeah. their lives in many ways. They might sound dramatic, but I do think it will. I think it will because you'll be comfortable. Yeah. The desk is at a nice comfortable height. You've yeah. got plenty of work area and everything is going to be to hand. Mm. So if you've only got that hour to craft, yeah. 
that's what you've got. Yeah, and you you're know. good to go. Straight you're good to away. go straight away. Just open it all up or yeah. just sit down if you leave it open. Yeah. Just, you know, pop the music on and oh, away you go. Oh, Joe, I'd love this. You know, like I said, I, I, I either make it on my dining room table or on the on the sofa. Yeah. Which on the sofa is always a bad decision. A, I drop loads of things. This is it, yeah. Um, but also it's bad for your back. It is. You're I not think. sitting right, are you? are not you? sitting no. right. Yep. Which, and I don't have the, the lovely lighting that's included. Should we open it yep. up again and Let's show it. everyone? Yep. Um, so look at this. So it's not heavy at all. I'm literally doing it with the index finger. Yep. How amazing. So there we go. Look at that. So just so cool. And the other thing, when we come and build it for you, just because I've got this desk on this side, it doesn't mean it's got to stay on this side. So depending on the layout of your room, maybe your window is over there and you want to have the desk there so you're looking out or right. you've got radiators. As long as you let us know before so you we can build swap it. it round. Yeah, it's just a case of putting the shelves in the right doors before we so put it together. So effectively you can customize it. You could, yeah. You could you're move customizing it. Yeah. it to your space. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. There we go. Yep. Yeah. That's one of our lovely customers. She sent me that last month. That's incredible. And All that's what out. In her living room, it looks like? Uh, spare room, I think. Spare room? Yeah. But look at all that organised space as it's well. It's all there and, yeah, she just goes, yeah. And there's somebody, what, opposite? Is that right? Is that like a double desk, it looks like? Yes, yeah, so you can't, this is a slightly different model um, where we had two longer desks, so it was two long desks in that one. Uh -huh. Whereas this is the L-shaped desk. Right, okay, amazing. Mm -hmm. And we do have additional units as well if you wanted we to add yeah. on to these. Now, mm -hmm. we're at £2,999, which is amazing, but it's actually not your price today. It isn't, no. This is special. Now, yeah. is this an introduction to Jewelry Maker deal? It is, yeah. So our launch shows it's a nice little gift and it's your 14th birthday. So oh, bless there you. you. Go. Now, next prize crash. Look again, these are all going to sell out today. I can say mm -hmm. that for certain. Um, £2,499. Plus, you've got your five way split pay as well. Mm -hmm. um, amazing, absolutely amazing. Sandria, Gloucestershire, Linda, Leslie, and Gail, you've got yours. Fabulous. Um, will you pro do you promise to send us a photograph mm. of your setup when it's all done? Yeah, I love seeing other people's units when they get them home because everybody uses it differently as well. Yeah. And it's so nice to see other people's creativity in a box. Yeah, it's great. fantastic. How long approximately between obviously today and their purchase yep. to the setup? It's at the moment, because we're swamped, it's about 12 weeks. Okay. Um, there's only two guys that go out and do it. Right. And we do cover the whole of, well, the, the area that you saw that we cover. Yeah. And everywhere from Devon is a long way. Yes. So it takes us a minute to get around. Okay. Um, but we'll arrange the date and time. Um, we do it in sort of postcode clusters, so we're not okay. crisscrossing the country. Yeah. And then, obviously, it's not set in stone, the right. date. It's because life happens. It does. Things can get messy. So just give us a ring with as much notice and we'll just move you to the next But the I, next I one. tell you what, that is not about, uh, you know, we've, got, we've just ordered a dining room table and it's mm. taken longer than that. So that's yeah. actually not bad at all. No, and, that is, and I've got to set it up myself. Yeah. So I don't have somebody coming up to do it for me as yeah. well. I mean, I think that service as well is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we, it, we offer it on our website and that's normally cost £350. Wow. So we're throwing that in as a little gift. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to pay the £350 to actually have it set up? No, no. So Incredible. All sorted. And the other thing is with this price, because we make it all to order, yeah. you might be going on holiday, you might be having the builders come in, you could order it today and we can hold it until you're ready for it. So if it's going to take longer than 12 weeks, say you're not going to need it till the kids go off to uni in September. Yeah. So that's a story I hear quite a lot. They're taking over I bet. a bedroom we can deliver it once they've left for uni. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, you just get the good price. And, and if it's anything like my house currently, I'd need to clear space for it. Exactly, so, yeah. you know, I might think, okay, that's where I want it to be, but I'm going to have to clear the space prior. Yeah. Um, so again, you can use that time to actually get it all ready you and prepared. Can, you can decorate and get ready, and then we'll come and put it together for you. Oh, how exciting. Mm. How exciting. So you've got your 5 percent interest split payments, uh, special jewellery maker price as well. Welcome to jewellery maker, by the way. <laughs> as you can see, it's incredibly popular. Yeah. Um, so again, any questions? Do text in. You've got the mm. light. You've got the powerpoints. Should we? Should we? Yep. Pop the light on. There we go. Look at that. Should we turn the lights out in the studio so you can see? Because you were saying about how isolated the actual. 
Oh gosh, there yes. Go. So it doesn't bleed into the room. So you're no. not going to disturb anyone else. And you know, if you're a little bit of a light sleeper and you have to get up, you can easily craft and not disturb oh, that's anyone. That's fantastic, isn't it? So yeah, yeah if you should, like, had it in your in your bedroom or whatever, the, and, yeah. and like you said, got up in the in the night to actually make a bit of jewellery. Oh, how amazing! Yeah. And certainly in winter months as well, mm. where it is naturally darker as well. This is it. So you can pop it on at any time of day, and it is just going to illuminate where you're working. Yeah, you're not going to get hot, and it's no. a white light, so it's not going to distort any colours either amazing loving that mm -hmm. again do text in if you've got any questions i can yep. see lots of you with it still in your basket i only have we only have 10 units in total mm -hmm. currently a uh, bit of a stock update there's two left of the vanilla gosh that's a popular yep. choice it is yeah it's beautiful so it's kind of like a like a well both of them actually are quite cottage and like mm. you said they do de they they complement all interiors they do yes um, Deborah in Merseyside is saying, my son used mine to study for his degree. Oh, fabulous, yeah. See, they're not just craft orientated. No. If you've got a small bedroom, it'd be perfect for that yeah, as well. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, studies or if, you've, if you don't have, don't have children doing A-levels or mm. degrees, as you just said there. This is it, yeah. Working from home is still a thing for a lot Absolutely. of people. That's what Adam, Director Adams just said. Yeah, so you could have a printer in here. Yeah, alongside all your jewelry stuff, and then it's all in one area. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, Adam's uh, Adam's girlfriend actually works from home, yeah. and he was saying, you know, it'd be ideal for her. This does, is it. Does she yep. have a lot of stuff, Adam? Yeah. Oh, I yes. take that as a yes. Yeah, <laughs> I take that as a yes. And it's, it can all be nice and tidy and sort yeah. of popped away. Um, okay, Sandria Gloucestershire, Linda, Leslie, and Gail. Any questions that you have? There are twenty-eight of you with this <laughs> in your basket. We are at your special jewellery maker price. Plus remember, you haven't got to pay the additional £350 for setup, which is no. absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Very generous of you, Joe. Um, a question from Collector in Angus. Great unit. Mm -hmm. Does it come with the boxes on the shelves, please? It does. All the boxes and the trays you see in the unit are included. Are all good and ready to all go? All good and ready to go. All you've got to do is fill them and label them. And label them. To, Amazing. Yeah. Another question for you from Marishka in Surrey. Yeah. Hello, Marishka Darling saying, Hi, Al, please ask the lady if we buy the storage, how long they can hold it for me so I can get my space ready? Well, we make it to order. So, well, as long as it as takes long as you. It, yeah, as long as it takes you. There so, you go. Once, the de once you let us know when you want it, we'll start building it probably two, three weeks beforehand. Oh, okay, so you can so. pretty much set the date then, Mariska. Yep. Um, so there we go. Um, good questions. All of these are amazing questions. They are. So I've got Joanne there, Cambridgeshire, Beverly there, Kent there, Cheryl there, Tina there, Sonika there, Kate, Melanie, Gillian, Maker, Su Susan, Ellen and Romney. Amazing. Now, we're going to mm. leave this one here right now. We'll come back to it because there are so many of you thinking about it there's 31 of you with it in your basket right now wow. so there's a lot of interest and remember we only mm. actually had 10 what we're going to do now is move on to um some storage towers yes so again these should we make our way over yep. to that way mm -hmm. um so again joe these are i mean that's fantastic you could literally just have this even without the desk couldn't you you could yeah in fact this one that i'm standing next to is the one that kevin made me first this right. is the very first tower he ever made me. Okay. So it is great. And it is such a small space it takes up too. So imagine just over a, a, a four size piece of paper, mm. pop that on the floor. That's where it's going to go. Okay. So it'll fit behind the door next to your chair in the lounge. Oh, yes, that's a good point. Um, so you could have all your projects on the go in here. That yeah. would fit perfectly. You could get a bead mat in the bottom, which is what I tend to do with one of these. And my project on the go yeah. tends to sit in here. And then that's what I take around with me. That's fantastic because you do, um, I've heard, just heard Liam. Hi, Liam. Um, <laughs> he, he joined me on air the other day and I brought some storage trolleys for Willow, which she does a lot. My, my daughter, seven-year-old daughter, she Perfect. loves craft, yep. paper craft in particular. Mm -hmm. And it's full already. This would yep. be fantastic. And it's not an eyesore either if I had it no, in her bedroom. It's not, no. And you have got in this one a couple of trays as well oh, in the so box. Oh, further trays inside. Yep. So these are little compartment drawers, trays. Yeah. So you've got 15 in each. So you've got 30 compartments. Mm -hmm. Perfect for your gems or findings. They would fit yeah. in there quite nicely. Yeah, so they're not massive. They're not all big, nope. big boxes. No, this is it. And then in the top one, we have got a thread rack as well. 
So oh, you can yeah, put fantastic. more stools in there. And what my daughter does is decorate hers over time. Yeah. So you can, she's um, drawn all over it in bits and pieces. Yeah. And because of the material we make it from, yeah. um, which is the same as your bathrooms and kitchens, you can use that material, whatever you use in those rooms to clean, you can use on these. Oh, so, so Abrasive white cleaners clean. and everything, yeah. This is a little bit thicker. This is 18 mil thick, whereas kitchens and bathrooms tend to be 15 mil thick. Right, okay. So. And now you just demonstrated very nicely there yep. that it's actually on wheels. It is on wheels and it spins and moves really easily. On all of the smaller units, two of the wheels are always lockable as well. Okay. So you can lock it in place. Yeah. But this one is also great. So it can be against the wall normally, but when you're crafting, you can just wheel it up to where you are and potentially you've got everything you need to hand in here. I'm noticing as well, Joe, because, you know, with, with, a, with a unit of that height, it's lovely mm. and sturdy. It's not... It is. It's not rocking, anything like that. No, it's a really nice, solid piece of kit, this yeah. one. It's not going to go anywhere, especially once you've filled it with all your crafty bits yes. as well. Um, and you have got the outside you can use. You know, yeah. My mum has put a couple of hooks on the outside of hers to hang her rulers. You ah. could put blackboard paint on it so that you know what birthdays you've got coming up. You know, you could put cork boards on it for inspirations and tack things to oh, it quite easily. Oh, it's a great easily. idea. Yeah. And obviously, I think in your, was it in your photograph or your customer's photograph, where you actually saw them alongside the bigger units yep, as well? Yeah, this is it, yeah. So if you're thinking, okay, yeah, that's fantastic, I could fill more, mm -hmm. then these are, a, a, you could add them on if you wanted to as well. You could very easily. In fact, one, my unit that I have filled with paper craft bits, I have a smaller unit that I have my sort of different, month um bits and pieces in it yeah. so i've got my valentine stuff in there my christmas stuff and then oh, depending on the okay. season i'm making i'll just swap boxes in and out oh, that's a great so idea. everything is to hand yeah great idea mm. um again you do have the choice of your colors as well jewelry makers so whether you want to go with the vanilla or the classic oak we do have more of the tower um yes. more of the tower again mm. how many how many boxes are in there in total in this one you've got 10 right so you've got seven of the shallower a4 yeah. and three of the deeper ones right and again you can take the shelves out and move them about or take them out completely mm -hmm. and put books and magazine files in there it's entirely up to you wow amazing i mean when our, our um customers get with their designers uh, projects effectively mm -hmm. um they get a printout now yeah. of instructions that you could easily file into there you could, even put yeah. one per medium i suppose quite so easily one for yeah. your knotting one for your your wire work one for your mm -hmm. um beading whichever it might be 339 pounds again you've got the choice of colors on this as well um not your price says liam <laughs> it's a special jewelry maker price now this on our sister channel, Liam is saying, always mm -hmm. sells out. I'm it not does. surprised. Yeah, always. You can't keep up with the stock demand. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, 269, and it's on split, uh, split pay as well. Yep. So is there a waiting time for this? So these ones you'll put together yourself, you're looking about six weeks for delivery okay, on these. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah. Um, but quite easy to put together? They are really easy to put together. I did film myself building this over the weekend, so once I've tweaked it a little bit I will put it on our social media and YouTube so you can see oh, how fantastic. easy they are to build but if you can do um, other flat pack furniture mm. you can just you can do these because all you need is a crosshead screwdriver you yeah. don't need any allen keys or anything like that okay everything is pre-drilled so it's you're good to go these as well because my husband works from home um, and like Adam has just said they do <laughs> It does spread, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. These would be great surrounding a usual desk, wouldn't it? A work desk. They would. You could almost have like important paperwork in here. Yeah. You know, deadline bits and pieces. Yeah. You could have your home paperwork in here yeah. as well. Keep your passports. You know where everything is. Oh yeah, that's an amazing yeah. idea. Utility room with like a work, filing yeah. cabinet. Yeah. Yeah, That's if you've got pets, idea. you can fill it with all your pet bits and pieces. Mm. The kids have had them over time in their bedrooms as they've been growing up. Yeah. Because with the lids and the clasps, they're really easy. You haven't got any tight no. um, threads to undo or anything like that. So also if your ambidex you know, dexterity is a bit difficult. Yeah, they literally come out uh, yeah. nice and smooth. Um, we're at £269. Again, we've got Lancashire, Tracy, Warwickshire, Jay Marie, Beverly and Ellen and Jacqueline. Lots of you with it in your basket. So um, Insto 130, is that 130 litre? No, high. 
High. Yeah. High. Okay, that's the height. Mm -hmm. um, but again, masses of storage as well. Yes. And you lots. can almost slot these in around your big unit if you wanted to as well. Yeah. Um, choice of the two colours, so you can get it in the vanilla and also you can get it in the classic oak. Um, so many of you are joining us on this opportunity. I'm not yeah. surprised at all. Do you know, I, I've, I've said it many a times on our, on our channel before. I think organisation is so important, isn't it? It is, to craft. yeah very much so because you always need that particular thing and if you haven't got it where you left left it yeah it sends me into a tailspin because yeah, then same. i spend so long looking for it yeah it's like i really haven't got time and to do it and it's often not just us in the house either is it so no. uh, you know i know that if i start jewelry making i've got two little girls that definitely are interested this is um, it yep we've got a question for you from did you say heather how deep the unit is so um okay we can tell you that so it's 130 high, high yes and then if you look at this photograph you can see it's 42 centimeters deep by 30 wide yes yeah yeah so it literally will slot like you said behind doors it will next to the chair in the lounge so you can have yeah. projects that, so you can sit and be social with the family and craft at the same time yeah amazing now we do have a slightly bigger stock of this one vanilla is the most popular so far um but classic oak not that far behind actually and again look at the split pay 67 pounds and 25 pence only on your naught percent interest you're not paying interest on these either no, nothing no. which if you were going to buy from a furniture company that elsewhere then i'm sure you would pay interest Definitely, um yeah. hello to karen in whitchurch saying please could you swivel the tower unit yep um so we can uh spin it to hide the boxes can we do that you can do that and Unlike some manufacturers, we use the same material oh, on the back. So you haven't got to tack that horrible bit of ply board ugly in. Ply board, yeah. No. And it's nice and solid then as well. So you're not gonna pop the back off, it's not gonna fall off, it's not gonna twist like some wardrobes do, they yeah. suddenly start leaning, don't they? Yes. They're not built doesn't to happen be moved, with this. Are they no. at all? No. Um, well yeah, that's almost designed to actually move. So what a great yeah. point there mm. that you've just made. Yeah, the fact that even the reverse it's not got the the ply board no, visible. No, this is it. And I do know a lot of customers do spin it round, especially yeah. if it's in a spare room. They don't want people to have access to what's inside yeah. it. Equally, some of the bigger pieces that we've got that we'll bring over time, people have used as room dividers. That's a good idea. Um, some of, we've got some sort of triple units about this height. Yeah. Then it's you know split it up between you and your partner, or you've got an office side and a crafting side. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, amazing. Again, loads of you there. Keep on dialing through. There's. 30 of you with this in your baskets as well. So lots of you checked out too. Fine. Amazing, amazing. Vanilla is still the most popular, but classic oak is also very popular. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we need to recap the big, okay, yeah. the big storage unit. So if we make our way back over um, to this. So again, there's a lot of interest in this. Um, an investment that I think will pay you back massively. It will because you're not going to be double buying. Yeah. You're not going to have damaged pieces. Yeah. So what you've got, you can use instantly. Yeah. And it'll keep all the dust, I assume, and things like that. When it's yep. folded all away, it's going to keep all the dust uh, d dust, uh, dust away. Yep. Um, again, currently, vanilla is the most popular of these. Assembly is included, which is £350 normally. So if you add that to your normal uh, normal deal, it would be what three and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. 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 So today two thousand four hundred and ninety nine, and that mm. covers everything with your zero percent interest split payment too. Um, amazing. Yeah. Perhaps for those people that have just tuned in, can you mm. show us how it works? Yeah. Sure. So shall we? Let's talk around it first, then I'll yeah. close it up. Sure. Okay. So in the door sections, you've got loads of storage. So in this side, it's predominantly A4 size boxes. You've got four of the shallower ones at the top mm -hmm. and six at the bottom. But you have got a little nook in the middle that you can put bits and pieces in if you wanted to. Yeah. And then on, you've got an extra little bit that would fit in front. So you've got space for reels. You could put See, that's chains amazing, on there and bits here, and pieces. Yeah. yeah. You've got a couple of shelves on there as well and some hooks. And they just lift up? They just lift up, yeah. Wow. So you can put ribbons on there if you want to, your chains, yeah. threads, that kind of thing. 
Yeah. And then you've got um, half a dozen hooks on there, so you could put your finished necklaces on there if you wanted to. Yeah. You could put a bit of ribbon onto your tool so that they're hanging on there nicely. Yeah. You've got space for smaller bead mats on there too. Yeah. I mean, when mine's open, I tend to bring that whole door closer so yeah. that when I'm sat, I'm not reaching across. Yeah. So then we move into the middle section. Again, in the top bit, you've got A4 either side. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle, a selection of different size boxes because different sizes are always good. You never know what size box you're going to need. Yeah. So these are brilliant. I actually keep heat tools in one of those. Yeah, this is the thing, you know, lots of them do hot fix, do. This we is have, it, like, yeah. We had the X tool the other day here at Jewelry Maker. We do, um, you might have yeah. blow torches and things like that. This is it. And then you've got your glass rods. They would fit in these quite nicely. Yeah. And you've got one of the shallower ones and you've got five of the deeper ones. Okay. So and obviously all of these you could label so you know where everything is. You could label them all if you wanted to. And then in underneath you've got a selection of trays. Yeah. So I tend to put the things I use the most in these so my tools tend to yeah. go in here. Easy reach. And my favourite findings, that kind of thing. The ones I use all the time, my jump rings, that stuff that goes there. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your actual work area. Which is a large desk. It is a large desk. I mean you have got space to attach a mat to that if you wanted to. Yeah. You could glue it to there quite easily and it's not going to interfere with opening and closing. Yeah. You have got a hole at the back so you could poke an extension lead through there and attach it to it. Mm -hmm. So anything you need can already be plugged in and you're ready to go. Yeah. And then in underneath we've got more storage. Just lifts away. Just lift that one up. Is that particularly heavy? It's not. Do you want to have a lift? Oh gosh, not at all. It's not heavy at yeah, all, no. no. not at all. So you can pop that away. And then underneath you've got space for mats. Down the side there, small boxes, another little cubby hole and two rather large big boxes. And they are all included. They all the all boxes included. are actually yep. included in this as well. Yep. 59 boxes in total. Little things like this, attention to detail. Can you see that little sort of uh, cubby hole there that you could put your beading yep. mats, your macrame boards? Yep, this is it. Yeah, Kevin hates it. If I start something new, I'm like, well, that doesn't quite fit. So he has to tweak the layout a little bit, <laughs> which is why he now sends me to shows on my own so I can't go shopping and buy more things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally there slots down there. Yep. And then you've got a further desk to this side. You have, so you've got then an L-shaped work area when both desks are down. Mm -hmm. And then you've got more A4 boxes at the top. Mm -hmm. You've got four of these, which if you're trying to gauge the size of them, they're sort of CD size. Okay. So they would fit in there. Equally, you can move them about if you wanted to. You have, just because I've set them out like this doesn't mean you've got to keep them in this layout. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pop this desk away. It just presses that's all yeah you've just got a couple of little buttons right on the end of the hinge yeah and then underneath you've got a couple well you've got four 12 by 12 boxes and two sort of shoebox size perfect so there wow. is something for everything there really is and then to fold it all away mm -hmm. so you've done your crafting yep You've got visitors coming, say, and you want your house to look all nice and tidy. Yeah, so you just pop your desks up and then just close the doors round. Oh. Turn that one off. Turn the light off. And then just pull the doors round. Look at how simple. But the whole unit effectively is on wheels, isn't it? It is all on wheels, yeah. So you can move it. Obviously, once it's filled with all your crafty goodies, it That'd does get heavier. heavier. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, you can move it quite easily. Yeah. Wow. Abs it's absolutely beautiful and you can mm. really feel the quality of this as well yeah it's a nice solid piece of kit this yeah one. and i guess if you are obviously it's built to be moved mm -hmm. it's built um to obviously hold things that are quite heavy so it, it needs is, yep. to be robust it is and they do last i mean my mum bless her when we first started she would have prototypes yeah um and she had a birthday a couple of years ago and i redid her craft room so everything matched she didn't have mismatch and all that furniture then went to my nephews so right. it's now being Recycled. Put through its That's uses amazing. once more because obviously kids and like to yeah. jump off bits and pieces. They do, they? yeah. They're not quite so mindful, are they're they? They're not, no. So that it will last and you will find as your crafting changes and you mm. outgrow bits, you can pass them on and add to it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Mm. And, I, and, you know, if we're into crafting, I don't know, at a very young age, chances are we're going to take that passion through to adulthood as well, aren't we? We are, yeah. Crafting is not a five-minute no. hobby. Once you start, you're, you're in it. You're yeah. in it, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Um, again, 
we do have a very limited quantity perhaps we could just explain perhaps we could explain again um what into after your purchase you yep. said very generously the assembly is included it is yeah um so it's about a 12 week lead time did you say there is at the moment yeah because okay. we've just been inundated for that that's fantastic moment, isn't it which is great yes that's fantastic yep. so again in terms of locations mm -hmm. so if you draw a line between edinburgh and glasgow yeah that's as far north as we can go in the van yeah um, and then we d can't take it across water. No. I mean, if you do live in those areas, we can talk about getting it to you. Okay. But you will have to build it yourself. Right. Um, but since the pandemic, there are loads of people online who can assemble flat pack furniture if you don't feel you can do it yourself. Yeah, that's true. Actually, mm. you can generally get people in, can't you? You can now, that? yeah. And I guess there's sort of uh, um, help on websites and things yep, like that. Yeah, the um, instructions leaflet for this is really nicely done mm -hmm. um, and equally we're at the end of the keyboard if you need us. There you go. So yeah, it does sound like you've, you've got fantastic communication. So yep. if you are north of that location, speak to Joe. Um, might be able to get it to you because I do yep. know some of our customers do live in the far north. Yeah. So it might be able to get it to you, but you will need to arrange the assembly. Yeah. Um, that's a really good point. There are often like handymen that will do it. This is it. So equally, if you don't want to wait the twelve weeks, yeah, and you want it a little bit quicker, our usual lead time. Yeah. Um, then you can just arrange someone else to come and put it together for you. Wow, there we go. Oh, so the 12 week is for the actual assembly? Yep. So you can actually get it delivered. So it would have the normal lead time as the rest of our stuff. Right, okay, yep. that's fantastic. Um, any questions that you have, message in. Yep. Because we are literally live here in the studio. So um, any questions? Now we're gonna make our way over to another. Okay tower mm -hmm. which is like a double double sided like a double one it is yeah this is what we call our marwood uh, everything is named after places around us in devon ah, very beaches nice. and villages and bits and pieces so this is a hundred centimeters high so it's a nice work height as well if you yeah. wanted it to be and you've got 14 boxes in this one okay so you've got six of the deeper ones and eight of the shallower a4 boxes okay and again you can move them about if you want to and customize it you can put hooks on the side and it's still got that board. solid back on the still on the got reverse. your solid back on the reverse it's still all on wheels so you can move it around your room yeah lockable wheels if you want it to move, to stay in one place and it's a great add-on piece of furniture yeah now um, the measurements of this because obviously i assume this is something this is that people are going to be um requesting so 100 centimeters as joe just said high by 42 so that's the same as the tower wasn't it, it earlier is, yeah. on and 58 centimeters wide yeah. um so i mean that on its own as a standalone storage unit is absolutely fantastic isn't it it is so it will fit in the corner it yeah. will sit next to your desk you could pull it up to your desk and use it and then push it back if you wanted to yeah and as you said it's the same depth as the rest of our furniture because sometimes you've got an alcove to fit or yeah. under the stairs mm. so you've got gradation because we've got lots of different heights of things mm. um but this is i love this this one, this is one of my favourites. One of your favourite yeah. ones. And again, fantastic for an office room mm. as well. Um, again, all on wheels, so again, moves nicely. Oh, yep. yeah. And no ugly plywood on the reverse no, of that. Nothing. No. So if you just spin it, look how simple that is. Yeah, it's a nice unit to move about. And even the when same it's full. with the oak, by the way. You can mm. see how beautiful. I know this is a different one, but you can see how beautiful it is on the reverse there. Yeah, this is really nice, warm oak as well yeah not too yellowy no very nice mm. um again any questions that you have for joe do message us we are live here in the studio um fantastic i mean it could be just just super cleansing to organize all your amazing jewelry maker this is it good you'll find all sorts of things you forgot yeah. about <laughs> you do don't you i mean on the rare yeah. rare occasions that mm -hmm. i have a little sort out you're like oh yeah, yeah I, forgot I, forgot, that. I, I forgot i bought that yeah um okay how many do we have of these available 20 of this one available and you're one of your favorites it is yes one of my favorites this yeah one. i can see why mm. now we'll show you this should be price and then we're going to show you the jewelry maker 14th birthday price it is solid furniture and it i is. think that's really important to mention joe you know we c i could go to a certain I'm not talking about sort of necessarily your craft furniture, mm. but just bedroom furniture. I could go to an establishment and buy yep. a flat pack mm -hmm. 
and it will last maybe uh, a few years. This is it. Or yeah. I can go to another one mm -hmm. and I can buy something made out of better materials, much better quality, and it'll yep. last me a lifetime. This is it. And I think because our furniture is designed for crafters, because yeah. I craft, yeah. I know what's got to go in it. I know the size of compartments, roughly, for machines. Mm. Whereas you could go into these other stores and buy fabulous storage furniture. Yeah. But then you can't find the boxes to fit. That's true. It's not quite the right width for your machines, that so kind of thought, thing. You've always done the troubleshooting, effectively, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. That's why I, I buy things. That's why yeah. I sell it to Kevin, anyway. I yeah. need to have this because, you know, other people have got it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And, and, and it does have weight as well, mm. lots of our paraphernalia if you like it so does yeah it needs to be a robust unit otherwise yep. it gets too heavy and i assume damage whereas these mm. are built specifically for your crafting needs yep. um, again we've got collectors getting involved on this a special jewelry maker deal for you 459 pounds plus you've got your 0 percent interest split payment as well um, you can add them on obviously you can yes Add them on if you wanted. Oh, that's not your price. Mm. Oh, okay. There's an interest in this one. Special 14th birthday jewellery maker deal. £367. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Again, I can't... I, 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 I literally bought a dining room table the other day. Mm -hmm. And it's costing me an absolute fortune to get delivered just yeah. to get delivered and i've still got to build it and everything myself as well just for the delivery mm. that's absolutely amazing yeah so. and this is something that is going to last and like you said you can pass it on if you like you can pass it on and once you've finished oh, as crafters we tend to outgrow storage you can use it in another part of the house yeah. it could go in the utility room it could go in the porch you could yeah. put your umbrellas and bits and pieces in there that's, i was thinking that um, if you've got a um like a a porch way between the front door and everything and this you, is it yeah all those kind of things so you can have your gloves in here you can have your sun creams that kind of thing all fits Great in here quite idea. nicely I and mean, i did have a couple of damaged boxes last year and i actually got kevin to drill some holes in it and put my seedlings in them oh for gardening and for gardening like yeah so then this went in the shed yeah and then yeah what a nice idea mm. DIY as well, you could use it that in that Perfect. way. Perfect, yeah, it's great for tools. Kevin does use it, obviously, at home for all of his. You've got the bigger tools for your um, drills and yeah. bits and chains, um, jigsaws, they would fit in there nicely. Then you've got a place for all your screws and nuts and bolts. Perfect. Instruction manuals fit in there quite nicely. Amazing, mm. loving that. So it is literally pretty much any kind of hobby, I suppose. Anything, yeah. I mean, we did sell one of the big units for a fly fisherman. Yeah, not that long ago because of all the little bits that go in there yeah. model makers they're perfect for because you've yeah. also got space to display things in there as well yeah so you're only limited by imagination what you can use a box for absolutely we quite often actually mention fly fishing mm. here at joy maker because again it's quite intricate work it's it a is. craft isn't it, it i is, remember my certainly. brother always used mm. to make his own flies for fishing yeah um and and last thing you want to do is have those kind of sharp hooks knocking around exactly yeah so yeah i mean um what about sort of the beauty industry i mean if you're thinking mm -hmm. of you're a nail technician for example perfect yeah I mean, my daughter has one filled with all of her bits and pieces. Yeah. You know, all her makeups, hair bits fit in the deeper boxes, straighteners, that kind of thing. Yeah. You've got, you can lay your sprays down in here. That's yeah. the right height for nail varnishes. Yeah. You know, you could have your UV light on the top. Perfect. Away you go. Yeah. Um, Deborah Merseyside. Hello to you, Deborah. Said I'm yeah. contemplating the tower. Um, I've got the natural oak. Is that yeah. natural oak? Yeah. Um, is this the same shade as the classic oak please it isn't no it's a slightly different shade okay um the vanilla works really well with the natural oak i do have those two together okay um if you look on i think it's on the instagram page you'll see one of my units that has got natural oak and um, yeah I can imagine vanilla they, would on there. Go nicely they together. do go really nicely together yeah, yeah. so it's like a, yeah the cream will complement mm, it yeah it will see yeah. that um thank you for your question though deborah um, we've got another message coming through as well. Um, this is for our lovely oh. Mark. This is guest designer Mark. I am so excited, <laughs> he says. I have my vanilla Wexford. I think system. that's Exford. Oh, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Exford. Uh, system being delivered this week. Incredible products. Oh, fabulous. Thank you, Mark. There you go. And Send Mark, me a picture when it's filled. And Mark, by the way, is the most organised person I know. Oh, really? Yes. Like, he Excellent. has an enviably organised okay. studio. 
need to see some pictures when it's up. Yeah, there. Mark, you need yeah. to send them in to Joe. Um, yeah. And I do think, I, th I find it quite therapeutic actually being organised. Yeah, I spend a lot of time organising things, especially yeah. if I've bought more bits and pieces or mm. seasons change, so you need different yeah. things in the new units. You can lose couple of hours sorting things out it's quite easily it's cleansing and mm. i do think again we need to it needs to be almost like a semi-annual thing when you're sort of uh, definitely um, when you're crafting because mm. otherwise like you said things get lost they get so in in haste the busyness of life i suppose this but this is, is going to enable you help you to stay organized each and every single one of these units and i do appreciate as well if you haven't got the big space for the bit for the large unit mm. these will absolutely hold masses won't they they will hold enormous amount of things you'll be surprised how much stuff you can get in one of these units yeah. because you've got the boxes you can separate down yeah you know you could compartmentalize these if you wanted That's to true. i mean a lot of beads and gems come in little sort of tubes and bits and pieces so you can lay those out in there quite mm -hmm. nicely we have trays and bits on the website which will allow you to compartmentalize them oh, further okay. so you've got inserts in. so you could get inserts for them too yeah okay um we've got a message from sue hello to you sue morning uh, Sue so was saying, does the price include construction costs? These you no. said you have to build yourself. These you have to build yourself. We do have white glove that you could purchase from us afterwards. Just drop me a message. Mm -hmm. um, but they are made really simply to construct. Okay, so these, yeah, I mean, mm. you can kind of see that really, can't you? Yeah. Or alternatively, like I so said, you've got white glove service that you we can have, contact yeah. Joe with. Um, this one does include the uh, mm -hmm. construction. It does, However, yeah. these, no. Um, but again, you know, I'm fairly sure look, most of us, you saying this, because my husband is, I have to nag him to build things, but if you're saying there's clear instructions, there is, that's yeah. half the battle, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I build one of these, I tend to put the backs on the floor first, yeah. attach the sides and any centre divides, yeah. then I put the top and bottom on, okay. then the wheels go on. Then you might need someone to help you stand it up okay. just because of the wheels. Mm -hmm. and then once it's standing, you've just got to put the shelf pegs in. And nine times out of ten, it takes me longer to put the shelf pegs in than it did to build the carcass. Okay, so you have literally built these yourself. I have built many of these over time, yes. Um, hello, Patsy. Yeah. It's great to have a sort, organise and label my yeah. stash. Um, it prevents dual purchases. That's very mm -hmm. true. Um, and you find things that you've forgotten you had. Absolutely. You yeah, so it's like going shopping all over again. Yeah. Yep. It, that is, dual purchases is something I'm definitely guilty of as mm. well. And, and I think, Patsy, you know, we all need to be mindful of these are rare, beautiful gemstones that jewelry makers work with and rare precious metals as well that have their own value straight away mm -hmm. um okay next up this is a brand new art and it's lovely this yes this is i'm very tempted by this yeah this is something we haven't had on our website for a long time mm. that i i found one in the warehouse actually over the weekend just before the weekend um and i thought no i can use this so i took it home and built it and it's a little storage system that has got some inserts in it as well. So you've oh, got yes. space for your beads and bits and pieces. So can Definitely. I just put, do they come out fully? They will come out, so you need, to, they've got little locking bits on the sides to uh -huh. stop them. You, if you give them a little twist and a tug, just they so will I can come out. Just sort of tilt them, they're all different, these inserts. Yeah. So can you see, this one's obviously almost elongated, where these are uh, sort of shorter. Yep. Um, but all those inserts included. Gosh, that's amazing, Joe. Yeah, so there's all sorts of little combinations of inserts in here. And they've got almost a stopper so they won't all come flying out. That's it, yep. So they're yep. in there. And then let's close those up. Then you've got a different insert in that one. So that's just lots of little um, compartments. I wonder if we tilt. Oh, you've got the overhead. Here we go. You are oh, literally we go. right above us so we can show each of those inserts. So you've got that one there. I think that one's got about um, 30 compartments in that one. Mm -hmm. And then in this one, you've got two trays. So for your slightly bigger beads These or are your tubes. Yeah. Yeah. I'd almost forgotten about this until I saw it. And then you've got these little trays, which have got lids on. So if you wanted to take ah. these off to um, a lesson, a craft um, getaway, you can just fill that with your findings and beads for a project. Take that and off you go. And away you go. Yeah. So all these drawers. How yep. amazing! And it's 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 a beautiful piece of furniture. This it too. is. It's a nice little desk tidy almost. So yeah, it would fit on most desks or on top of another unit. Would it fit in this unit? It would fit in there as well. Yeah. Two. Mhm. Mm 
How yes. amazing are these? Look at all that storage space. Oh. How fantastic. Yeah, again, you could literally put it on the, sh on the you desk inside. You could put it inside. in there. You might need to move some of the, intern the shelves around at the back, uh -huh. but it would fit in there, yeah. So in terms of its, um, oh, so I'm just looking at photographs Oh, yeah, this though. is me. I was um, trying to do it and the cat decided he wanted more. Um, so again, you spoke about time. the mixed colours. You mm -hmm. can see there, can't you, the vanilla with the oak? You can, yeah, and they work really nicely together. And this was Eric helping. That's Eric. Mm -hmm. They always like to get involved, don't they? They do, cats? yeah. I mean, to be fair, he normally does sit on that side of the table, but he's got a tray with a blanket in it that he sits in. Ah. So mm -hmm. he, he is in his spot. Just he likes the his lighting, blanket. clearly. <laughs> he does. Um, hello, Pauline in Manchester saying, my 60-year-old grandson built mine without having any previous experience. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, yeah. thank you for that, thank Pauline. You. Yeah. Um, thank you. I mean, have we got the measurement? Oh, one more message and then we got, we'll give you the measurements. Um, mm -hmm. Hello to you, uh, Manchester saying, oh, that's perfect for gems of distinction strands mm -hmm. and loose gemstones. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so everything could have a home then. Yeah, because the last thing you want is to lose each of these gems. Yeah, you've spent you know? a lot of money on them. Yeah. And the last thing you want them to do is get damaged. Get lost, yeah. yeah. Um, amazing. Again, mm. any questions? So, so the height, 29.5. The width, 36. Oh, sorry, width. 36 centimetres yeah. and then the depth 36 as well mm. so yeah. you'll get a lot in there you will get a lot in there and then you, they, they would stack as well if you go for more yeah than, if you want to add to it later but again it's so beautiful I know we mm. showed this earlier on you've yep. got the actual the same um, oak on the reverse too if you wanted to turn it round yeah now we've got a bigger quantity of these we have I yes. think these are going to be incredibly popular I think so too yeah um, it is brand new. It's, do you say it's relatively new to your website as well? It is. It's not on our website at the moment, so you can only get it here. Wow! Yeah. So currently it's exclusive. Mm. Um, amazing. Okay, 60 second clock, and that's to count down the graphics. I have 50. Now we all know, especially during the birthday celebrations, we will have more than 50 people watching right now. 100%. Mm -hmm. So again, let's show you those drawers. So you've got the deep drawer at the bottom. Yep. And there's like a stopper. Mm hmm amazing and then look at those yep so you've got 15 compartments in that drawer it's fantastic there's quite a lot of space there yes. and they're not going to tilt forward either because nope. this is quite a, is a solid it's piece solid of yeah it's not going to um, go anywhere again there you go you can put all your strands in there your threads your mm -hmm. wires whichever it might be your spools further beads yeah, and you, if you wanted to, you could put um, a bit of felt on there if you felt they might yeah. jump about a bit. Yeah, you could do that. And then, gosh, I like the fact they're all different shapes as well. Yeah, because beads aren't uniformed. So are these your so beads? These I'm are curious. all mine, yeah. You're a fan of Preciosa? I am, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, amazing, absolutely amazing. The graphics are live. I think this is going to be, it's going to fly. Mm. Um, and I love the fact that it is as new as it is. It looks so smart. It's a nice little piece, this. It will fit anywhere. Yeah. And you, there's so much storage that you can have projects on the go in here. Mm. Overflow storage as well. Yeah. It's that, perfect. That's a good idea, hasn't it? Mm. Have your ongoing projects or something like that. Yeah. Um, straight away, there's people on the phone lines for this one. We've got fi uh, 25 of each colour. So you've got the vanilla and you've got the classic oak. I'm really loving the classic oak. It's a nice warm colour, isn't yeah, it? Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so we are super busy. We're going to do this in one price crash, jewelry makers. Um, again, delivery lead time. It's we say six weeks, but on something like this, it could be a lot quicker. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Um, okay, we'll do one price crash on this one. Um, already collectors getting involved, so well done everyone. It is cleansing. It's very enjoyable, mm. I think, to have a nice organised. Well, it's that it's, feng shui, isn't it? Really, it is. Yeah, and tidy area means you tidy mind. Yes, that's yeah. very true. I get quite stressed if my my house in general is oh, a bit I do. messy. Yeah, 
I get quite stressy. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. of course, you, I start snapping at people. And, you know, it's... Yeah, the kids hide if I start going, yeah. pick your stuff up. Oh, yeah. like, oh, it's, it's, it's the weekend, mum's having, having a mad one, mad cleaning. Yeah. But it does, it, I agree, actually, having everything tidy and organised and where it should be is really uh, uh, satisfying for you yeah. as well. So the graphics are live, jewellery makers, already. London, Lorraine, Karen. I've got another Lorraine, Fiona, London, Susan, Alison, Oxfordshire. And I can't see every single name here in the studio as of yet. We'll do it in one price crash. Again, it's solid, so the same beautiful oak on the reverse. This has never been seen before, and this is Joe's first time here at Jewelry Maker as well. So, a very warm welcome from all of us. Are you ready? Wow. There you go. Happy birthday. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you, 99, 99, and mm. still got the four-way split pay too. Yeah. And I, do you know, it's one of the things that I found so endearing, Joe, is the fact that, you know, you are a crafter, so you know mm. the, the stumbling box, blocks, I suppose, that certain people encounter. This is it, because nothing's more frustrating than going and thinking, oh, that's perfect, and you get it home, and suddenly your mats don't fit in it, yeah. your tools don't fit in it, or they do, but the the jaw starts to bow a bit so it doesn't move in and out yeah and crafting isn't a five minute hobby no you are in it once you're in there absolutely yeah. i totally agree and they the fact that they are the quality that they are as well i think you know yeah. they are built to last they are because you know sewing machines last a long time yes the gems that we buy yeah they all cost money as well so you need to protect it absolutely. the last thing you want to do is to go and finish your quilt and the dog has chewed through your cable yeah or go and finish off your necklace and suddenly you're missing two gems because they've rolled underneath the piece of furniture that you can't move yeah exactly um so, never to be seen again exactly yeah, yeah it is very very true um 24 pounds and 99 pence on your split payment so hello to you manchester saying uh, what colors are the drawers so these are white yeah lovely it's lovely and so clean and is, they're just yeah. white 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 clean white clean yep yeah. So you could take the inserts out and use them in the boxes if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've got any of the other boxes that we've got, this um, full size one fits in the 12 by 12 box. Mm -hmm. So you could put um, glitters and bits and pieces in there if you wanted to. And these ones fit in there as well. But these ones will fit in the A4 boxes quite nicely. Oh, so you can always swap them over. If so you, you can swap to. them about if you wanted to, not a problem, yeah. Wow, amazing. Mm. Again, the same two colours. You can choose between the classic oak and the vanilla um, on these. Um, again, a lot of interest in this. I'm not surprised at all. It is a beautiful piece of furniture. And that's the thing. They are pieces of furniture, aren't they? They are, yes, because they'll fit in any room of the house. Yeah. Not everyone has a craft room, so it's yeah. a dual space houses yeah. are getting smaller so bedrooms yeah. are often studies craft rooms kids playrooms yeah so it, furniture needs to blend and last yeah absolutely i mean i think that's a lovely idea actually mm. it's not just uh, it, it's it's across multiple crafts too and actually still making them attractive mm. so it doesn't matter if they're left out no this is it because i mean as a crafter i very rarely do put things away mm. but because I haven't it still doesn't look a mess no you know well if this is your is this your studio that's mine yeah look how beautiful that setup is yes. and again I'm assuming they're oak doors that this goes gorgeously with too they are yes yeah which is and the, cat. Moved, and the cat yes only one of them decided to pose um, but I've only been in this space probably about 18 months now yeah so I'm still tweaking it where the ironing board is, is a gap that I've told Kevin I'd like a piece of furniture in. Uh huh. So I'm measuring up and trying to work out what will fit in there at the moment. But yeah, there's my tower, you can see with the flowers on top. Oh yes. That's my tower. And then the other unit next to it will bring along at some point, which is slightly taller and that's a triple unit. Wow. And then there's a workstation there as well. Wow. Now we've got um, quite a few new people who are just tuning in. Um, are these self-assembled? So yeah. um, Oxfordshire, the large unit is, we'll recap it in a second. Yeah. If you have just tuned in, assembly is included in your jewelry maker deal, which is usually 350 pounds. It is, yeah. Um, these, the assembly isn't included. No. Nope. But you said earlier on that they are very straightforward to actually assemble. They are, and later in the week there will be a video on our social media of me building this one. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the same to do all of them. It's the same procedures, the same method to build the cube as it is to build the oh, towers. Okay. Regardless of the actual regardless size. Regardless of size, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, and 
I can't emphasize. I know, like with television, it's different. The quality, you can really feel the quality. Mm. You know, they're um, solid. They move around. I mean, obviously, these towers are on wheels. Mm -hmm. This one's obviously not because no. it's meant to be sort of desk height. It is. Even yeah. the large unit is on wheels. Yeah, so you can move that around in your room if you wanted to. Obviously, once it's filled with your crafty goodies, it is going to be a little bit heavier. Mm. Um, so watch your carpet. But yeah. I've seen some in rooms that have got those plastic mats down that you yeah. used to get in offices. Yeah. Um, which means it will move a lot easier. Yeah. Well, I mean, this wasn't here yesterday when I was in the studio. And no. we had um, Ross and Adam wheel it in. So if they oh, can cool. do it, you yeah. definitely can. Definitely, definitely yeah. can. Um, and the, it, it's amazed me just how transport, how movable it is. Mm. While still, you know, if you move, move like, say, I don't know, a flat pack wardrobe, it can yeah it twists and everything yeah. else i mean they do move between rooms in the house quite easily as well i've done that to mine you because of the width we have taken the doors off and the top off yeah um but two of you can move it quite easily from room to room if you wanted wow. to wow amazing and yeah. also perhaps we should discuss as well um if you did want to the lead time is approximately six weeks maybe a bit less for these depending yeah. on um but this item if you want if you are thinking or considering about getting what's this one called again that's called the night haze the night haze yeah. right so if you are considering this we, you can actually make it to order. We'll recap it yep. in just a second, actually. You make it to mm. order. So give you time effectively to clear the space or where you want or maybe decorate the room. This is it. Or if you're going on holiday and you don't want it till later in the year, mm -hmm. we can hold it as well. That's not a problem. Yeah, which I actually think is absolutely amazing because like I said, I've, had, I've got a, a, t a table turning up and the lead time is more than that. Yeah. Um, okay, now again, uh, this is the first time that Joe has been on Jewelry Makers, so a special guest for our 14th birthday. If you have just tuned in, we're very, very excited to introduce Storage for Crafts here in the studio. Um, take a little look at this. Storage for Crafts came about because I was a messy crafter, essentially. I came into crafting by mistake. I went to a local craft show with my mum and my mother-in-law. They craft. They said, try making some Christmas cards. So I did. And then you buy loads of stuff. You lose the dining table. And before you know it, you've got more stuff than you know what to do with. My husband, Kevin, bless him at the time, was making furniture. So he made a little unit that worked fine. But then I kept buying. So we expanded the range. And before you know it, I've got a craft room and we provide furniture for other people like me. Our storage is great for jewelry makers as well because we've got different size boxes. We've got boxes for your big pieces, so tools will fit in there quite nicely. You can put our divider trays in the smaller boxes, so you've got um, up to 30 compartments in some of the boxes, so you can really separate out your beads and your findings. You've got um, lots of lighting in the units as well, so it gives you really good um, light to work, and it's a nice bright white as well. There's loads of opportunities for jewelry. I'm really looking forward to launching Storage for Crafts on Jewelry Maker for their birthday show. Welcome, Jewelry Makers, and introducing lovely Jo. Morning. Morning. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. Thank it's you. a real delight to meet you. It's lovely to meet um, you. If you have just tuned in, don't fear, you haven't missed out entirely. However, these are incredibly popular. Mm. So they are, yeah, they are very, very, very limited. So we're gonna recap the amazing Night, night Haze. Night Haze. Yeah. Now, which by the way, jewelry makers, you have got today at a very, very special price point. So extra low and it includes the assembly within geographical limitations. Yes. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. So Joe, if you wouldn't mind, could you just talk us through firstly how it began first? Because you said 19 yep. years you've been yep. established. It's our birthday month as well this month. That's so amazing. 19 years for us. And it came about because I was messy, is the bottom line, <laughs> as most crafters are. Yeah. I mean, I didn't set out to be a crafter. I wasn't crafty at school or anything like that, but my mum and mother in law were. Yeah. Um, so I went to a show with them. I just yeah. went for the cake and coffee. Yeah. And then carry the bags but they persuaded me to make Christmas cards so I did loved it and then mum's a sewer so she's like well you can add a few bits to it yeah 
Um, so I started buying more stuff. And then before you know it, the table's gone, isn't it? Yeah. And then you'll start losing things. You're eating off laps. Yeah, exactly. Um, I can't, something happened and I needed to tidy up. So I went and got boxes. Mm -hmm. um, and then it doesn't matter how you think you've, stole, you've stacked them, how logically you think you've done it, you always want the one at the bottom. Of course you do, Regardless. Yeah. And at the time, Kevin was making sort of bedroom furniture, kitchen tables, kitchens, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. out of solid wood. Um, so he made me one which was the tower that we did earlier. Right. And then I kept buying. So the range <laughs> so grew. Kevin needed to, buy, to make more. So he needed to make more, yeah. And then the solid wood wasn't really practical uh -huh. because it marks and it stains yeah. quite easily. Um, True. And then when you're applying pressure to it, you get little grooves in it and things. True. So it just didn't work. So we moved to melamine face chipboard, which is what your kitchens and bathrooms are made out yeah. of. This is 18 mil thick as mm -hmm. opposed to the 15 that that generally is. Right. So you know it's going to take heat, you know it's going to take moisture. So wow. it'll work in your conservatory. If you, you've got your workspace in the garden, in the shed, it'll be perfect in there as well. In the attic, if you can get this up there, it'll be absolutely fine. Wow. So shall we, because shall we, right yeah. now it looks like a very beautiful wardrobe. It does, Doesn't yeah. it? Which is the yeah. whole idea. So you can almost sort of mm. hide all your craft, yep. uh, jewellery making away. It's all on wheels, which I find absolutely amazing. This is but it, honestly, yeah. it is like a TARDIS. It is. Yep. Now, just before we open it all up, let's bring your jewellery maker deal to air. And this is a special 14th birthday deal. So there's your item code. Now, again, you it includes self-assembly within certain locations, doesn't it? Yeah, so we can only go as far north as sort of Edinburgh and Glasgow if you draw a line there. Yeah. And the flan doesn't float, so it won't cross water. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Other than that, though, you can still deliver to those other we locations. We can still deliver. So if you're in the Highlands and Islands or yeah. the Channel Islands, Isle of Man, that kind of area, drop us an email and we'll try and work out something on delivery. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there are definitely um, sort of handymen that will do there are, pack assembly yeah. for you as yeah. well. And we so. use some around the country and areas. So there's a chance there might be someone that we've already used that we can point your help. Way. Yeah. So fantastic communication, mm -hmm. can I just say? That's rare these days, isn't it? Communication. <laughs> yeah. So that's wonderful that you can actually speak to Joe and say, okay, help. You know. Yeah, I do try and do most of it by email because yeah. there is just me that tries to do the admin and packing of boxes and counting of screws and things like that. Okay. Um, so I don't hear the phone, quite right. honestly, but emails I pick up. There you go. So those. yeah, drop Joe an email. This is not your jewellery maker price. No. Now, we have a limited quantity now of these left. They have been incredibly popular. So today, which includes your assembly, as I said, in certain locations, £2,499. Mm. And you've got your 0% interest split payment. You know, again, yeah. if you were to buy furniture of some variety from certain, I don't know, retailers, then chances are they're gonna be with interest. More than likely, I would think. Yeah. 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 Um, shall we show everything it does? Because it is yes. like a TARDIS. Let's do it. It just keeps unfolding. It does. So, yeah. Okay. Let's shall go. I grab one side? Yeah. You grab you do the that other. side. Yeah. Look at this. So there we go. How amazing is this? Scooch in. <laughs> and then there's, there's more. There's more. There's, there's more. more. So you've got one work area here. There we go. Lots of space there. And then on this side, you have another. You have another one. So you've got an L-shaped work area. How amazing is that? Mm. That's incredible. And then pop the this. light on and away you craft. Away you craft. And you were saying that the light or was it you know, a deliberate decision so it wasn't, you know, a, a take over the room light? Yeah, because I don't like it if it brights up the whole room. Yeah. Because at the time when we first made it, it was in a room that other people were using as well. So it meant it was just on my, where I was working, mm -hmm. and they can watch telly. And, and it's not invasive not affecting them, or, no, yeah, at all. Um, but the masses of storage, <laughs> and these are all included as well, yeah, aren't they? all the boxes are included. Yeah. And just because they're in this set out doesn't mean you have to keep it like that. You can okay. take them out, use them in other rooms, give yeah. them to the kids, that kind of thing, um, quite easily. You've got a selection of A4 boxes, 12 by 12 boxes. You've got some that are sort of ruler length. Yeah. So strands would fit in there perfectly. 
Yeah, amazing. Okay. And there's still storage under here as well. This is the thing. It's just yep. masses. I love the fact that you've left some, mm. or just a couple of spaces without. Yeah, because there's always that bit that doesn't fit in a box. Yeah. Or maybe you want to put lever arch files up there yeah. with patterns in, that kind of thing, newsletters. I mean, I'm terrible. I'll keep every little bit of paper just in case. Yeah. So I need somewhere to put it. Yeah. Um, and, and I mentioned earlier on, was it last, when did we do the X-Tool? Last week we had mm. the X tool, which I yeah. love. Yeah, it's I so like good. That. Yeah. But again, you've got a nice little setup. You've got space yep. for it to go just here or mm -hmm. here, whichever it might be. Yeah. Um, and you've got the the hole here for the plug socket. This is it. So you could put a four bar through and attach it to the back, mm. and everything can then plug into it. So you haven't then got to worry about trying to find leads, mm. where you're going to put it. It's all there. It's not in a box the other side of the room because when yeah. that I had that problem, I never used it. No. Whereas it's here, it's there. I just pull it forward. I use it, and Perfect. off you go. Perfect. You've got plenty of space, haven't you? You have. Yeah. Um, now there are literally two vanilla and two oak left. Wow. That's, That's all good. we have left. Um, and again, it's about twelve weeks. You were about saying about twelve weeks on if this If you one, want yeah. it to be longer, it can be. It can. Yeah. So if you're going on a fabulous holiday in the summer, we mm. can come afterwards. If you don't want it till the builders have finished. Mm -hmm. or if you're decorating the room or the kids are going to uni we can bring it then i love that i think that's a really good point because many people you know my my brother said something similar about um, my niece going off to university was like yeah. oh and then i've got all this space yeah. i hear it all the time at the shows <laughs> yeah it's like oh, all this space i yeah. can use that room exactly and there's still usually enough space for the bed for when they come back at holidays and stuff well yeah and when they do come back they yeah. haven't got everything out no it literally folds down concertinas almost doesn't it it does yeah so it's essentially just under three foot square closed and six foot square fully open wow so yeah Wow, that triples in size. Yeah, doubles in size, yeah. How amazing is that? So here are the dimensions yeah. for those of you that need to, um, that need to sort of, well, if you're gauging it. Mm -hmm. Most of us, I mean, I loved on one of those photographs you were saying, it's like there's a recess, you know, maybe behind the boiling cupboard or something like that. Yeah. Um, but again, 189 centimeters high, 94 centimeters wide which is surprising to me mm. that's quite it's quite small isn't yeah, it? yeah it is um and 81 centimeters in terms of its depth mm -hmm. yep now karen in fife you've just taken us down to the final one of the oak fabulous so well done Thank to you karen. karen you've got that on its way amazing it's a, you said about 12 week waiting period yeah yep. absolutely so but if you need it to be more you need it to be more we now can within um, a certain location joe's amazing team will come and set it up we will for you yes which normally costs 350 pounds it does so that's fantastic isn't it mm. so as long as you have the space free yeah as long as you've cleared the boys a little bit of work a space to work yeah then it'll take them a couple of hours to do for you really that's yeah. amazing mm -hmm. absolutely amazing um okay so any questions jewelry makers that you have text in now you can deliver as you've just said there on that diagram self-assembly outside those locations yes but you can deliver to them we can deliver yes but you will have to put it together yeah. okay no problem no problem any questions that you have and, and additionally you know they've got the extra towers you've got about 15 minutes left on this opportunity and it's i if you to ask any questions mm. um take advantage while joe is here now i can see why joe this is as popular as it was on our sister channels as well yeah i think because it fits every crafter yeah and houses are smaller not everyone yeah. now has a dedicated craft room mm. so this could fit in the dining room quite nicely it could yeah. fit in the corner of the lounge you know it doesn't take up that much space when it's all closed up doubles in size once you're busy working away mm. and everything is to hand so you're not looking for things yeah everything is nice and safe as well little fingers and paws aren't going to get into things you're not going to lose bits uh, and, 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 and again i mean i love this photograph here like say mm. that's in the dining room and you've got them people coming over for dinner yep. fold it away and it's fine it's all fine tidy uh, now we've had two messages joe mm -hmm. same question okay so um this is from gail in north yorkshire saying hi ladies please can you let me know how to arrange a delivery date 
Um, I've got mm -hmm. mine. Always wanted a Night Haze cabinet. Great Fabulous. show team. And thank you, Jewelry Maker. Oh. Um, and also Suja has says, how do we fix a date for assembling the unit, please? So yeah. two ladies who have obviously got the night haze. Yeah, um, How do they go about arranging the delivery? So and once we've got all the orders through, it takes us maybe a week, just over a week to make sure we've got all the orders in. Uh -huh. And we'll send you an email once we've put it on our system saying, thank you very much. This is the next step sort of thing. Okay. So when it comes to delivery dates, we sort of run once a month in areas around the country. Okay. Um, so once we've got little clusters together, we'll start looking at the calendar and say, it's gonna be these sort of days, does that work? Mm -hmm. If it does, great. If not, we'll move you to the next time. Okay. So, so I mean, that might be quite close. It could if be, If it's in yeah. clusters. Yeah. Um, it, might, it, it might be a few weeks, that's this is all. It. So yeah, we try and get around as quickly as we can, uh -huh. um, but for Kevin and Steve, it does take a while to get, yeah, to get around. around. And about two and a half hours to actually about, set them yeah, up. Yeah, about that, yeah. Roundabouts. Yeah. Um, I hope that answers your questions, ladies. So thank you for texting as well. Because if you're thinking it, then chances are other Someone people are is. actually gonna be thinking yeah. that too. But it's uh, the feeling I'm getting, Joe, is that you are quite flexible as well. Yeah, we're quite laid back, probably a bit too laid back at times. But yeah, no, we work everything around. Life gets in the way as well, so no yeah. dates are ever set in stone. Mm -hmm. You know, things happen. Just let, give us as much notice as you can. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, so Joe and, and uh, Storage for Crafts will actually contact you then regarding. Yeah, we'll so thank you yeah, for we'll those contact. questions. Yeah. Um, as it stands, jewelry makers, we have two vanilla and one oak. So as it stands, however, I need to mention that there are lots of you with it in your basket. So there's clearly a lot of interest. Yep. You know, you've got a special birthday deal price this morning and you've got your split pay there as well, your 0% interest and you get the assembly within those, uh, within that geographical location. Plus, don't forget as well the lovely units that you can add on if you want yep. to, or have sit individually. This is it. Everything complements each other. Yeah. And the different sizes means there's one that will fit in any nook and, and cranny as well. Yeah. They can gradiate in height. So if you're thinking underneath the stairs, mm. in the eaves, if you're in the attic. You know, oh yeah, that's a good point. It fits quite nicely. Really good point. Um, yeah. Under the stairs is a good, great point. Mm. They'd fit quite nicely under there, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. And because most of the towers are the same depth as well, so you're not going to have any standing forward than the others yeah um, you've just got different widths yeah amazing mm. and customize it to your home to your craft there is more interest I've got people on the phone lines as well um, there's actually more now in baskets than we actually have available bear in mind this was an entire sellout on our sister channels mm -hmm. times two so in yep. street and hobby maker it was um, and it definitely looks like it's going to be the same here um, now I think if I'm right Ross there's one of each there's one vanilla, one classic. Okay, let me just confirm. Um, again, just to show you the dimensions, and this looks amazing like so. Have you got a little recess maybe in the spare room or, um, you don't, you don't have to work. You don't have to have it against the wall because it's beautiful yeah. on the back as well. Yeah, so if you are sharing a room, you could have it as a room divide. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. So yeah. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be sort of against a wall effectively. Um, so yeah, can confirm there's one vanilla and there's one classic oak left, okay. but there's still conversation. These are handmade. They are, yes. We make them, design and make them all in Devon. Wow. Yeah. So uh, that's lovely as well that they're mm. on home turf too. Beautiful. Yeah. And I, I'd not thought of it earlier on when you were saying, look, solid wood doesn't really work because like you said, heat, yeah. He can Pressures. affect it. Pressure, yeah, because I mean, if you start cutting out on it or leaning down and, and hammering, you're going to make divots and things. Then it, mm -hmm. your surface is wrecked. You get marks on it. You can't clean it that easily. Whereas yeah. with this, you can use any cleaners you use in kitchens and bathrooms. Wood stains as well, doesn't it? It does. Quite badly. Yeah. And it can warp as well if you're yeah. in the conservatory, if you're in the attic as well. Moisture can affect it greatly. Yeah. Whereas with this, no problems at all yeah amazing so and it's all been thought out that's mm -hmm. what i find so wonderful is the fact that you know joe um you've experienced you've you've gone jumped over the hurdles you've yeah. encountered the stumbling blocks right actually it needs this and it needs that um mm -hmm. i've got two left so i'll leave that uh, we've got uh, to about two minutes 
to send your questions in, lovely jewellery makers, mm -hmm. to Joe. Um, and that's not just about the night haze as well. That's also about the, to the, about the towers, towers yep. too, which I think and this, that's where it all began. It is, yeah. The 113, so that's, that was my craft stash there 20 go. years ago, yeah. Do you know, and I've, I've got one of those, like... Um, I've got a kind of storage tower. It's not as lovely as yours, I have to say. Mine is plastic. Um, and if I twist it, it rocks and it's just a little bit unstable. So yeah. to actually have a, a beautiful piece of furniture, effectively, that's looking after mm. um, each of my cre uh, my treasures. Shall we close it up for you one more yep. time, just because this is really lovely to watch? Let's do it. Um, so again, turn the light off. Turn the light off, yeah. There you go. And then there are just two buttons on the end. Yeah, I saw you do that. It's just literally a press action, yep. isn't it? It's just a little springed button on the end. Mm. Make sure you lock the desks in. Do that one. Now there is one of each color. So if there's a specific color that you want, you need to be quick. You need to be quick on this one because there is someone on the phone talking as we speak. Okay, there and you then go. You just bring, ooh, bring the balloons. Shall I do this side? Yeah, you bring that one round. There you go. There we go. And it's all away. That's in your spare room. Someone's going to think you've just got lots of winter coats tucked away. Look at how, and it's a beautiful piece of furniture. It is, yeah. The handles are nice to hold as well. They're not too yeah. difficult. Just wipe it's clean. Just wipe clean, yep. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Again, and I do think, you know, a lot of us, myself included, like literally the spare room mm. is... It's, it's a spare room, but it's also it? multi-use, yeah. yeah. Amazing. I've got literally one of each, but again, conversations being had. Jo, you've been um, wonderful, and welcome to Jewelry Maker. Thank you, it's been lovely. Thank you so yeah. much for bringing your incredible storage. Yes, we'll it's be beautiful. Back. Well, we look forward mm. to that. We really do. Um, now, we're different pieces. Yes, we've got lots of different things to Ooh, bring Oh, amazing. Yep. Now, do not go anywhere because I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Carol in a few moments' time. Remember, we've got your initial pendants to bring you and also the most beautiful metre-long length strand nice. of all your birthstones. So um, we'll talk uh, some more about that and, of course, be thoroughly inspired. Once yes. again, thank you, darling. Thank you. We've got one of each colour, one person talking, and four of you with it in your basket. So I'll wish you all the best of luck. Um, good luck. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish Jury Maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years and I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that Jury Maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year, the next year and many years after that um, and all the things that wonderful Jury Maker is going to bring us. So thank you again and hope you have a very happy birthday. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker! <laughs> Join us for two weeks of pure enchantment as we celebrate Jewelry Maker's 14th birthday in style. Indulge in the allure of our exquisite new gemstone launches Experience the brilliance of our esteemed guest designers and their unparalleled vision and expertise with exclusive masterclasses. And mark your calendars for a special occasion. On the 4th, we're extending our hours, giving you even more time to immerse yourself in the celebration. Embrace the magic and let your creativity sparkle as we toast to 14 years of elegance and innovation on Jewelry Maker. Hello Jewelry Makers, happy 14th birthday. I remember the first day, um, I was a little bit younger, not as old looking, and lots of things have gone on since then. But you've stuck with us, thank you so much. It's been an incredible 14 years. Here's to many more. We've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks, not week, two weeks. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Happy birthday. Hi Jewelry Maker, happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains and make sure you save me some cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday jewellery maker. maker! Hey 
Hey lovely jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on May the 7th and because it's jewellery makers 14th birthday I've got lots of lovely birthday products to bring you. We've got micro faceted birthstones and they are gorgeous. Everything's on there, there's garnet, there's amethyst, there's peridot, there's sapphires, there's aquamarine, they are beautiful. I've been making these little earrings out of the amethyst and also this lovely bracelet and I've also made a pearl and garnet twinkly ring so I will be showing you those on the day and then also we have got little mother of pearl star sign charms how sweet are these I'll be showing you how to add a birthstone to those either for gifting or making for yourself so I will see you on the 7th for lots of birthday fun of which I've been there 12. Um, it's been wonderful and you're a huge part of our lives. So thank you to everybody. Hey, yeah, you know, yes, yes. Happy birthday, jewelry yeah, makers. You were grumpy, oh dear. Well, thank you, jewelry makers, for all your loyalty. You're I an amazing. You, I love you. Yeah, we love you. Happy birthday, jewelry maker. We couldn't do it without you. Hello everyone, it's Mark here and Thomas. You going to say something? No, you're going to think about it. We're both here today to wish jewelry maker the happiest of 14th birthdays. It's going to be an incredible fortnight. We've got an amazing lineup. And all I want to do is get the celebration started. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Make sure you join us this coming Wednesday on Jewelry Maker. It's still our 14th birthday and we've got the most amazing show for you. We've got a gemstone tumbler. We've got Dave joining us with the launch of the most insane cashmere aquamarine. And we've also got a brand new book launch. All of that and competitions and games throughout the show. We'll see you then. Happy birthday, jewellery maker, 14 years old. Thank you so much to all of you at home for your incredible continued support. We love you all. Let's make it a good one. Hello, I just wanted to wish jewellery maker a really happy 14th birthday. It's been 14 fantastic years and I've been really lucky to be there from very near the beginning and been honoured to be part of the journey. The inspiration and creativity that jewellery maker has brought everybody has been wonderful and I look forward to this year and next year and many years after that um, and all the things that wonderful jewelry maker is going to bring us so thank you again and hope you have a very happy birthday happy 14th birthday jewelry maker <laughs> happy 14th birthday jewelry maker Thanks to all the customers for all your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, jewellery maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, jewellery maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future. Darling, <laughs> quick switcheroo. Yep. But actually, because it's so practical, it moved quite nicely. It out did of this just studio, wheel didn't out, it? didn't it? Just yeah. like wheel past yeah, you. It did. But oh, there's a little face. 
Oh dear, Bella, little lie Bella's down. little face <laughs> peering in, <laughs> mummy. Where's mummy gone? We're right here. <laughs> Bless her. She's been very well looked after. I don't believe a word of it. All the attention. Yes. Um, welcome back. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. I've got so much stuff. Oh, look at this. They're coming up in the twelve o'clock hour, right? You've got the most beautiful meter long length strand of all your birthstones every single one how amazing is that i know so you know we had the astrology signs earlier on if you want to add the birthstones and the initials yep how lovely would that be super personalization oh i love it and the quality of those gemstones are truly truly They're exceptional really sparkly love it is that a bit of you yeah i was very happy when they landed on my doorstep i bet i bet <laughs> um so those are coming up in the 12 o'clock hour jewelry makers guess what we've got 300 that's a true birthday quantity isn't it wow um so that's at 12 um and what is your demonstration going to be on so I am going to demonstrate the little mother of pearl charms we had, but I'm going to show you how to add a birthstone to the charm itself, like I've done on the necklace. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you some of this illusion, like floating um, gems. Stranding floating gems, and how to do that as well. Very nice. Yeah, because they do look like they're floating. Do yeah. You know, so many years ago, and it was a long, a long time ago, when I worked in the jewellers. And my dad came and bought my mum, um, and he wanted a con like a contemporary pearl yes. necklace, and um, bought something very similar to that, where the pearls where are almost float. floating. Yeah, because that one's on tiger tail, so you can just about see it. But I'm going to demonstrate a bracelet on microfilament, so it's virtually invisible. Oh, I love that! So that's your demonstration. Plus, remember, jewelry makers, you do get your instructions as well. Um, plus, we've got so much more to bring you, haven't we? <laughs> Between now and then. Um, do keep those messages coming through. We're loving your interaction. Um, okay. Shall we start with what? The letters. I'm excited for these. Now, we only have some letters. So don't think that we've forgotten how to say the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> we know our ABCs. Yeah, it's we okay. do. Just about. Um, but, yeah, we don't have all the letters. These are 925 sterling silver. And much like we discussed your astrology jewellery, initial jewellery yep. is massive. And that's because personalisation is huge. I love it. I've done myself some earrings with my initials oh, on recently. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Because you know what? Personalisation, we had with the X tool the other day, we were talking about sort of engraving water bottles yeah. and things like that, which definitely has a practical side Absolutely. to it as well. But jewellery is one of the most sentimental pieces of jewellery uh, or, or gifts that you can either receive or offer. You know, to actually add to that sentiment yeah. with personalisation, I think it's wonderful. And it never goes out of fashion, does it? I always remember Carrie Bradshaw with her Carrie necklace And on. me. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Well, this is a little bit of a nod towards that as well. So um, let me just give you a little sneaky peek first, because they would go beautifully with your um, astrology carvings that you had earlier on. So I've got the letter A, but obviously you've got different letters of the alphabet. A for Adam. Yay! Um, and also, they've got a lovely gallery, so they almost look like they're floating. They do. They sit, yeah, they just swing, don't they? They're gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? So, in fact, let me take it off there, because you can see them better then, can't you? So, we have it in the gold, and we do have them in the silver. So, um, what is, and I found this article, so we'll read it together, origins of uh, monogram jewellery. Letter initial necklaces are one of the most fashionable ways that monograms show up in today's latest trends. But it's not far, um, but it's far from being something new. Many historians agree that monogram jewellery comes from early Roman and Greek rulers. Then, during the Middle Ages, monograms were used by local artisans and craftsmen to mark their work. It was during the Victorian era, however, that monograms were first utilised for personal use, sewn into linen so they would not get lost during the wash. Later on, monograms kept uh, the symbolism of one's aristocracy, uh, but started to be used for decorative purposes, including silverware and objects like lockets. It was then that monogram jewellery was first created. So, you know, this is not a new trend it's by not. any stretch of the imagination. 
uh, the letter initial necklace today. Nowadays, everyone from celebrities to everyday mums um, can be seen walking around with letter initial necklaces. Rather than showing off the full name with the name necklace, a monogram necklace adds an air of mystery and intrigue. It keeps people guessing. It's a conversation piece. Contrary to the necklace representing your zodiac sign or birthstone, as we discussed earlier on, uh, letter initial necklaces have enigmatic appeal. Uh, <laughs> So if you want to become mysterious, um, everybody wants to know just what those letters stand for. The letter itself might be a reference to your own name or someone else's as a mark of affection. Aside from that, there are so many other reasons why the letter um, initial necklace trend is back for the holiday season. Um, here are a few of them. So we've got a few photographs to show you as well. Um, but also it is a symbol of high fashion. Just as they were once used in high society, monograms are also used um, as a symbol of high fashion with many of the renowned designers taking on the monogram as their signature design, such as Louis Vuitton and Coco Chanel, for example. I love a bit of Chanel. Oh, who doesn't? <laughs> um, also Gucci, they do it as well with, their, with the G's. Um, what uh, was this uh, not proof enough that monograms are on everyone's lips? Celebrities are wearing letter initial necklaces non-stop, making their popularity skyrocket. From Miley Cyrus, Sarah Jessica Parker, Taylor Swift, uh, to Megan the Duchess of Sussex, uh, they're all fans of personalised letter initial necklaces. Um, the latter use an initial necklace, and the team will remember this because we did a version of it, um, with a simple H and M. Uh, letters on a chain back in 2016 if you remember at Wimbledon um, with no words just a simple gesture she confirmed that she and Prince Harry were a couple later Meghan also honoured her son Archie with the letter A Aww. and that was just simple you know just one single letter on almost like a dog tag like, tag, like a mini dog tag but here's a few photographs for you and I could have been here all day to be honest <laughs> um, you can go to Abbott uh, Leon where it's £89 lovely and I like this photograph because I thought that shows how lovely it goes with Mother of Pearl. Mm. So if you wanted to put your astrology sign, you can definitely do that as well. Um, Monica Veneda, of course, £98 for that necklace. What's that? And that's for May. Okay. £98, so let's call it 100 You could go to John Lewis and go to Alex Monroe. £150 for that. And I know that also um, Liberties do a version of it as do well. Do they? Yes, that won't be all, cheap. No, they're all around these prices. They're all three figures, by the way. Um, next. That was next. Yeah. That's nice. Next. It is nice, isn't it? It's gold-plated, obviously, but £65. Nice, isn't it? Very pretty. I like that with a little elegant, birthstone. The little charm. And yeah. I saw that and I was thinking, oh, yeah, we could do something like that. You could we put your could birthstone. We could absolutely add a charm, yeah. No, that won't be the actual gemstone, though. It'll just be sort no. of a coloured version of it, yeah. yeah. Um, but nice, though, isn't it? £65 for that necklace. So, amazing. You get the idea. It's everywhere. I could have put countless pre uh, photographs up there, couldn't I? Because it is a trend that I think is definitely, definitely here to stay. Now, obviously, different letters of the alphabet. alphabet. We've got 200 of the yellow gold. And then we've got 500 of the silver. The letters that we do have are We'll show the slide. So in the gold, A B C D E F G H J K L M R S V. God, that's hard to say. Yeah, you've been taught your whole life to say it a different way. <laughs> I thought you were going to sing us a song. Huh? Yeah, we don't have all the letters. I apologise, but hopefully, um, can I just say, you know the you know the M, that could be a W, couldn't it? Mhm. Mm you could flip it over, couldn't you? Yeah, because they're drilled through both sides, so you so, can flip yeah. them. Yeah. So I can do uh, like I was like, ah, oh, I can't do willow one, but you can because if I show you a side profile, look. Yeah. You just flip it over. Problem Does that make sense? solved. Pro crisis averted amazing <laughs> now and then in the silver we have a b c d e f g h j k l m p r s t v well done <laughs>
<laughs> just go everything every instinct um it's a drop down box basically these are solid 925 sterling silver so again you could team it alongside your um astrological sign also a very similar size as well they go they together are. beautifully so was that the was that the virgo yeah i thought so so adam, no, actually adam what's your star sign oh need to get me charged. is it that one no, that's Aries. Right, the simplest one. Here you go. Ad Adam, there you go. There's yours. They look nice. Really, cool, really don't nice. They? So you can put your star sign alongside it as well. Now, we will recap these. Not meant to, but we will recap them because they're amazing. Um, okay, let's bring you the yellow gold first. Just before we do, by the way. There you go. Yellow gold with a mother of pearl. You get the look, don't yep, you? And definitely. instead of it being £89, we're going to take it even lower. Even lower. So starting with the yellow gold, the graphics are live. Again, you've got a nice open gallery, so they almost look like they're floating. If you wanted to put it on a, on a um, chain or cord or whatever it yeah. might be. I think they're such a lovely size. They're big enough to read, but they're still small enough to be elegant. Love them. Mm. I absolutely love them. And again, the fact that they will go perfectly with your mother of pearl that you had <laughs> earlier on this morning. And you could write a whole name, <coughs> couldn't you? If you wanted to put them on a bracelet or something. Yeah. <coughs> Amazing. Um, okay, and you won't believe the price tag. You will not believe the price tag. So one of the hottest trends, but actually a trend that's been around centuries. Yep. Centuries upon centuries. It's gold-plated 925 sterling silver. I will tell you, certain letters of the alphabet are limited already. Um, v is limited. Oh, that's one of mine. Oh, you need it then. F and E limited. B is limited. M, you would say, is close to limited. Yeah, very. Um, this is not your prize. All that sterling silver with that wonderful almost floating gallery, if that makes sense. They're a gram of precious wow. metal in each of these, so there's quite the investment. Yeah. H, I can tell you, has dropped down into single figures. Adam says he can write his whole name on this. You could, Abs. You could. Not your price. We're not even stopping there. Really? Nine pounds and 99 pence only, but going even lower. The precious metal. I know, yeah, they're not base wow. metal. no. There it is, ooh, it's like the sun rising <laughs> look. Very nice ads. The sun rising for deals, says, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 9.99 but we're going even lower these are skyrocketing if you got the astrological signs in the eight o'clock hour they go perfectly with them they will that's what i would want to do yeah absolutely and again if you have a craft stall these yep. are perfect to sell amazing so we don't have all letters of the alphabet apologies i don't know why i don't <laughs> i don't know um but hopefully we cover yours and um, if you do, then I will check it out because these are all getting quite limited now. V's only got three left. E's only got four left. F has only got four left. B has only got four left. H is quite limited. M is quite limited now. You can have a C, Carol. I can have a C. I can just about have a V. <laughs> yeah. I can just about have a B for Bella. <laughs> Just, yeah, you need to be quick then for Bella too. <laughs> Bella's a popular letter. Um, good luck. Eight pounds and 99 pence only. It is wow. solid sterling silver. Not That's base a metal. bit different to the ones we saw in the shops, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> well, they're like 100 pounds, aren't they? Yeah. For precious metal ones. And we can just pop that on a chain ourselves. Yeah. It Amazing. is literally just feed a chain through, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to do any tool work or anything. No. No. Not at all. And it'll go on a bracelet too. Yeah. Eight pounds and 99 pence. Oh, V is two. There's only two Vs. <laughs> Guess what? 8.99 for a gram of gold plated 925 sterling silver. I've got, I had 200. But that's not 200 individual letters. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's 200 of what letters of the alphabet we do have. So I've only got two M. 
I've only got two F. That's a clock. Two V's. It's the purple clock too. It is the purple clock. We're going again. We're going again. F has just sold out. Just sold out. F has just sold out. M is about to. I've got one. All these are flying. <laughs> you could put naughty letters together, couldn't you? Could you could put rude words on your necklace. <laughs> you could. <laughs> you could. I'm trying to spell naughty words now, looking at, <laughs> the, looking at the graphics. It's like a game of Scrabble. Uh, I mean, no, let's keep it to initials. <laughs> it's a much nicer sentence, isn't it, than actually swear words. Much nicer. <laughs> uh, F is sold out. I literally have two Vs. Two Vs. Um, B is getting limited now as well. R is available. S is available. K is available. J is available. C is available. Yay. $7.99. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? For precious metal, that's unbelievable. Yeah, it's not base metal. You haven't got to do anything. Nope. Wow. Oh, you could do things like Dad. Yeah. Oh, Father's Day that's coming mine. up. Father's Day's coming up soon. You could do Ma. You could do Ma. Or Ma'am, yeah. Ma'am, yeah. Oh, but Dad, Father's Day you is could coming absolutely up, isn't it? You do Dad. Yeah, or Daddy. Oh, no. No, why? Dad. Oh, one. Oh, no. There's one left of the M. L is getting limited now as well. Um, <laughs> Linda, Ash has got six. Judith, Lynn and Kent's got seven. Wenda's got five. Margaret's got two. Linda, Anne's got three. Fiona's got three. Cheshire's got two. Maker's got three. Anna's got five. Renfusha's got five. Loving these. And do you know, I remember our sister channel actually having uh, initial necklaces on because my best friend bought hers from our sister channel. Yeah. Um, and loves it, wears it all the time. All the time. Oh. And I actually call her H. <laughs> That's literally what I call her. You're right, H. You could mix your metals too, couldn't you? It would look super pretty if you had the silver. Yeah, and nice. The gold. Oh, that's true. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice idea. That's a nice idea. Um, my best friend's a G, so I can get her a nice G get necklace. A G. That's G necklace. That'd be nice. Loving these. I have one left of the V. Ooh. They're all very limited though. They are. Very, very limited. Don't let that put you off dialing through. If they're, if it's not highlighted red, then it's still in stock. Um, okay, we've got the silver. I'll tell you now, 10% oh, of the wow. stock has already gone. Out of how many? 500, wow. Goodness. Um, okay, over 50 have gone. Again, if I just tilt it sideways, we've got the A here in the studio, but you can see there's a nice open gallery so you can not through that if you wanted to. And you can put two strands of elastic through that so it will sit flat on a bracelet. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Um, and again, you can put your star signs next to it if Aww. you wanted to. Personalise it even further. Beautiful. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing ways. So you can put all your star signs there as well. They're so sweet together. Gorgeous, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. And you've got the birthstone strand coming your way. We have 500 of these. Why not mix your metals? That's yeah, a really good point. Yeah, I think because they look really pretty together. Yeah. If you alternate them or, yeah. Nice. Or one colour for your name and one colour for their name. Yeah, love that. Um, if you're looking for a W, I was thinking you could just flip the W, uh, the M upside down. Yep. Couldn't you? If you're looking for a W. Um, That's about see. it, isn't it, really? Yeah. That is about the it. The others are not really reversible, are they? <laughs> not really. Um, there's only two of the T if you want T. That's been a very popular colour or, uh, not colour, name, uh, letter. <laughs> I'll, get it out. I'll say it right first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, first price crash, jewellery makers. £9.99 pence only. How amazing. It's solid sterling silver. You've got a gram of precious metal here as well. It's super shiny. I really Oh, P it. sold out. P's gone. P is gone. P is gone. T, T I've got two. 
E, I've got three. B, I've got two. Yeah. Mm. They are, they're, they're flying out the door. I love the idea of putting like your whole family's initials yes. in there. Pauline Mansion's got 10. Well, well done, Pauline. Pauline. Is that gift sorted? <laughs> for, yeah, for the whole year. <laughs> yeah. I think if you had a big jump ring as well, you could put a few on. Ah, oh, yeah. That'd make be nice. a little circle of your, all the people in your family. Ah, oh, beautiful. Loving that. They're flying. We knew they would, jewellery makers. Um, one left of T, six left of V, two left of E, two left of B. A minute clock. We're not stopping there, jewellery makers. Of course and it, not. Again, Carol, uh, Carol, you've got this beautiful metre-long length strand of blue mm, stones. Look at up. it. <laughs> look how long it is. Which would be beautiful if you wanted to put your birthstone with it too. Yep, absolutely. That's so pretty. Wouldn't that be nice? Hello, Chrissy. Hello, two lovely saying hello, lovelies. Um, are you going to <laughs> re-show the star signs? Yes, we are. Yes, we will. We'll redo the star signs. They were an early bird, but we, get, we don't normally, but we are today because they go perfectly alongside the initials, yeah. don't they? And also Carol's um, birthstone strand, of which we've got 300, by the way, jewelry <gasps> makers. Fab. Um, again, sellouts on letters. E is sold out. B is sold out. P is sold out. T is sold out. Ah. Oh. I couldn't do Tom. Unless there's some in the gold. <laughs> I can do, oh no, I can't do Tiggy. I can't, I can do Willow. Because it's just an upside down M. <laughs> no, is it just the initial? Yeah. So Willow can have one. I can still have one. You can still have one, Carol. Yeah, you're all right. Not Bella, though. Not Bella. Not Bella. Not Sorry, you. Bella, you've got a. Popular initial, darling. She's having a little nap, I think. Yeah. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence. But that's a great idea, actually. Mixing the mix, mixing the um, precious metals. Why not? Yeah, I think they'd look really nice together. Yeah, nice. Um, these are flying. I've got elevens, nine sevens. Look how popular they are. Wow. Ayrshire's got eleven. Manchester's got eleven. Kent just got eight. Angela's got seven. Wenda's got five. Fours, threes, yeah. I'm not surprised at all because if you can get the you know, letters for your nearest and dearest, what a lovely gift this would be. And it's not 90 pounds. No, and all you have to do is pop one of these on a pre-made chain that you've got from Jewelry Maker, yeah. put it on your craft stall and you've got personalised gifts to sell. And what have you paid for them? Very little. Very, very little. What very do you reckon? You, even if you like bought these, put it on a chain, how much do you think? The chain's usually about a similar price, isn't it? I would mm. say here at Jewelry Maker. Yes. Really. So what's that? Say it's cost you fourteen pounds to make a full necklace. Yeah, and you can sell it for what? Double that? Triple that? Triple, I would yeah. say probably. Depends, yeah. Depends Especially where. for the gold colour. Depends ones. where. Unbelievable. That's an amazing. They're not costume jewellery. This is not base metal. This is solid 925 sterling silver. Again, flying. Loads of you multi-buying on this. Ruth in East Sussex just got five. Joanne's got four. Lynn's got eight. Ayrshire's got 11. Angela's got seven. Sue's got four. Maker's got, uh, West Midland's got three. Teresa's got four. Maureen's got four. Ella, you get the idea. Massively <laughs> multi-buying. Um, we had 500 at the beginning of these. New customers just got eight. It's great, isn't it? Like, and we will recap, by the way, jewelry makers, your star signs. So we'll do that next. Um, technically, we shouldn't, but we don't normally repeat the early bird. That's why it goes as low. But we did have a thousand. Um, over 500 sold in the first hour. That's because they're gorgeous. They are absolutely beautiful. But it seems right to actually recap these, Roscoe, because yeah. they do go perfectly with... And you've got every sample over. Okay. Let's put that there. Stay. Stay, stay, stay. Okay. Let's show you each and every single one. So I'm... I'd need an image to know which oh, one's okay. which. Ah, here we go. So this is Cancer. Yeah. This one. Oh, oh. Let's put them on the desk. <laughs> Stay. And these are carved, hand carved, and also drilled. 
let's do this with your tweezers, Al. You've got much more ability to show every single one. There we go. Taurus. Is it upside down? Yeah. I hardly dare breathe. <laughs> I know, don't move. Nobody sneeze. <laughs> I, if I'm putting these the wrong way, it's only because they'll balance that way. Gemini. Leo. Eh. Okay. Which one's this? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Should we put them on the overhead? Yeah, that would be much better, Adam. And also it's on a black background then, isn't it? Um, amazing. Okay, so here you go. You can see each of yours. They are hand carved plus drilled too aren't they so they actually have a drill hole which i find amazing yep, they are drilled right through one side so they hang beautifully now and over 500 of these sold this morning carol they're just so pretty all the little pearly colors you can see in them amazing um, if you don't know what your astrology dates are, let's show you so that, for example, I'm glad you included this, Roscoe. For example, if you are trying to put like your family members astrology signs in there, I wouldn't have known what Tom's astrology sign is. So um, you can figure it out effectively. So um, we were saying earlier, what are you? Sorry, Dan. Uh, I'm a cancer. You're a cancer. What are you? Aries, me. Aries. What are you, Ross? Pisces. What are you, Ad? Libra, I'm a Virgo. Lauren, what are you? Gemini. Gemini. And let's not forget as well, the most important member of the team. What are you, Bella? She's a Gemini. Gemini. Ah, oh, bless her. So there you go. You can work out and establish which <laughs> astrology signs you need. But we were discussing, weren't we, how you could literally have like a little pot of each astrology sign. Yep. And there's your business model. Yeah. And you say to people, which initial would you like? Which star sign would you like? Which yeah. birthstones would you like? Completely personalised jewellery. Oh, how amazing is that? Now, the first price that you're going to see is actually not what you're paying. Not what you're paying, considering these are hand-carved. Mother of Pearl is an expensive gemstone, especially a carved one and a drilled one. You know, that is very challenging to actually achieve. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And the colours, all the little pinks and greens you can see in them are just beautiful. Amazing. So I bought these during the hour and I was like, right, okay, so I need mine, which is Virgo. I need to get hold of Tiggies and Willows and Toms. <laughs> and I'm literally just going to put them all on one piece of jewellery. Oh, lovely. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. And I know the meaning. Exactly. I think yeah. it's fairly obvious what the meaning is behind that, but you're not actually spelling it out. No. And to have everybody all together like that. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Sweet. Not your price, jewellery makers. Now, we had a thousand across each of your uh, zodiac signs. However, that, you, which you might think, oh gosh, that's loads. It's actually only 80 of each. Mm, not that so, many. So, not that many. Not that many at all. Not your price. We are going even lower. So, do you know what I've just noticed? Scorpio looks very different, uh, very similar to Virgo, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Very, very similar. Six pounds and 99 pence only. Wow. That's amazing. For Mother of Pearl. Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't want to be the person who had to carve those. So no, nor me. <laughs> but I, I, was it you that were saying, Carol, earlier on, that you also have a, a di another astrology sign? Yeah, so you ha I think you have your star sign and then your rising sign. A and I think you have a sun sign, sign too. Oh, it's all quite complicated. And, and a moon, moon sign. sign. Yeah. And a water sign. Are you just saying these now? <laughs> just making it up. <laughs> you might. You are, aren't you? You definitely have a yeah. rising sign. You def Yeah, I've heard that. And I love the fact you know you could do. Um, and one of the photographs I didn't include it on the PowerPoint. Mega Markle actually had. Um, and I know not on the high street do this. You could actually have your the positioning of the stars yes you can get your chart done can't you yeah. for the exact time you were born yeah, yeah my husband on valentine's day a few oh gosh a good few years ago actually sent we've got um i've got a poster of the con the constellation of the stars when we met oh 
Oh, that's so romantic. I know. I know. See, oh. all these lovely personalised things, they just, it's, it's oh. lovely, isn't it? But I think people are constantly fascinated by stars anyway, aren't they? It's just yeah. that connection to the infinite. I think Absolutely. People, yeah. And it does. Yeah, as I, as I <laughs> stumbled on earlier this morning, <laughs> um, astrology <laughs> and astronomy, very different not things. Same. Not no, the same not thing, the same. no. So I'm like Brian Cox, <laughs> talking about Brian Cox, and he's like, I don't know anything about astrology. <laughs> but don't you find that, you know, back in the day when everybody used to get newspapers mm, delivered in the morning. You used to read your sign every always, day. Always, religiously. Yep. When I was having my cereal before school. Oh, I used to read mine on the bus on the way to work. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And it still fascinates us. Six pounds and 99 pence only, jewellery makers. Um, oh, no. I've just remembered. We didn't close there, did we? No. Nope. I just remembered I had programmed <laughs> into my head that it was six ninety nine. Ah, there's not that many left. Though. So Adam, you are a a Libra. Do you want your chart? Here we go. So no, you go. I got it. just there. So Adams, that one. Yep. Are those? Oh. There you go, Adam. Looks sweet. That's very it cool. Is nice. Very cool. The Libra sign also looks like a little person. Doesn't it does it? look a little mm. head and arms. <laughs> um, amazing. Double sided as well, jewelry makers. We didn't even stop here. Angela's got thirteen. Renfusha's got six. I just think these would be so perfect if you do things like your craft events yeah. or gifts as well. Absolutely. Or if you've got a, t a team of, you know, dancers or football players or whatever, if all your people have them. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you go to a group or, yeah, or, or circle or in the of same friends. knitting club or, yeah. £4.99 wow. only to get hold of these. That's incredible. It it's is. not breaking the bank either, is it? Hardly, no. A fiver. What can a you get fiver. for a fiver these days? You're hard pushed. To, yeah. <laughs> You're hard pushed to buy a gift card these days. Yeah. Like yeah. a birthday card. And this would be much nicer to get anyway. Do you know, yesterday we popped to um popped out for lunch. Um, because like I said, I have not got the ability to make anything in my kitchen just yet. <laughs> this weekend. Um, so I was like, right, come on, bank holiday, let's go, let's pop out for lunch. And then we popped into the supermarket and the girls were like, ooh, mummy, can I get balloon? I was like, oh, okay. And they had been good. I was like, yeah, but not one of the massive ones that just takes over. A house is already in a, in a giant mess. One of the little balloons. And I stood and queued for the said balloon and it was more than that. Wow. More than that. And it's not going to last and 10 even minutes. Then, even then, I got to the checkout and I was like, um, can you blow these up here? She was like, no, you're going to get to the back of that queue oh, no. over there. And I was like, that, sorry, girls, you're not having these balloons. <laughs> Bet that went down yeah, well. Yeah, no, you're yeah. not having these balloons. But uh, like literally for a helium balloon was yeah. more than that. But that's these... not going to last 10 minutes. These are going to last you forever. Yeah, this, and it's the kind of thing that's got meaning yeah. as well. I love it and it's rare beautiful, mother of pearl, hand carved and drilled as well. Love it. Again, I should say certain star signs are getting more limited there than others. You can still do it by, you know, by every stretch. There's still opportunities. We had a thousand of them. Ross is saying, you know what, Elle? I remember this, Ross. <laughs> we didn't stop there though, did we? Because this is what made me reach for my phone. I was like, right, that's just ridiculous. You know, I said earlier on that you can't get a birthday card for some of these prices. How about we take these beautiful, rare, that's a nice idea, pop them in a birthday card. Aww. Beautiful, rare, mother of pearl, hand carved, with a drill hole as well. How about if we take it to a birthday card price? So if you have got your seven, two, three, thirteen, three, five, four. You might be up in those quantities somewhat. <laughs> because we went even lower. Not just by a little bit, Carol, was it? I, I think we're spoiling ourselves with these. Mm -hmm. 
if you wanted to have a go at things like artisanal markets, craft yeah. fairs, you've got an immediate business model. And an immediate thing to talk to people about, because that could be quite scary, can't yes. it? And you yeah. can say, what's your star sign? Super easy. Straight away, you yeah. could do a write-up. Okay, well, Aries, this is one of your, these yeah, are your characteristics. These are your characteristics, yep. What's your birth? Well, obviously, birthstone can vary, can't it, between months? Yeah. Two ninety nine. <laughs> it's not a coffee in some places. You can you even get a stamp for that now? I don't know. <laughs> Just like, send do a you birthday know card. Yeah, that's a really good point. <laughs> Stamps are expensive, aren't they? It is genuine mother of pearl. This not a slither. It's not not like what we would call a doublet or a triplet. No, no, they're they're solid, aren't they? And yeah, sturdy little charm. And can I, if I hold Adam star sign towards you, but side profile? Can you see the drill hole there? So that in itself, so how do you do that? I wouldn't want to try it. Nor me. Although I am going to show you how to drill into them later. Are you? <laughs> You're going to drill into well, the Well, not star live signs. on air, but yeah, I'll show you. And it's in the instructions for the project too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they would go perfectly with Carol's masterclass, which is a, a meter long length of your birthstone. So they go perfectly alongside that too. Two pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers to get hold of your uh, your star sign. So the astrology dates, by the way, if you're wondering, let's recap those, shall we? Um, so you can pick out, say, your nearest and dearest what their astrology signs um, actually are, if you are thinking about Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, whatever. Because um, I wouldn't know everybody's. No, me neither. I'd have to look them up. Yeah. I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known what a willow star sign was. Perhaps I should. Should I have known that information? I'd, well, I had to look up my other halves, didn't I? So let's say no. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they don't talk about it very often, oh, no. you know, or your friends or something like that. I wouldn't know what their star sign was off the top of my head. No. Birthstone, I would definitely know. Yeah. Obviously, but not their astrology sign. And this is a trend that is absolutely everywhere. Lots of the big celebrities are working with it and wearing it. You, we showed you photographs of Rihanna earlier on wearing her £11,000 necklace. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I haven't got eleven thousand pounds, but I can manage two ninety nine. Yeah, two ninety nine is more than achievable. Um, should we read about that, Roscoe? Oh, we're moving on, right? Okay. Um, well done. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Do stay where you are. You know you're doing that, Dan, don't you? We're scared. Yeah, I'm really not happy about this. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you know you're popping that balloon. Okay. Yeah, what now? I swear they do this on purpose. Oh. <laughs> oh, need to do like a build <laughs> Too late. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay. Oh my days. Ooh. What does it say? Are you ready for this? 20 Ooh. quid pop. <laughs> so that's 20 pounds off for the first five customers. Go, go, go. But guess what? We're about to bring a type A grade, bluish grey imperial bangle. So the first five customers, you're going to get a further 20 pounds off. Wow. How amazing is that? See if I can shape it. So it stands. <laughs> so it stands up. Twenty quid pop. Okay, graphics in. Good luck, everybody. Oh, Angela, amazing! What an opportunity to get hold of one of the rarest varieties of jade ever. Um, we've seen a couple of pieces that have maybe been sold on uh, Bonhams or Christie's or one of those big um, auction houses. This is totally natural. It's gorgeous. And it literally has a bluish colour. Um, so how many do we have, Roscoe? Six available opportunities, just six. Remember to use your 20 quid pop <laughs> for 20 pounds <laughs> off for the first um, five customers. Five customers. That's good, isn't it? Very good. Um, again, 200 carats, it's type A grade. We've spoken about sort of the different colours that jadeite can actually form. You can get, obviously, your apple blossom green, your imperial green, you can get yellows and reds. 
Um, the oldest variety is actually the black tones, of which like are multiple millions of years um, older. Of all the black tones, you can get omphacite grey, you can get, uh, it's not the most romantic description, but chicken skin <laughs> colour, yes. they refer to it as. Um, this is the bluish black, so again. I love that. Beyond rare, yeah, beyond, beyond rare. It's a lovely enigmatic shade. So we've shown this before, a magnificent bluish, uh, sorry, imperial bluish grey jade carving of an elephant. Um, and it says, the remarkable stone of delicate blue grey, um, hue streaked with darker marbling and attractive speckles, experts carve, expertly carved, sorry, with an exotic elephant standing four square and facing uh, towards the twisted wrinkled trunk. Um, loving that. Look at the price. Six hundred and forty thousand US dollars. Not loving that. To a million. <laughs> But they didn't go, let's pop a balloon. <laughs> Just knock some of it off. 20 quid fine. off for the yeah. first five customers. No, I bet they didn't. <laughs> You're right. I bet there was only one of those beautiful ele elephants. And I don't know. Usually they underestimate as well so that mm. to gain interest. Yes. Um, now, I've got five. £1,299 is not your price. Ross is saying, El, I'm giving you a lot of warning on this one because it goes very low, which makes no sense considering it's arguably one of the rarest colours in the world. We've never done strands of the bluish grey, by the way, have we? Never. It's only this bangle. Yeah, how is that even possible? Yeah. Uh, really we had a bigger quantity of them that's oh. why oh that's how then but this is arguably one of the rarest colors of jade in the world use your discount code as well goodness me that's very good isn't it so 20 quid pop and you get a further 20 pounds <laughs> off how amazing so basically you're talking 280 pounds aren't you basically unbelievable if you're lucky enough to get it with that discount code um trina in east sussex angela you're there as well i've got new customers getting involved i can't see everyone's names on the phone lines but again look at that beautifully rare and in london congratulations to you as well if you make your confirmation this is the only bluish gray natural by the way and no it's mined out as well type a grade um bluish gray bangle that we've ever brought and actually bluish gray bluish gray jade actually we've never done a strand either um i've already got collectors there technically if you all check out with the quantities that you want it leaves, leaves me with just one just one remaining opportunity amazing 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 um uh, make sure you're checking out your baskets don't forget as well coming up in the 12 o'clock hour we've got carol's wonderful master class which is all about the birthstone strands i'm very excited about that make sure you use your discount code everybody <laughs> um i have a beautiful black jade out strand i was eyeing this up this morning you know i love the size of them as well Sh yeah size shape mm, stunning perfect i want this one roscoe and as my basket's open already, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> might just, might just drop into might the fall basket. In, yeah, yeah you it might never do. Know. How lovely is this strand? It's one of my favourite strands of black jade, I think. Mm, Ada Rondell's. Yeah. How glossy they are. They are. And that's all totally natural. Wow. Give your discount code a go. Twenty quid pop. <laughs> Give it a go. <laughs> Probably still available right now. Now, how many do we have of this amazing strand? About 10 of them, so it is limited. It is. I can't emphasize enough the ability to actually bring you jade eye is extremely challenging at the moment. The Burmese mine closed, which has been open for hundreds of years, around about 800 years. It's closed now in 2020. The Guatemalan location is also closed because they have just discovered an ancient Mayan mask. So you've got archaeologists in yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that mean, leaves just sort of, a, I don't know, maybe the British Columbian deposit there. 
There's a few around the world. Cotan's on the verge of depletion as well. Very, very, very limited. Lauren, are you going to pop that? Please. <laughs> Please. Ed. Are you not liking balloons either? No. Are we doing it now? Yeah. Oh, you've got to come in, Lauren. You've got to step in here, darling. Okay. <laughs> I know. We're going to pop another balloon. Brilliant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got to stop screaming. I know. <laughs> oh, it's so loud, isn't it? <laughs> so, so loud. We've got another. Ooh, that's a good wow. one. That's a really good one, Ross. Wow. Pop for 50. Yes, please. That's oh, brilliant. my goodness. Look. And we've got 20 of your type A. So have a go at the 50, obviously. And if not, have a go at the 20. Yeah, try them. Now, it is one code per, 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 per item. First price crash. But not where we are closing. I love this strand. It's beautiful. I can imagine it with pearls, actually. Oh, yeah, that would be lovely. Nice monochrome look. I've got 20 available opportunities, jewelry makers. Look at that. Beautifully glossy, totally natural. Straight away, we've got collectors getting involved. Pop for 50. <laughs> We're at 99.99, but we are going lower. And if you manage to get that code, it's ridiculous. Or either of those cords to be, uh, codes. So there's one pop for 50. So that's for one customer. There's five for the 20 quid pop. Brilliant. Yeah, Someone's discount code. Today. So obviously you'd give that one a whirl first, wouldn't you? Nobody is paying ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's a massive chunk off this this gemstone, Ross. Should we really be popping balloons with this gemstone? <laughs> Just saying. Um, how many more of those balloons have you got to pop? Three. Oh my Brilliant. days. Yay. We love them here at Jewelry Maker. I always see our sister channel popping those balloons as well. Oh yeah, good point, Bella. No, no, she's okay. Lauren's looking up. Are yeah. you okay? <laughs> it's okay. She's, um, she's some way away. She's fine. Yeah, she's all right. She's just watching on. Sixty nine ninety nine plus fifty pounds off. Wow, for one bidder, obviously. So that's nineteen ninety nine. Text in if you got that. Yeah, tell us who won it. And Somebody's also, can I just say, if you got the twenty quid, that's pretty good as well. I wouldn't say no. Nor me. No. Definitely, definitely not. Amazing, Jennifer, Angela, Susan. Hello to you, uh, Javucci. What a pretty name in London. Gloria, oh. Anne. Hello to you, Susan, Natasha, Louise, and Daniel, and Mary, and Hilma, and Chantal. Oh, again, try this discount code. 20 quid pop <laughs> as if we're talking about type a beautiful black jade eye yeah we'll just knock some money off just 20 quid pop yeah. you don't see sotheby's doing that <laughs> no, do you? you don't really know and christie's <laughs> let's go pop a balloon <laughs> <laughs> don't see them doing it um well done everybody congratulations loads of you have this in your baskets though you need to check out we can't go any lower it's already an absolute steal especially if you got this you're one of those five customers uh hello to you caroline wow thank you for the 50 pound off voucher code got it well done lovely well done that's awesome so caroline got that keep watching we've got more of those discount codes to bring in so this is the one to use 20 quid pop for the first five customers amazing oh well actually do you know what mm. Oh, that's just perfect. It's a lovely combination, that's isn't it? just perfect. I've got nine. These are beautifully round pearls. And if we describe them as... They're not near. I don't look at them as near at all. They're round yeah. pearls. They look round. Now, we're going to do this in one price crash because there is a mistake on these. Okay. Ross is saying, I actually don't understand how how they're going as low as they are 
49 pounds and 99 pence only goodness me look at the luster on them yeah that's an absolute steal isn't that it that really is yeah those even, are gorgeous even if that had a hundred in front of it or 200 in front of it that's ridiculous roscoe how many do we have five oh. available plus if you use your 20 quid pop it's a 30 pounds which is just ridiculous That's they are amazing. genuine freshwater pearls um i personally wouldn't describe these as near rounds i would describe them as rounds they look round to yeah the eye, don't they full of luster um again you've got to check out your baskets um to guarantee a success unbelievable absolutely unbelievable stay where you are on those phone lines everybody okay let's bring you now seven got a pair for each day of the week look <laughs> scooch them over there seven pairs oh we made a mess today we have made we? quite the mess yes there's confetti everywhere everywhere well actually it was dan and lauren wasn't it it wasn't, wasn't us, us. No. wasn't us i'm not sweeping up no these are 925 sterling silver earrings oh those are adorable they're gorgeous aren't they you won't yeah. believe the deal on these carol really so lapis lazuli oh what, you get all of them yeah wow all in one deal amethyst let me just pick them all up I don't know if it is praised. I think that's fluorite. Fluorite. Let's bring the graphics live. Here we go. Malachite. Ooh. Quartz. Scooch along. Spinel. Lovely. And rose quartz. Oh, pretty. Look, you get all of these seven beautiful pairs of earrings that we just move along Malachite so the other, so the courts can get in. Come on, shuffle along. There you go. You get all of those. Um, obviously times two, because you get yes, a pair of earrings. Yes, you've got two ears. Now, you won't <laughs> believe the deal on these. They're all natural as well. So I can confirm, lapis lazuli, amethyst, in no particular order, by the way. Uh, Malachite is this one just here um spinel is the black you've got rose quartz as i said earlier on it was fluorite the green and then clear quartz now we can't have that many of these left to be truthful because they absolutely flew on the original launch didn't they um how about 10 pound per pair yeah, ideal yeah genuine gemstone sterling silver pairs of earrings yeah 30 available or options not options you get them all sorry all natural wow. not dyed all sterling silver fantastic one amazing price seven pairs it's like three pound no i'm hang on see it's like two pound 75 that's bonkers is it 275 285 there you go. Imagine those as party favours or... Do yeah. you know? Yes. You'd be all pushed to get a little bottle of bubbles. Yeah. Or if you've got bridesmaids and they can all have the same earrings in different colours. I yeah, love this. How amazing. How many have we got then, Roscoe? Oh, just 30. You did say. Sorry. Um, and you get all seven of them as well, jewellery makers. Hello, Anita. Hello to Holland. Hello to Cornwall all seven beautiful gemstones you might be going okay well i'm not really i don't know a rose quartz wear lover i'm not a lapis lazuli gift them yep gift them put them away in the present drawer nobody's going to know that you paid what two pounds 80 something no not for natural gemstones and sterling <laughs> definitely <laughs> not i literally said do you know the technique that deb showed yesterday with the little micro faceted gems and a cluster on top of a lot it was on, on top of one pearl you oh, could do that with these yes that would look lovely there you go. Wow. And it's cost you next to nothing. That price is amazing. In fact, you could mix them with your birthstones from later. Oh, they'd be lovely alongside the birthstones that mm. are coming up. Less than the price of a sandwich. <laughs> wow. It is crazy that we do this. And I generally don't know any other company that brings you totally natural, genuine gemstones okay. at these kind of prices. Amazing. Well done. Shall we do a what? 
a slider bracelet in labradorite. Now this is base metal. Do you know if you look at places like Masoma? Masoma are silver plated base metal, but they only tell you about the silver plated bit. Really? Yeah. That's the thing. They only tell you about that part. I bet. And it's still hundreds of pounds. Yeah. You are getting, again, oh, look at those. They're so beautiful. I'm just opening this out for you. Hold it like this. Oh, that's lovely. It's Isn't gorgeous, elegant? Isn't it? Yeah. Those pretty drops. <coughs> Amazing. Yeah, gorgeous drops. A lovely yeah, shape, aren't they? Very nice. So silver plated base metal. Plus you've also got your beautiful labradorites. Yeah, you go to somewhere like Masoma, um, some Wolf and Badger ones yeah, do. Yeah. They're base they're plated, but they're plated base metal. But they yes. don't I had to actually live chat someone from Masoma because it was like four or five hundred pounds this bracelet and it was lovely. And I was like, Oh, okay, what what metal is it? They're like, Oh silver plated. Yeah, but silver plated silver what? what, yeah. It's like no, no yeah, what though? And like alloy. I was like, ah. So you don't say so, that. No. And you're charging four or five hundred pounds. Yeah. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only, but not your price jewelry makers. You know, there is absolutely I haven't got a problem with costume jewellery. What no. I have a problem with is trickery. Yes, I don't like it. Do you know what I mean? Hiding details yeah. makes me uncomfortable. Do you know this it's base metal, it's silver plated base metal, and that's fine. Yeah, as long as you know what you're paying for. Yeah. Not stopping there, jewellery makers. Let's put a purple clock on your screens to go even lower. Is there quantity? 80 available. You have got quite a nice sort of chunky chain here, so you can e equally add to you it. could add to it, yeah. And you've got little jump rings on the end there, so you could pop whatever you wanted on. Mm, nice. What about putting your astrology sign? Yeah, or your initials. Or your initials, have yeah. them on there as well. I mean, 9 99 that's already absolutely incredible, isn't it, jewellery makers? But don't forget, coming up in the next hour, we have got your um, birthstone strand. Um, so again, you can... Um, lots of inspiration from Carol, but again, you can add to this if you wanted to. That's already a giveaway deal. You pop into Topshop, Dotty Peas, Marks mm. and Sparks, any of those places. Dotty Peas. <laughs> 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 Have you never heard it called Dotty Peas before? Dorothy Perkins. We're showing our age. Are we? Mm. It was always called Dotty it Peas, was called wasn't Dottie it? Peas, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> peacocks. There was peacocks, another one. Do you remember yeah, Peacocks? I do. Remember C and A? I loved C and A. I was Me really too. upset when it shut. I know. I always used to because we went skiing as children, and we always used to have our C and A ski suits. Ski suits. On yeah, this. yeah. I loved C and A. All those and bring them back. C and A. <laughs> did it, did did it, and that was their theme tune, wasn't it? It was. It used to be like Ski Sunday theme tune. C and A, C and A, C and A. <laughs> Uh, Four ninety nine <laughs> only jewelry makers to get hold of this absolutely beautiful genuine labradorite silver plated base metal slider bracelet and again it is a full look can you see that there so obviously you've got to open it out a little bit more but there's a charm just uh, there's a jump ring right there that yeah, you can attach can to charm. and those sliders aren't easy to come by either no, definitely and they not. They fit everybody, don't they? It's fantastic. One size fits all. One size fits all. Um, beautiful with your tassel ends. Well done, Rachel, Lynn, Maker, Beverly. Hello to you, Yorkshire, William, David. Good morning, everybody. Keep, uh, keep those messages coming through as well. Loving, loving um, your Tuesday show. Tell us what you're up to. Are you enjoying the birthday celebrations as well? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Shall we do... An endless knot. This is a little bit like um. Have you got a seam? Do you remember Welsh spoons? Mm, yes, with the twisty, intricate. Yeah, the love spoons. Yeah. That are always hand carved. Mm. It reminds me a little bit of that. This is hand carved, an endless knot, in mother of pearl. How do they do it? I would destroy that if I tried to. Me carve too. It. But it's not just the carving. It's also the shaping. Can you see? Oh, yeah. It's domed. So if you wanted to wear it, say, on the back of the wrist, it's it's kind of 
shaped to your wrist. Yeah, yeah it's not going to stick out on a ledge, is it? That's lovely. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It, do you know, again, there's, we were talking about astrology earlier on. I know this isn't quite the same thing, but you think about, like, I always say it, never ending story, the front of the mm. book. This is kind of like a Celtic inspired, a yes, little bit Macintosh so. as well. Bit pagan, yeah, definitely mystical. And again, carved out of a natural mother of pearl. Um, beautiful. All day long at 49.99. But because it is our 14th birthday, shall we do a brand new low? Yes. A close out deal? Yes yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Minute clock at the end of this 60 seconds. Oh my goodness, wow. really? Get Should we take it basket. under 20? Get it in your basket. <laughs> Under twenty pounds. I mean, you could literally just put a bale There's on that. There's so much you? you can do. You can just put a bale. All of these little openings you can put threads through, and you yeah. can macrame, you can cream a hem over it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Pinch bale. Yep. Jump ring. Yep. Knot. Macrame onto. You can even make onto. it into some sort of beautiful hair decoration. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. Especially yeah, with like against your dark hair, hair, that would be lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. Oh, yeah, like a hairpin. Mm. You know, like Just at the moment. the top of them. Oh, look, yeah. In the middle of a tiara, yeah, that's a yeah. wonderful idea. Oh, like know? a, yeah, like a, a summer, midsummer tiara. Very nice. Beautiful. Do you know I'm seeing lots of brides and also like at the races and things like that where they've got the, um, it's quite 1920s, I think, where they've actually got the kind of, they've got the way The netting yeah, and then the across net it. Oh, yeah. You can have that across there too. Lovely. £19.99 and pence only, jewellery makers, to get hold of genuine, natural mother of pearl, beautifully hand-carved into this endless knot. Amazing. That's brilliant. It really is, isn't it? I've got visions of birdcage veils now with that on top. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't mm. it? Where you've kind of got like yeah. the shape to... I yes, guess. and it just sort of sits over. And oh, then the voile. Gorgeous. Is it voile or like a net? It's, it's veil netting. It literally comes over the top. Mm. So elegant, that look, yeah. I think. Um, you want to see the thickness? Yes, no problem. There you go. So you're talking about about um, a couple of a couple of millimetres in terms of its actual thickness. And again, you've got that beautiful iridescence on the interior as well. I might need this. Yeah, I can see you wearing yeah, that. I would you like wear I it in the hair? Yes, I would. Definitely. Very nice. And I might even stitch it onto a hat. Like oh, nice. Mm. What about with a trilby? Yes, very smart. You could wear it on a trilby, couldn't oh. you? Oh, well, now I need five, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Lynn's multi buying. You won't be alone, see, no, Carol. Trisha's multi buying. Karen and Sue and William and Rhonda. Morning, everybody. We've still got such an amazing amount to squeeze in between now um and uh this afternoon the end of this afternoon show and um, you've got a meter long length of your birthstone strands coming your way i mean that's absolutely incredible um 300 of those available shall we pop another balloon says roscoe not me do i have to ross can you do it <laughs> can you pop it or, or or dan pop it yeah go on dan we are scared of cats. I, I I don't like balloons. I find them. Oh, <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I don't even stab. What, what does that mean? Fiver PTB. Pop the oh, balloon. Oh, right. I sense. see. Five pounds for the first ten customers. Fiver PTB. <laughs> PTB that makes us 15 pounds that's all right isn't it very good not too bad for the first 10 customers as well <laughs> pop the balloon pop the balloon pop the balloon minute clock as well we're gonna go again wow so not only do you get a fiver off if you're one of the first 10 customers that is we're gonna go even lower jewelry makers have it have it entered into the discount code ready poise 
Poised. Poised. And in actual fact, you know, if you checked it out, you still get this, the on-air price. So yes. it doesn't matter. Yes. So just put the discount code in straight away. Nothing gets debited until the end of the... No, it all just goes at midnight, doesn't it? All it all goes at midnight, so it doesn't make, make any difference, does it? Mm. Amazing! Joy makers, we are going even lower. I so am in love with this. Whether you check out now, I would, because then you get the discount code. Yeah. Have all, have all the other discounts been used as well? Because someone can try this one too. Oh, yeah, that might sound I know the again. £50 one has, but have you used the 20 quid pop? Try all these. Give them a try. Well, that means technically, if we were to stay here, we owe you a penny. <laughs> Better buy something technically. else. So if I get the Fiverr PTB, it's a £10 opportunity, basically. It's amazing. Um, it's carved. Wow. Yeah. Hand carved for that beautiful mother of pearl. Linda, Davinia, Lynn, uh, A in Cheshire, Patricia. Text in if you've got any of these discount codes. Yeah. You know, our suffering. Let's hope, you know, let's see, <laughs> let's see that somebody Make it is worthwhile. benefiting. Yeah. <laughs> our suffering, hopefully, is benefiting you. <laughs> I just find them so odd, balloons. I've become accustomed to these. I've become more and more yes, relaxed. because they don't do anything no, strange. No, they just stay there. stay there. That's fine. Yeah. Although, can we just for a second... Look, look, look. That is really odd. <laughs> oh, there's confetti <laughs> falling out of it now. <laughs> it, it is just so <laughs> peculiar, isn't it? <laughs> Aren't they? Look. All right. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I oh. find them really odd. They are Little odd. bags of puff. I don't mind them just sitting there. It's when they explode <laughs> in my face I get upset. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Try the discount codes as well. Yes. Give them a try. We know that the uh, te and text in if you get them. Uh, hello to you, Rachel. I got twenty pounds. Thank you, jewelry makers. Yeah, well done. Amazing. Um, okay, there's a beautiful floral coin. Is oh yeah, oh I like this one too. That's pretty. Now amazingly, this launched at that's beautiful, isn't it? Is, it isn't it pretty? Like marguerites. Now I need both of them. Yeah. Well, today's the day to do it, Carol, it because just? actually we're going to go half price. Amazing. And you mm. never know, if you got the Fiverr PTB yeah. or the 20 quid pop, you ain't doing bad, are you? No. So, but and again, remember, cool. nothing is taken from your account straight away. So if you check out using that discount code, it'll be deducted at the end. Mm. Does that make sense? It's deducted at the end. So just add the 20 quid pop or the Fiverr PTB and it's all sorted out at the end of it. So amazing. Loving that. Just so you know, they are. Yeah, this one's marginally bigger. Marginally bigger. Again, totally natural mother of pearl. Hand carved as well. They're so versatile. And, oh, what about earrings? Yeah, statement earrings. They'd be very nice in earrings. Um, we've got a bigger quantity of these jewellery makers. 50 in total. Just over in actual fact. Half the price. We've only ever closed here at 29.99 Today. A <gasps> brand new low price. Oh my. I think I know. I'm, uh, yeah. Oh yes. They would be lovely earrings, wouldn't they? Because Mother yeah. of Pearl's nice and lightweight, isn't it? And it catches it? the light, yeah. In fact, you'd have three and have a matching pendant. Ooh, lovely. Mm. Yeah, they'd really work. Could it be a ring? Yeah, why not? I don't see why not. Yeah, loving that. No, Marion, one, two, the vineyard's probably going for the sweet look. I shall be adorning my hair with them. Yeah? <laughs> um, yeah, they'd be lovely in hair, in the hair. I'm very taken with them, can you tell? Well, make sure you're checking out your baskets. I did have a bigger quantity of these. Yeah, they'd be pretty, wouldn't they? Because mm. would you sew it in some kind of silk or into a hat or into a hairpin? You could. I mean, even just like a crocodile clip on the back, couldn't you? And then you can pop yeah. it on. Just glue wherever. it. Yeah. 
Literally glue it. Well done, everybody. And again, try your discount code. So Fiverr PTB for the first 10 customers. That's five pound off. Um, and try 20 quid pop. I don't know if, if, if that was for five customers. And we've got more big balloons to pop. Yay. Oh, Poor Bella. She's looking. Are you all right, darling? You're a good girl. She's a good girl. <laughs> She's a little girl. She's like, what are those loud noises? Why do you keep exploding things over She's my wagging mommy? her tail, though. She's pretty <laughs> She's happy. She's all right. As long as she can see where we are, she's fine. She's fine. Bless her. Um, do stay where you are. No, don't go anywhere, because coming up after the break, we have got lovely Carol's amazing masterclass, Yay. of which you get instructions as well. Lots of instructions this time. Wow. Photographed and also uh, written. Yep. Written out. And that's two. What's your masterclass going to be on? It is on the necklace with the astro sign and the little birthstone attached to it. And it's an illusion necklace. Very so nice. So all this how to attach. Amazing. Around here. And then a little extended chain and charm at the back. Oh, very nice. Now you get a full meter of your birthstones. I do. And it's been on pre or it's on pre-order now don't go anywhere your wall of fame's coming up as well jewelry makers we'll see you after this hello jewelry makers happy 14th birthday i remember the first day um i was a little bit younger not as old looking and lots of things have gone on since then but you've stuck with us thank you so much it's been an incredible 14 years here's some many more we've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks not week two weeks um so stay tuned and i'll see you there happy birthday Hi Jewellery Maker, happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains and make sure you save me some cake. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Jewellery Maker! Make sure you join us this coming Wednesday on Jewelry Maker. It's still our 14th birthday and we've got the most amazing show for you. We've got a gemstone tumbler. We've got Dave joining us with the launch of the most insane cashmere aquamarine. And we've also got a brand new book launch. All of that and competitions and games throughout the show. We'll see you then. Hi everyone, Andy here from Hobby Maker. I'm very proud to tell you that Sewing Street, Hobby Maker and Jewelry Maker are launching their first crafting weekend in conjunction with Craftopia. Taking place on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in our hometown of Redditch. What you can expect from the weekend is four workshops featuring four of your favorite crafting experts. From Hobby Maker, we have Sandra Rushton, who'll be focusing on an introduction to Zantangling. We have Carla Bagshaw, who'll be introducing us to the world of thermal cinching and bookbinding and all things American crafts. From Sewing Street, we have Wendy Orlando. She'll be introducing you to hand sewing with a couple of projects that you can make along and take with you. And from Jewelry Maker, we have Debbie Kershaw, who'll be guiding you through how to make your own jewelry that you can make and take away with you. The workshops are a huge part of the weekend, but what's also included are all of your meals, your accommodation, all of the extra elements that we have planned for you, including the legendary Saturday night dinner. Well, not only will it be a three course meal, it will also include a craft raffle and also a craft quiz as well. There's another reason to join us for the weekend because we also have an exclusive 20% discount for everyone who attends that you can use across any of the Gempora Craft websites. So that's Hobby Maker, Sewing Street, or Jewelry Maker. So make sure you join us for what is a limited edition experience at the Abbey Hotel Golf and Spa here in Redditch on Saturday the 25th of May and Sunday the 26th of May. I hope to see you there. Join us for two weeks of pure enchantment as we celebrate Jewelry Maker's 14th birthday in style. Indulge in the allure of our exquisite new gemstone launches, experience the brilliance of our esteemed guest designers and their unparalleled vision and expertise with exclusive masterclasses. 
and mark your calendars for a special occasion. On the 4th, we're extending our hours, giving you even more time to immerse yourself in the celebration. Embrace the magic and let your creativity sparkle as we toast to 14 years of elegance and innovation on Jewelry Maker. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Thanks to all the customers for all your support over the years, and here's to many more. Happy 14th birthday, Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for bringing us all the joy and all the sparkles every day. Happy birthday, Jewelry Maker. Sending you lots and lots of love and all my best wishes for many, many more birthdays in the future. Welcome back, everybody. Where's today gone? It's gone so fast. It's been fun. It has been lots fun. And lots of fun. And we've got all, we've still got more fun. We've got two more massive balloons. <laughs> I said it's almost a shame to pop those, though. They, they, you know, they, if you're a balloon lover, they're quite impressive. They're very elegant. Yeah, they're like all the little sparkles. Yeah, little lots inside. Of sparkles. <laughs> um, Adam likes balloons. Right, let's let's start with the Wall of Fame jewellery makers because we've got some fabulous creations to show Ooh. off. Um, do you want to start? Mm, I like Take it away. this one. So this is Janine Ward, or Jean Ward, you are four, five, six. It says, hi all, happy birthday, JM. It's my birthday too, so I'm hoping for a win. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jean. Here is my entry into the Wall of Fame, a hand-knotted pearl and garnet necklace with magnetic clasp all from JM, of course. My second attempt at knotting, so be nice. It's not wow. bad. <laughs> for 74, lol. Good luck to everyone, much love. I think it's gorgeous. Gene, that's amazing, I love it. Isn't it beautiful? I love the asymmetry of it as well. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Very nice, Jean. Right, good luck. Um, sticking with beautiful pearls, I have number 457 from Teresa Ellis. Hello to you, Teresa. And she says, hi all at Jewelry Maker. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet I made for myself for what would have been uh, my Ruby wedding anniversary on May the 5th. Um, as I've had an angel Aww. husband for the past 20 years. Bless you, Teresa. Um, it's made from shell pearls, ruby, faceted coins, spaces, and findings all from Jewelry Maker. Wishing you all a very happy birthday and thank you for all the laughs and the inspiration. Oh, that's Teresa, that's absolutely beautiful, darling. Sending you lots of love. You're number 457. I hope you enjoy your bracelet. Yes. This is very chic. This is number 458 from Linda Jones. It says, my entry this week is an earring and pendant set made with gold-plated caged pearls wow. and gold-plated findings. All components, including the box, are from JM. Made for my sister's 70th birthday next week. Hope you like it. Lucky sister. Very pretty. Loving that. Very nice. Um, again, I've got an amazing piece from Nancy. Hello to you, Nancy. You are number 459. Uh, good morning, Jewelry Maker crew. Happy birthday and thank you all for the beautiful um, gems um, you have brought us over the year. Uh, much appreciated. This is my take on Debbie's Russian Spiral. Good luck to all. Nancy, that's absolutely that's gorgeous. Loving that. You're 459. 460 is Margaret Gibson. She says, this week's entry is a set of rose gold pear-shaped earrings made using an EF coloured enamelled base with a layer of dried flowers followed by a couple of layers of wow. resin. Thanks to JM for brilliant 14th birthday celebrations and good luck to all the fellow waffers. Wow, that's a lot of work. Very nice. Loving those. Goodness me. Beautiful. I have number 461, which is from Tracy Austin. Hello to you, Tracy. Um, look at this. 
Wow. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Um, hello to all the Jewelry Maker family. Please find my Wall of Fame entry. It's a necklace comprising of freshwater pearls and one of my many jadeite double carvings set in a Ratnakiri Zircon Sterling Silver pendant mount. Oh, I know the ones. They're beautiful. <laughs> Um, the carvings are mesmerizing. Loving the Jewelry Maker 14th birthday. So here's to many more. Much love and best wishes to everybody. Tracy, that's gorgeous. Great photography as well. Beautiful. Yeah. Loving that. You're 461. All right. I've got 462, which is Barry Austin. Happy birthday, JM. Please find attached my Wall of Fame entry for this week. It's a memory bangle made with 11 O's and 8 O's seed beads, tiny mint green shell pearls and yellow bicones. They're nice, refreshing colours. Keep up all the excellent work you do and stay safe. Look at that colour combination. Very nice. I've just realised as well, Tracy and Barry. Oh. I'm assuming anyway. Oh, maybe I they've got assuming. a craft room together. Maybe. <laughs> um, these are beautiful from Jackie Davis. Jackie, you're number 460. Three. Um, hi Ola, Jewelry Maker, here's my entry for this week's WAF. It's a pair of silver plated earrings Ooh. with sea beads and black spinel. Oh, I love All spinel. All products are from Jewelry Maker. Hope you like them. We certainly we do. do. Beautiful. And the last wow. one I've got is number 464 from Mariana. Hi, all lovely jewellery makers. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame featuring a stunning Queen Conch rounds from JM. I used them for a knotted necklace with a beautiful Queen Conch pendant which was purchased from Gymporia. The gorgeous pink box is also from JM. Good luck, everyone. Amazing. Beautiful. Loving that. Oh, we had Queen Conch yesterday yeah, as well. It's gorgeous. Isn't so it? pretty. Speaking of gorgeous, we have. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Adam's like, do you want me to come out? He's feeling gorgeous. I mean, you what we call you handsome Adam. <laughs> we do call you handsome Adam. Now, how amazing is this opportunity? I, I have never seen the strand of all birthstones. So mm. let's go through it, shall we? Because yeah. we've got Start 300 the of these available. Of course, you get your masterclass as well. But let's show you from literally 300 of these. These have been, you know, we always discuss the fact that a lot of our birthday opportunities take like a year mm, to, to, to actually together, purchase yeah. and put together. This would have been one of those because it's not just a case of, oh, I want, hello, yes, I'd like all the birthstones, <laughs> please. It's not that simple. A, we want to make sure we get you the best quality of each and every single one of those. B, we want to make sure we can give it to you at the best possible price tag. And they've got to be transported from all different locations around the yeah, world. Yeah, brought together. And faceted in the same cutting house you know, of the same quality. So it's not just a case of, we'll have some of those, some of those, some of those, some of those, <laughs> and we'll put them all in a big pick -a mix You can't, because they wouldn't look the same. No. Nope. So here we go, from end to end, starting with January, you have your garnets, which then beautifully almost ombre into your amethyst for February. Then for March, you have your aquamarine. I love those. Beautiful, aren't they? They are gorgeous. For April, which is diamond. Oh, I'm in April. Now, instead of diamond, because that would massively that would bump up the price pricey. tag, yes. we bring you the finest clear quartz. Oh, pretty, pretty. So from April to May, we have beautiful emeralds. From May to June, you can have pearls or you can have moonstone. Um, from June to July, you have your ruby. From Ruby to August, you have Peridot. From August to September, you have Sapphire. From Sapphire, sorry, from September to October, you have your Tourmaline. And from t uh, October to November, you have Citrine. Yeah. And from November to December, you have your Tanzanite. It's a bit special, isn't it? The geography of this entire metre long length strand. There's Look at the so quality. Many. Yeah, absolutely amazing quality. I had to separate all mine and put them in little boxes by colour. I don't colour. blame you. <laughs> I don't blame but you. There's loads. 
And do you know, on each of your designs, I mean, I'm looking at your little amethyst earrings mm. there. There's, there's what, six stones in total? Yeah, there's six stones on those earrings. And I think tiny little stones with massive impact. And because they catch the light as well. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you can do a ton with this because you there can. are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Well, talk us through each of, um, each of your designs here. So, we have got the little amethyst earrings here, which are just black wrapped loops on a little bit of chain. Mm. And then we've got a matching bracelet here, That's pretty. which is just amethyst drops all the way around. And then down at the front, there is a moonstone and tanzanite, because I got fancy and I wanted to start mixing them up. Moonstone and tanzanite mm. um, ring on memory wire. Then there's this peacock pearl and garnet wrapped ring that are put together. Very nice. There is a set of green duster earrings. So I'm loving those. Peridot like and emeralds, yeah. They're gorgeous. And I'm, I'm, I love them with these, with the microfilament. So the, all you see is the stone and yeah. not the thread. And then this one's yours. So Which is what you're going to be demonstrating as well and what you yes. get the instructions with. So this is your masterclass that you get the instructions with. Um, and it, um, so this beautifully double sided as well, written by yours truly, by lovely Carol. So it comes with your purchase. It's available upon dispatch. We've got two more balloons to pop. Let's do them now so that you can use those those discount codes in this auction. Fantastic. That makes sense, oh, doesn't it? Oh, that's great, yes. Go on then, Lauren. Oh, hang on. We go. Oh, you come around here. Okay. <laughs> Yay. All right, Bella. Brace yourself. Ready? <laughs> oh, it's so loud. <laughs> So loud. Ooh, ten a pop. Ten a pop. Money. <laughs> I know. Ten a pop, Ooh. ten a pop, ten a pop. Ten pound for the first wow. five customers. Use that and... I didn't scream. <laughs> Where's the gum? Where's the gum? There must be a code. It's not behind me, is it? <laughs> oh, what's that one? Lauren's literally just like, oh, oh she's lost. There. there it is. <laughs> there it is. Um, right, Lauren, thank you. What have we got? 14 pounds for five. Wow. That's good, isn't That's it? That's well worth so having. Enter them into your, into your discount codes, yeah. Jewelry Makers, and carry on shopping. So look, you can only use one for each of you. So obviously try the 14 first and then try the 10 up. Fantastic. A minute on screen. And that is to open the graphics for the metre long length strands oh. um, of beautiful birthstones. They're lovely, aren't they? I would do what you've done, Carol. I would literally just decant them all. Yes. I think when you cut the strand, otherwise you risk mixing them up, don't you? And I, I just got a bit sort of obsessively tidy about it all and sorted them into little pots. But you don't have to use them as birthstones either, do you? I just really no. like rubies, so I might just have some ruby jewellery. Oh, well, just because. Just because, you know, Just because you can, <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, this is the thing, I'm, and I've loved how today everything's really worked alongside one yes. another, hasn't it? Yeah, there's you lots know, of options and possibilities. Yeah, the, the astrological uh, um, signs alongside the initials, yeah. alongside the birthstone. Birth um, yeah. So, look, £14.45. Or ten a pop. Wow. I know. There you go. Try these those discount great codes. Discounts. They really are. They really. And I don't know if all of these are being used, so I would definitely no, give them knows? a whirl. I'd give twenty quid pop a whirl. I'd give five a PTB. <laughs> I nothing like continuity with our discount <laughs> codes. Um I know that pop fifty's been used, so I know that one unbelievable deal coming your way so alongside this jewelry makers you do get your um carol's amazing instructions but again look at the quality of the stones this is one of our main purchases for the birthday jewelry maker um i think it's almost obligatory like a tradition you know that um jewelry maker birthday we have to do a birthstone size. yeah now we have 300 available opportunities. That might sound like a massive quantity, but let me tell you, in JM history, this strand, we have sold over a thousand of. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. No, it's beautiful. It is one of our most popular strands that we bring to air. 
So you can see January and February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September and October, November and December. I mean, we've done strands like this individually of each of those. Mm. Use your discount codes. Give them a try. You don't have to have the items to the equivalent value within your basket just yet. If you check it out, or check out an item if you like, um, and then carry on shopping, then obviously it gets deducted at the end of the day. Yep. That's the trick. Um, we've got 300, which might seem like masses. Let's not forget as well, jewelry makers, you do get you know, extensive instructions, and I always say, Carol, these take a long time to do. They do take a long time to do, but I think it's a really useful thing for people to have because yeah. sometimes you need a new idea or you forget a technique, so well worth having. They do, and we forget. We were saying, Debs and I, yesterday, like sometimes you forget the simplest technique, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. If you don't do it for a while, yeah, then you just need a little reminder, yeah. don't you? Yeah, you've got that constant reference. Okay, we're at £99.99, and pence, which if you do the maths... 99.99 divided by 12, Ross. Yeah. What, eight pounds? That eight? That's eight pound per birthstone. Wow. What, eight pound for a load of rubies and eight pound for a load of emeralds? Yeah. Eight pounds for a load of sapphires. And tanzanite. Oh my. An amazing citrine, etc., etc. Okay, so Ross says for easier maths then, Al. Yeah. He says, how about per birthstone? How about five pounds each? Wow. Gosh, that's very good, isn't it? Four rubies and tanzanite, sapphires. A moonstone, a moonstone, an emerald. I mean, I'm, I, do you citrine. know what I love? I think the citrine's my favourite. I think that peridot is beautiful. Yeah, they're all amazing, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. A full metre long length strand. We're at five pound per birthstone. And you know what, if you're one of these, yeah. 14 pound for five, or your ten a pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's even less, isn't it? So give those a go. We have 300 available opportunities. Not for long, I imagine. No. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Just casually, loosely, tussled. Okay, let's start working towards your birthday deal. And we could stop there, couldn't we? Very easily. Five pound per section. How about instead of working it out to 12 birthstones, how about we work it out to 10 and say five pound per section? Two for free. Brilliant. Have your citrine. And uh, no, it's have your yeah, citrine and your tan tonight for free. It's not bad, is it? It's amazing. I want to jumble them all up into like a big rainbow piece. Oh, lovely. Yeah. That'd be beautiful. Mm. Um and and again, can I just show you how organised <laughs> these are? You know, just literally, if you're doing things like your um birthstones alongside your astrological signs and your initials, just popping them into nice little pots like this. So you could, you've always got that go-to and you can put them up the, the label months on them. the front. Yeah. Amazing. I Amazing. To make a rainbow. It's made me, they've made me wear my rainbow ring just looking at them. Oh, yes. I just think if you put them all together, they're so pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Um, we had 300. Judith, Angela, Cynthia, Chantal, Mary, Renfusha, Cheshire, Lynn, uh, Ruth, Kent, Joan, Arthur, Lynn, and Daniel, Jean, Cheshire, Derbyshire, well done to you. Uh, to you all, Leslie, Lydia in Pennsylvania, Buckinghamshire, Katie in Powys, Angela. So many of you getting involved, lovely jewelry makers. A vision of colour, a bouquet of colour. A minute clock on your screens, jewelry makers. Absolutely beautiful. It's a full metre, not 38 centimetre strand, no, which would have still been cool. It's going to keep you going for a while. Mm. I mean, I've made like, quite a lot of pieces of jewellery here, and I've still got. Masses. What, three quarters left <laughs> yeah well they're faceted three millimeter rounds and yeah. i've said this so many times before it's like you know that small size that delicate size mm. still packs a punch doesn't it especially with the colors yeah, yeah. And the twinkle and then it just goes on forever loving that recording ads yeah it's nice amazing 
Um, 49 pounds, 99 pence, but going even lower. There was 300, you might think that that seems like a, a big quantity. Over a thousand of these, over a few uh, auction opportunities have flown. They are incredibly popular because it goes back to the whole conversation of personalization, doesn't yes. it? And imagine if you give somebody um, just a, a pendant that you've yeah. made with their star sign, their initial and their birthstone, they're not going to think, oh, she just bought anything. No, they? she forgot my birthday. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. Is... Today, jewellery makers, the metre long length strand Wait, 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 wait. Start the beginning of the year. <laughs> £2.50 for your January. That's ridiculous, isn't <laughs> that it? That is ridiculous. £2.50. Oh, my days. £2.50. Wow. £2.50 for aquamarine. £2.50. £2.50 for emerald. Seriously? £2.50 for your moonstone, £2.50 for your ruby, £2.50 for your peridot, £2.50 for your sapphire, £2.50 for your tourmaline, £2.50 for your citrine, £2.50 <laughs> for tanzanite. I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny. I would we had, stack up. Yeah, yeah, we had the founder of Gemporia on our channel bringing an amazing tanzanite deal. I bet it wasn't £2.50. Yeah, no, I bet it wasn't. I bet it wasn't. <gasps> Seriously? I would and just fill up my stash with these because you're going to use them forever and ever. Of course you are. Three mils are like little melee yeah. diamond size, aren't they? So Absolutely. you can use them um, to, to complement other gemstones. Don't forget to give this a try. And do text in if you use the, if you got the code. So try £14 for five. Because £14 off for the first five customers. So make sure you try that. It's basically half price then. Isn't it pretty much? That's nice. That's a very and, nice and, and at the very least, give this a try. Ten a pop. Ten pound off for the first five customers. That's all right, isn't it? It's brilliant. We also brought this one too, which I don't know if it's been used up yet. Twenty quid pop. Give them all a whirl. You might as well. It's worth a go, isn't it? Definitely worth a go. Wow, these are some great codes. Amazing. So £5 for your garnet. Mm. £5 for your amethyst. £5 for... Sorry, sorry. £2.50. Mm-hmm. Bargain. It is, would you agree? Very much so. Um, Roscoe, where have we had to travel? <laughs> Tanzania, Brazil, Mozambique, Zambia... India, China, Madagascar, Tanzania. Yeah. Wow. Just the geography wow, of it. got the world on a strand. It, how exciting yes. is that? <laughs> and how about your plane ticket mm. is not even £2.50. Crikey. We are spoiling everybody. So we can bring you the one locational gemstone of Tanzania for less than £2.50 today. No way. You get the idea? <laughs> we are going even lower. This does make no sense. It's absolutely... I'll tell you, I tell you what, let's make sense of it. It's our birthday. Yep. It does take us years to put together opportunities like this. That's why I quite flippantly said, you know, it's not a case of, oh, hello, amazing gemstone suppliers. Can you bring us a meter long length strand of, 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 um, of gemstones, your birthstones, please? Which are always popular. Yep. And plus, if you buy them in the month that they are. Yes. So if you buy if you buy amethyst in per, in in February, if you buy ruby in July, they're more expensive. Mm -hmm. So buying them. yeah. And to say that we're going lower than two pound fifty is just madness. But we are. It will go perfectly alongside your astro astrology sign. Sorry, I had to say that slowly. It would go not um, <laughs> not astronomy. Very different. Um, <laughs> it'll go beautifully alongside as well your amazing uh, initial pendants and you get the tutorial as well jewelry makers 24 pounds and 99 pence i don't know anywhere else on this planet that can do this that is a bonkers price what's that working out at ross 
next to nothing. That's what that is. Amazing. We two pound eight p. <gasps> Each section. Yeah. Wow. Just, just, just so it sinks in. Two pound eight p tanzanite. Two pound eight p for your garnet. Two pound eight p for your amethyst. Two pound eight p for your amazing aquamarine. Two pound eighty. Sorry, eight p. Uh, for your clear quartz, two pound eight p for your emerald, two pound eight p for your moonstone, two pound eight p for your ruby, two pound eight p for your peridot, two pound eight p for your sapphire, two pound eight p for your tourmaline, two pound eight p for your citrine, two pounds eight p for <laughs> tanzanite jewelry makers. They are flying out the door. It's a full metre long length strand. And again, give your um, discount codes a whirl. Yep. Yeah, Don't go. forget, you also get the instructions. You know our sister channel, Sewing Street? Mm -hmm. They're £10. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, ours are free. They're free. You get them free with this purchase. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. And well worth having. You can Amazing. put them all together in a folder, can't you? Oh, yeah, I would definitely be printing them all off. And they're available upon dispatch of your order. So um, it'll, if you go to your order, your order history, it'll say print download. Yes, it's download content, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, and then print it off and you'll be uh, you'll be away. Any questions that you have for Carol, do text in. We are live here in the studio. Um, take it away. No, okay. Oh, don't, don't, don't take, take it away. away, says Ross. You got all quiet. What do you mean? What? He says, hell, there's 165 people with it in their <laughs> baskets. Okay, hang on, do that maths. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me find, think of something that's like about that price. Can you get a chocolate bar? Some. Some. How about if I said you could get your birthstone months? Uh, for about the price of a loaf of bread. It is, isn't it? That is crackers. It is madness, that, that is isn't it? Absolutely bonkers. A loaf of bread's about one pound sixty, would you say now? I mean, that's the depends on the bread. Not very fancy bread, isn't it? No. Oh, you want posh bread? You mm, go, yeah, you're going up more. somewhat. You want a few sunflower seeds, do you? Right, double, <laughs> double it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's one pound sixty six. Per section. £1.66. And we're, precious we're, stones. We're, we're, wow. we're, we're missing something pretty crucial here. You also get. The tutorial as well. It took me hours. I bet it did. <laughs> I bet it did. This is madness. We over half the stock has gone, jewelry makers. We had 300. How are we doing, Roscoe? Okay, yeah. We're rapidly approaching yeah. the final third. Rapidly. Any questions you have for Carol, do text in, jewellery makers. Yep. Um, take it away, my take darling. Take it away. I'll keep you updated on the quantities. So, we are going to look at how I've made the illusion necklace. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the mother of pearl charm we looked at. And then I've added a birthstone and then done the illusion up here. So, the first thing you need to do is a little bit scary, but what I did was I've drilled a hole in my Mother of Pearl charm. Now, there are ways and ways to do this. <laughs> yeah. So, obviously, you need to put it on a little bit of board because you don't want to be scratching your dining table. Um, but one really good tip is to take a piece of masking tape and stick it over and stick it oh, down to your board. Then it can't wiggle around when you're drilling yeah. it. And that also means you can then mark on it with a pencil exactly where you want to drill. Now what you want to do when you're choosing where to drill is make sure you're not going to drill over where the drill hole for your thread already is. Uh -huh. So you need to pick a separate bit and you need to pick a bit that's quite chunky as well because obviously you don't want it to snap when you drill. Um, I just did mine with a normal Dremel 
I think I used a 0.8 millimeter drill bit. It depends on the size of the head pin that you're going to use. But essentially you want to make sure that you're drilling absolutely straight down. So no wiggling side to side, because obviously you'll end up with a bigger hole and keep taking it out and checking how deep you've got. And you want to go about three quarters of the way through. So if I turn that over, you see I haven't come out of the other side. The hole is just in this side here. So that is the scariest bit of the whole project. And after that, it becomes super easy. So I've taken a head pin and I've added in this case a peridot, but any one of the, the little gemstones on the strand will do. Um, you may obviously want to match it to the astrological sign that you're doing. And what we're going to do is cut down this head pin so that it fits exactly into that hole. And again, it's, it's kind of an iterative process. You take off a bit, you see whether it's short enough, and just keep trying it in that little hole until it's exactly the right length. And what you end up with is that the gemstone is sitting right against the mother of pearl. So you get a nice close connection there. So just keep shortening tiny, tiny, tiny bits until it fits. And then what you do is you pop a bit of glue into that hole, a little bit of glue onto the end of your head pin and glue it into the hole um, and let it dry. And that is the hardest bit of the whole project. So imagine that your stone is now glued into there and what you're gonna do is put it onto an illusion style piece. So here's one that I have started. It is microfilament and it is just a load of, in this case, again, peridot, spacer beads, and then your usual clasps and the like. So I've put a bolt ring clasp here. I've connected it with a clamp, a uh, crimp, and I've put a crimp cover over the top just with my pliers. And then the way that we add these beads so that it's invisible, some people do it with crimps, um, but obviously you can see those. So the way I like to do it is with glue. So I get to the point where I want to put my next bead and I like to use glue with a brush because I can direct it, but you don't have to. You could use an orange stick or the end of a, a file or anything like that. And I put a little blob of glue where I want my bead to go to, just on the microfilament. And then I slide it down and then if you're very, very careful, if you can put glue on the microfilament, but either side of the bead, you can see it just start to disappear up through the drill hole of the bead. And that will hold it nice and secure, but invisibly. So then you've got your little clusters on here. Now, when I did the necklace, I didn't necessarily do clusters. I like to do a kind of a random pattern, so I'd do one spacer and then one gemstone, and then maybe a cluster, and maybe a different way, different order. Um, so either is fine. You can do it really organized like this peridot bracelet, or you can do it on a, on a random version like the sapphire one. So when you've got to halfway along your bracelet, you're gonna do exactly the same thing, but with your mother of pearl charm. So you're gonna put a little bit of glue on your microfilament, where you want your charm to sit. And this is just so that it's going to sit still where you place it and not slide up and down. So we feed it through and that's that. That's why it's important not to drill over the drill hole because you need it for this bit. And then again, you let your glue dry. So that sits there. And so what you do then is continue adding your beads as I say, in clusters, not in clusters. You can mix them up, you can do them all the same color, up to you, until you get to the other end of your bracelet or necklace. And then what we're gonna do is make a little extender chain because that means that it is suitable for all sizes and it's adjustable. So all you need for that is your crimp, your piece of loose chain, and your crimp cover. We don't really even need a jump ring for this because we're gonna use the chain as the fastener. So we put the microfilament in, ooh, it's alive. Put the microfilament into the crimp through the last link of the chain, back through our crimp, 
and push it right up to the top. So there it is. Now we can adjust how long we want that to be. So I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to pinch it with my chain nose pliers. And now I quite like to fold it in half and I don't have crimping pliers. I just use my chain nose and my round nose pliers. And what I tend to do is fold it in half So it's got a little bend in the middle and then pinch it so that it's folded fully in half and nice and tight and nothing can escape that way. Do it again. So take it into the middle, fold it in half and then squash it flat. So at this point you can add a bit of glue if you want to, if you're nervous about it, the crimp should be enough. So we're going to snip off our excess microfilament there. That's nicely attached. Then we can add our crimp cover, which again, I do with the chain nose pliers. You really don't need very many tools for this project either. It's kind of something you could do on the move almost because you don't need to carry lots of things. So I squeeze my crimp cover around the crimp just to cover everything up, keep it neat and tidy. There we go, tidy that up. You would obviously take longer over this than me, but for demo purposes. So that's attached on now. Now, if you want to do what I've done on the necklace, you can use the extender chain to add yet another stone. So you'd have your clasp there, you do it up into your chain, and then you would just use another head pin and a wrapped loop to add a final little charm onto the end of there like this one so this one's done on silver and with a sapphire and that finishes your project so it's really simple you can do it with tiger tail you can do it with microfilament you could do it with very bright beading cord if you wanted it to be obvious you could mix and match your colors and mix and match your stones amazing loving that Thank you. I'm loving the fact like literally looks like they're floating. I dare and from a distance you genuinely can't see yeah. that they're attached to something. And I particularly like it on the earrings yeah. as well, where you you know they just hang either side of your face from a distance. It just looks like sparkly like little colours. Yeah. Like it's raining emeralds. Raining emeralds. Oh, in, I mean, in that your ears. Would, yeah, wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> I love it. And you only use a handful of them uh, as well. You don't use many stones. You don't use many tools. It's actually a really accessible project. And, you know, it's something you could do with kids mm -hmm. as long as you're careful with the glue. Yeah, absolutely. Well, supervise them on that, Yeah. not you? Um, amazing. Now, we have 300 of your birthstone metre long length strand. We've got about 85 left, but how many in baskets? Ooh. Okay, 172. So we um, that that does 85 or 172 into um, 85 doesn't go, does it? Um, <laughs> hello to you, Angela in West Midland saying, hi, you're loving the show. I got mine for 83p per section. Nice work, right, Angela. Because you got, you got the tenner off. What, Brilliant. so you got tenner pop? Ten a pop, well done, Angela. That's fantastic. 83p. They might keep trying. There might be a few of these discount be, codes still yeah. available. So ten, there's ten a pop. So Angela, you were one of five people. Oh, well done. There you go. There's ten a pop. Great birthday I don't know. shopping. What about what about this? Twenty quid pop. I don't know if they've all gone. It's worth a try. Definitely. Isn't it? What about this? We've had this discount code. 14 pop, well, no, 14 pounds for five, sorry. Amazing. Why do we mix them up? It is confusing. <laughs> Why couldn't we just... Oh. oh, yes, I get it. So you don't just guess them. Mm. You don't guess the discount codes. Fair right, enough. I see. Um, Fiverr, oh, P PTB, pop the balloon. How good's that? Try these. Because like, the only one I know is definitely used up is the £50 one. Yes, there could well be the others left. Bless you. There. Amazing. Give them a whirl. You never know. Angela got each of those sections of gemstones for 83p. That's brilliant. Do you know it? what, Angela? Our, our chocolate in the vending machine's more than that. 
isn't it? And if it I didn't mention come from Madagascar. <laughs> yeah. Can't get what? An iron brew? An iron brew. Hey, no, you can't. <laughs> can't you, right? You can't get a bottle, you know, one of the bottles of fizzy pop. No. Can't get one of those. If you mention chocolate and Ross is in earshot, he'll go, mmm, chocolate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you like chocolate, don't you, Ross? Go. Yeah, it is, oh. it is delicious. Have you got a, have you got a downfall? Chocolate, mm. crisps, biscuits. I'm a devil for crisps. Yeah, yeah. crisps are good. It's the crunchiness. I or know. cheese. They can't stay away from cheese. Cheese are good too. Would you, mm. are you like smelly cheese? Uh, pretty much any cheese. Any cheese, me yeah. too. I don't much like smoked cheese, but all other cheese. Oh. I'm not, see, I like, yeah, same, all cheese. Um, I could take or leave it with fruit. Yeah. I'm, like keep your cranberries out my cheese. Yeah, I find it weird that anybody puts puddings in their cheese course though. I don't, I don't, so you're know. not a cheesecake lover? No, and you know when people put like apricots with chicken and lamb and stuff, I can't do it. Oh really? Yeah. No, oh, see I'm alright with that, but I don't <laughs> I don't want cranberries in my, in my cheddar. No. I like blue cheese. Yeah, me too. Mm. 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 Yummy. We like blue anyway. cheese. <laughs> 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 I just started to the cookie master <laughs> talking about cheese. Mmm, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm scared. I want to go home. <laughs> cheese is good. Cheese is amazing. Cheese is good. It's a downfall, cheese. Yeah. Yeah, see, my husband doesn't like stinky cheese. Really? Yeah, the stinkier the better. Mm. Mm. We had a buffet the other day for our birthday um, up in the office, um, and they had some proper stinky cheese in there. Oh, lovely! Yeah, but do you know, crackers. Like, no, they no, they forgot the crackers. You just have to eat a lump of cheese. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I'm alright with that though. I can, I can, I'm okay. I'm not scared. I went not to a wedding once where the the wedding cake was whole cheese. round cheeses. Yeah, you got a, you got a piece of cheese to take home yeah. in a napkin. My sister-in-law did that. Mm. It's a great idea. It was cool. Because also you think about it. I mean, if you're not a pudding person. I don't like fruitcake. No, nah, not me. No, so I was happy with my cheese. Yeah, cheese is better. Yeah. Um, amazing. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, we've gone off on a tangent now, haven't we? <laughs> Goat's cheese, yeah, mm, your name. Yum, yum, yum. I, I, the, the only issue I have with goat's cheese is that I will literally eat a pack. Yeah, easily. And yeah. it's not cheap when it comes in those tiny little blocks, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's delicious. Um, you've, got to have um, a, you've got to have a vice. <sighs> anyway, sorry, is me wittering <laughs> on about cheese. <gasps> um, Roscoe, did you want me to play something? Olmec, yeah, let's do that. Still, I've got five available opportunities. Okay, this is, um, yeah, silly price tag for a gemstone that quite literally is not being mined at the moment. Oh, this um, is It's not nice. that it's run out. It hasn't run out. However, it's much, uh, a much smaller scale operation than that of your Burmese jade that we had uh, um, for 800 years, no longer coming from the ground. Um, but this is not being mined because they have recently just discovered an ancient Mayan mask. You can't mess with those. Definitely not. So obviously that's a, of huge importance mm. historically. Now we have five available opportunities. Try your discount codes, jewelry makers. Give them a whirl. This wonderful, rare, natural teal blue. Try property pink. <laughs> <laughs> Bibbidi Bob 14. <laughs> Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. <laughs> Bibbidi Beep Bop. Try all of those. <laughs> Um, ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, Roscoe. Wow, amazing! That's already like with a discount code, doesn't it? it? Is it me that just feels that way? Looks like it. I've only got five available, Marishka. You've got yours. Well done, lovely. Um, I've got four of them left. Again, absolutely beautiful. So. When we went to Hong Kong at the beginning of this year, which, gosh, as if it's May now. Yeah. Um, so what was that? A couple of months ago, there was no, they didn't see any Guatemalan jade. Really? No Guatemalan Just jade. Just not for sale? No. Goodness. No. 
So are the locations of jade, but no Guatemalan jade. Goodness me. It's a much, much, much smaller mining operation than that of Burma. Mm. So you know, like they had 800 years or with Khotan, they had 10,000 yeah, yeah. years. Not gonna have that same window with this location. And it's only there that actually produces your beautiful teal color. I love that, that color. It's lovely, it's isn't it? It's beautiful. Do you know what, it's reminding me a little bit of our kind of uh, 14th birthday. Yes, of our deco. Look. Our deco. It's amazing, isn't it? A bit it's art beautiful. deco. Um, well done. Well done, well done. Shall we do finale deal? Oh. Some beautiful neon appetite. This is an amazing strand. Uh, this colour always catches me. I just adore it. We believe, Carol, that 2024, 2025 is going to be the year of appetite. I think you might be right. Mm. It's so unusual, isn't it? And everybody loves teal. You don't meet people who don't like teal very no. often. What's not to love? It's like a tropical destination. Yeah. Amazing. Um, these are beautiful four millimetre rounds. Um, if I had the time, obviously, I would reference place uh, Cat Florence, who uses this in her high-end jewellery. Lots of big designers who gravitate towards uh, Neon Appetite because it has got. If you love, if you love the beauty of Pareva Tourmaline, mm -hmm. then uh, but don't have a Pareva Tourmaline budget, then this is a fantastic alternative. But we believe, and we're not not to sound arrogant. We're not often wrong in our predictions. Actually, you just start notice a stirring of popularity. Yes. Um, and sorry, I don't mean it to sound arrogant. Sorry, no, but no, but do you know, you notice when <laughs> when prices start going up <laughs> and, and and accessibility starts changing. Yeah. Um, natural appetite, I think, is going to be really expensive moving forward. Also, for your summer holiday jewelry, you know, for oh, like yes. your evening after the beach jewelry, if you put that on an illusion necklace, that Ooh. would look divine. Mm. or some pearls yeah can't beat it with pearls well i'd put pearls on everything yeah love it how many do we have roscoe 26 available opportunities we're also running out of time running out of time roscoe did he did did you did you forget about us ross never he says we're still here <laughs> Never. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's beautiful. What? Wow. Oh, that's a pretty strand. I hope there's quantity of these. Okay, I'd put them in between gemstones like your pearls. I, I think they'd think be amazing. Summer jewelry. It just yeah. screams summer skies to me. Doesn't it just? Yeah. Which is it is here, isn't it? Please let's just say it. Summer is here now, isn't it? Well, I took Bella out for her ablutions earlier and it was very sunny and warm. Was it? Yep. There you go. There you go. It's official. Yay. I'm declaring it. Yay. <laughs> Carol said so. Carol said so. Oh, Carol, it's been wonderful um, to have your company today. Oh, Thank God, you so much time. for joining Thank in. You. Um, coming up on tomorrow's show, I'll race through these. You've got your early bird, all make blue jade, jump ring earrings, Ooh. Uh, tumbling machine launch, cashmere aquamarine with Dave, uh, sterling silver rope earrings and gemstones, and then the masterclass with lovely Nikki as well, um, and a book launch. Um, when are you back, my darling? Um, June, I believe. June. Oh, well, we cannot wait. It won't be long. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. me once again. Isn't she a delight? Um, enjoy the rest of your day now. Bye, See you buddy. soon. Hello, jewelry makers. Happy 14th birthday. I remember the first day um, I was a little bit younger, not as old looking, and lots of things have gone on since then. But you've stuck with us. Thank you so much. It's been an incredible 14 years. Here's some many more. We've got some amazing things coming on uh, up this two weeks, not week, two weeks. Um, so stay tuned and I'll see you there. Happy birthday. Hi, jewelry maker. Happy 14th birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful time celebrating. I can't wait to join you for some birthday bargains and make sure you save me some cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, jewelry maker. maker.